Hello? Tello? Tello? Yep, we're good. We're good. I put the other mic in here. Too. Little power switch. You got your... Is it on green? Oh. Bingo! Check, check. There you go. Uh, That's Kip. What's going on, gang? Put the music down to a reasonable level here. <laughs> Knock the dust off the gaming studio. What's happening, guys? <laughs> what's going on? Snake Man, what's happening? Viking, it's good to see you guys. Welcome to Saturday. Gonna be doing some gameplay. Chakra Gore, Bloodbeard in the house. What's happening? Matchstick Man, I see you out there. LT, what's going on? Poor boy, Houdini. BBC, what's happening? Richard1961, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully we'll get a lot of new people around today. We uh, we had Kip and Tom talk about this show in particular over on the MayaCast podcast. Again, we pump them up all the time, but if you are interested in Infinity and have not yet gone and checked them out, please do. Whatever your favorite podcast downloader is, whether it's iTunes or whatever the hell you got on your phone app, uh, go over and search for MayaCast, M-A-Y-A-C-A-S-T, like you see on our dice tray. Ta-da! See how we did that? <laughs> Kip is the perfect man. Like, the timing was excellent there. So go check out MayaCast for sure. It is, like I say every day that we talk about Infinity, it's the de facto Infinity podcast out there. Uh, good humorous times, great info. When I was first getting into Infinity, it was pretty much the way that I learned about sectorals and, uh, you know, the basics for all the armies, which I feel like that kind of nuanced info is what you won't find just reading the rules. Uh, and they give a good breakdown from last year, and I think even the end of 2015, where you talked about sectorals, you mm -hmm. talked about vanilla lists, and just kind of how armies played, what you can expect in sense of the the background, not only from fluff, but you know, are they more of a nitty gritty, yeah. down and dirty army, or are they subterfuge and lots of crazy backstabbing gotcha stuff? So uh, great information from these guys all the time. Welcome, Kip. Great Thank you for having me. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, you're too kind of talking <laughs> us up, you know, like we do the show strictly for entertainment, uh, give more insights into the game, kind of keep it fresh. There's a lot of people that might not have um, large communities like we're so lucky to have here in Arizona. So we do that as kind of like an outlet to keep the game fresh, keep people motivated, hopefully make you laugh. Um, that's basically where I am. I have been called the parrot on Tom's shoulder. Yeah, that was yesterday. Before. Yeah, said in the you chat. Him the our friends, on Tom's our shoulder. friends, uh, our friend Willet, his wife. So um, I think it's funny. I mean, that is my role. I, I'm kind of like the comedic slapstick <laughs> he's, guy. He's the comic relief. Yeah, <laughs> pretty but much. It's good. If you got a straight man mm. and you got a, if you got a color and a commentator, I like to think of it. Not necessarily straight man and and you know comedian. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think it's color and commentary and you're definitely you the color side of that. Although they really broach. It's a yeah. good show though. Trust yeah, good me. Chemistry. Go check it out if you have not. King of the Nerds, thank you so much for that resub. Two months in a row. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the support, guys. Welcome. Uh, yeah, we don't normally do Saturdays. So uh, good thing for us. Uh, we were able to set this one aside. Also today on the Long War Network is uh, Keyline Prime celebrating his 3,000 followers. Uh, that he just received. So if you have a chance, make sure to tune in with Keyline. He's painting. Cheers We're to playing. Line. Today is a Strike Zone Wotan game, as you see in the mm -hmm. title of the stream, where Kip is going to be uh, kicking my teeth in with Combined Army Hope while we'll uh, while I take my narrative force and try to protect the Eugene mm -hmm. Bastion that we have here from having our armory raided. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with what Strike Zone Wotan is, it is a global campaign that uh, Corvus Belly, the manufacturers of Infinity, are doing in tandem with Beasts of War, yes. uh, a great website reference uh, in Ireland that focuses on pretty much everything miniature wargaming, but they're very closely tied in with Corvus Belly and do these major events. Last year they did one as well, uh, the, the Operation Flame Strike, uh, where it was a battle for Flamia Island. Uh, in Paradiso, right? Was that in Paradiso? Yeah, it was a small island um, of strategic importance on, on Paradiso, which is this planet uh, that is has made the first contact with what is now known as the Combined Forces, which are like the aliens. Um, and the humans are really getting smoked there, like getting their butt kicked. And the sad thing is, is this force that they're facing is basically like two scouts, you know, yeah, just a little scout the, force. I was, yeah. I was trying it's to explain the tip of the stream, new iceberg, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like oh. when we talk about combined army, the miniatures we have and what we've been exposed to for combined army, these nasty aliens, is literally like the, the trash guys, the dudes that clean the <laughs> latrines. They're sending out in like 
old beat up rental ships that just, <laughs> hey, you know, we think there might be something over there. Why don't you guys go check it out? Don't waste a whole lot of time on it and report back to us. So that's what we're seeing and they're kicking our teeth in. So, <laughs> it's scary. So we don't even want to see what it is when the, the EI, the enhanced intelligence brings to bear the, Evol the evolved real- Evolved intelligence. Evolved, sorry. Evolved, sorry. Intelligence. evolved <laughs> intelligence brings to bear its real forces. So, uh, although I'm going to be happy to see the miniatures if and when that ever occurs. So great storyline behind mm -hmm. Infinity if you're just getting into it. Hopefully you guys feel the same. Not as much fiction as we're used to with some other narrative games, but a very rich infrastructure and foundation for a sci-fi world that is, is super intriguing. The espionage, the fact that all these human forces are fighting because of kind of corporate greed still and things like that makes for fantastic uh, stories that you can create on your own. And what uh, we're doing today is one of those stories. Uh, I am the Eugene Forces. Uh, we have a ship that is in the, uh, the sector of the Wotan Gate. Uh, the Wotan Gate is a jump gate, a stargate, um, that allows transport between systems. And uh, this is a very strategic one because it, it allows uh, the, uh, the Paradiso area yeah. where the combined army has attacked and they're developing a foothold. It is the gate that gets from Paradiso to the rest of humanity. It's so a supply it's a, run. <laughs> yeah, very, very important place because if they take over this gate, it's like, well, you're not getting back and you've basically lost that next system. So right now there are all of the infinity, all the human sphere forces have a foothold around the gate and are battling with each other, against each other, because they know that in the greater scheme of things, they got to stop this evil force from coming in. But along the way, there's a lot of stuff going <laughs> yeah. on in the background. Yeah. They don't like each other. They're trying to say, oh, look what Game these guys influence. did to yeah. make the gate a not a safe place. We should get them thrown out. And so there's a lot of backward politics and things happening as well. But that's how we're focused on today. Today, Kip and his dirty onyx evil bad guys, that we're going to keep calling him evil, bad, and dirty because I know I'm going to get my teeth kicked in. But I I'm want you guys to Imperial. cry for me. I want the emotions on my side today, guys. So he's going to bring it in. And basically, we have uh, he's uh, poked a hole in the ship. Uh, he's got a, a force coming in and trying to raid our armory. Um, so in, in Wotan, uh, the rules change a little bit for the normal missions. So whereas armory as a mission is in the standard ITS rules for uh, tournament play, today's armory mission is a little bit different because we have, and I'll let you explain, we've got a little mm -hmm. bit of a problem in the armory. As yeah. Yeah. They thought it, this is a really cool one because Yu Ching is kind of getting beat up a little bit. Our job as Combined Army is being in a nuisance and annoyance and kind of keeping people in their areas and not expanding. We're, we're being So right now, I want to be an annoyance to Yu Ching and really kick them while they're down. So Armory, the whole point of this mission is to get into this room and hold it. You, you score each game round, you get more points for holding it at the end of the game. Um, by holding it, that's more points in the Armory. So. This one, though, has different rules. Um, it's a saturation, not a saturation zone, but it's yeah. a um, close quarters battle yep. special rule for Wotan. So any templates that get placed in here are plus one damage. Yep. But since we have this hole breach, uh, any time a die is rolled for like um, a shot, Shoot, dodge. dodge, anything other than an armor roll, if it's an 18, 19, or 20, whoever did that for every 18 or 19 or 20 rolled, um, you take a hit against damage 13. So basically it's like, I'm shooting, or I dodged, and then I got too close to this whole region. It's sucking you out. Yeah, so you have to make an armor roll so that you. You can imagine this down. zero G kind of environment with yeah. a, a breach in the hull that's kind of static. It's, it, the foam is trying to keep it at bay, but if you make a shot and your your momentum carries you towards the hull, you're gonna get mm -hmm. you know struck by the the tangled metal on the outside of the hull, things like that. So it makes it because the the whole goal is to control it. You got to put guys in there in order to win this. Um, although I guess I could kill your whole force. And then nobody would win. And then nobody would win. <laughs> because you have to get but points But I would feel vindicated because your dirt, your dirty <laughs> onyx guys would be out of my yeah, ship. Yeah, you so, could. But no, in order to win, you literally have to put guys in there because the other thing is we've got panoplies, which are these small little containers mm -hmm. at each corner. Uh, those are weapon lockers, basically. Uh, and you get to uh, any trooper that uh, it gets in a base to base gets to make a whip roll. On a successful whip roll, you get to reach inside the locker and pull out a random uh, weapon or armor or there's all sorts of cool stuff. Motorcycle. Yeah, a motorcycle, which then you're stuck in <laughs> oh, there. Oh God, let's it's hope like we the don't. cage of yeah, death. Yeah, like let's hope we don't get motorcycles. But uh, you know, so it's a random roll on what is called the booty tables, mm -hmm. and as level one and level two, you get to pick. Get some booty. I think only one of them has motorcycles, so maybe that's the one, where yeah. we're going to be rolling. 
rolling all the time. Yeah. We rolling well, it's on level two. It's on two, <laughs> and it has the best stuff. Yeah, see, booted level two has the best stuff, but it also has motorcycles, which are absolutely mm -hmm. useless right now. Although, what does motor does motorcycle do anything for us? It gives you a move of eight, eight, four, six, eight, eight six. six. So it's hell. like if the first so we literally could go yeah, around the walls. Yeah. Right. Get a move up. So when that what that means for anybody not uh, not uh, familiar with Infinity is you have movement values. Um, you can move and then shoot, or shoot and then move. Whenever you move, um, the first time you do a movement, whether it's at the first part of your order or second part, you use that first uh, movement value. So you could move eight inches, which is double the standard um, trooper, and then shoot. But if you do what's called a move and then move again, you move eight, and then your second movement is that six. Yeah. So they're super fast. Um, but you can't take cover while you're on a motorcycle. So yeah, you're out right? In the open. You get, no, you get mm -hmm. no cover, and I think the only way you could get out of there is if you just dodged through the door. No, you can't because you can't go prone while on a motorcycle. Because that's a two, the silhouette's too had big. The squeak, I had they had that, that squeaky rule where if you dodge, you can get a tag in there. If you dodge, you can dodge through the wall, dodge and gauge. It's I think it's dodge and gauge, but so it's you, still you so have to. It's a very very you side have to be corner case kind of a thing. Yes. Oh, yeah, well. Anyway, weird. let's yeah, hope we don't get motorcycles. Yeah. I think it's the key. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, guys? Let's make sure uh, it's a Viking teabagger. Holy tits! That table and mat looks awesome. Thank you. This is uh, this is an ACD Designs mat. We've got some really cool news coming on the mat front. Uh, we've got a new channel partner that is sending us some really cool mats coming up for. Infinity and for our Deep Wars stuff. So as soon as we get that in the next week or so, we'll be talking that up. Uh, but yeah, we got uh, just a standard mat, uh, some really good terrain that was painted up by Ethan uh, Pearson of, oh, nice. of Infinity fame. So uh, we got this whole setup from him, except for the center one. That's what I won at the Rumble. Nice. So it was oh, a pre-painted kind of uh, a control room. Uh, one of the special rooms for the armory is it is of infinite mm -hmm. height. Uh, it's a weird rule that goes on with these central control room type missions in, uh, in ITS Infinity. Uh, they, it has infinite height and it's completely blocking. So no matter if I'm on a higher level, like on one of these gantries over mm -hmm. here, um, I can't see past this. So a dude over there where Kip is and a dude here can't see each other because this building, you assume it goes floor to ceiling inside this hangar area where we are. And that's what we've done. We've tried to kind of recreate maybe a... Uh, inside this big belly of a ship, this is a big supply depot area in there, and uh, that's why you don't see a lot of buildings, a lot of normal housing kind of stuff that we would have. But, um, Confurioso, what's going on? Good thing you got all your chores done, Houdini. <laughs> and by done, you mean you put them off till tomorrow? <laughs> I like your style. Ray Silver, what's going on? You play Eugene and Combine, but you gotta say you're rooting for Kip just because you don't like me. That's how I read that right there. That's how I read that, Ray. Thanks. Thanks. And by the way, the Quinjet did not make it into the room, as you can see. <laughs> we bought a we bought a really cool uh, seven dollar uh, like you know Walmart special sale Avengers Quinjet Hasbro oh, toy. Oh, nice! And I I sanded it, primed it, and started painting. It's in the studio. Oh, okay. Uh, and I, I, I never I didn't get any time. I was going to put it on top of the building, but I figured, well, we're going to be taking it off yeah. the entire time anyway because we have to be in the building. So I didn't put a lot of effort into it. So Ray, you just have to wait. Track what's <laughs> going on. It's Donnie. That's Donnie. Oh, is he? Donnie Darkside right there. There he is. What up, Donnie? I wonder why. Yeah, it's I mean, like you were watching a video on YouTube and suddenly awkward man spursy. stare music. There you go. Do, 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 do. Captain Chaos, what's going on, man? Track, what's happening? Welcome, everybody. If I missed you walking in, make sure you type at SlowFuseGaming uh, during the session so that you'll get our attention. Uh, and you might have missed it. But uh, somewhere in between cameras here is Uncle Touchy, Mike, <laughs> Uncle, our cameraman. Uncle Touchy. Is Uncle Touchy Mike right here, nice. ready to do the deal. Test your mic for us real quick. Salutations, gamers. Salutations. There we go. All right. I'm not as loud as Jason. He's literally yelling in the room right now. <laughs> I literally, yeah, we kind of have to. Uh, uh, we, like, we like to keep it hype. Very yeah. hype. Get that energy level up. Matchstick Man asks, is the raffle open? Uh, let me do that for us real quick. Thank you for reminding me. I've got some machine goods, would you like one? Yeah, that'll work. Boink. Nice. Boink. And boink. <laughs> All right, I think that does it. It will not show up on the screen, but just go through and follow the bot. So the keyword raffle is open, exclamation point booty as always. And should we get to that point, we will handle it. Handle the business. There you go, guys. Sweet. For anybody that's new here that doesn't understand uh, what we do, you'll notice that down at the very bottom, just to the uh, right of Kip there, there is a little ticker that right now uh, is reading zero of 50. 
And uh, that is our critical mass ticker. Uh, what that does, every $50 is donated to the channel uh, prompts a giveaway where we spin on our wheel. And right now there's lots of infinity. We've got Toha guys up there. We've got Any Combined twisties? Army guys up there. Uh, we've got Ariadna stuff up there. Lots of infinity on the wheel right now, along with some 40K, uh, Age of Sigmar, you name it, brushes, paints, all the good stuff that we give away is there. Every 50 bucks that we hit on here, we do a spin on the wheel and one lucky viewer out there gets to win some stuff. Everybody's so eligible. You don't have to spend any money, spend any points, none of that. If it's your first time here, type exclamation point booty and you are in the possibility for the drawing. Uh, no drawing will occur until we obviously hit the critical mass, but good luck to you anyhow. All right. We have not shown lists yet, Casino Reads. As a matter yeah. of fact, we're probably not really show. We'll be showing the models as we put them on the table. I'll maybe give you guys a sneak peek on my list. You know, I'm Dirty yeah. Eugene, so I have a lot of things that are invisible. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's do an initiative Shall we get roll. This? Yes. So first things first, um, we do this to essentially we're going to pick either if you want the other person to deploy first or if you want first turn. Yeah. So, and so they know like our target number, uh, we throw equal to or less than. Um, I will be rolling black dice today because I am the onyx for a slam. Duh, duh, duh. Um, so I will be the black dice, you will be the blue dice. My Remember, we're all rooting for blue today, <laughs> blue. Target number is 14 for me. Um, usually you don't really have to, this is, uh, it's called private information, the whip of your lieutenant. But since you guys are watching, I'll reveal that I need a 14 so that you can get kind of excited when we roll these dice. Real problem for you, Gene. We don't have those lieutenants with real high whip values. So, yeah, I need a 13. But we're close. We're close. We call it close. Oh, uh, well. So I succeed. Ooh. I failed. Bingo. Um, I would like to... Hmm. Well, he's deciding. So in, a, in a tournament situation, mm -hmm. would you actually say what your whip is, or would you basically go on the honor system? So what you would do, it's that's one thing. It's the honor system. Yeah. You basically say, "I'm going to, su I succeeded on my whip roll." You don't have to tell them the target number now. Um, a lot of people that have played the game for a while, you can pretty much tell a standard um, whip roll for a lieutenant in most armies is going to be 14 or 13. Yeah, 13 or 14. So if somebody rolls a 15. There's few lieutenants out there, and if you know most of the armies, because like you're gonna know which one, yeah, it is, you're like, it's gonna be okay. like a Sun yeah. C or yeah. something like that. It's gonna be somebody yeah. that you don't really want to be up against anyway. Typically There's only a handful of them. Yeah. Typically, it's 14, 13 or fourteen is what people are gonna be rolling for. So it's it's not too bad that okay. on the honor system that way because it's uh, Corvus is really good about standardizing a lot of things cross faction, so you don't have all these crazy special rules that really dilute the, the dynamics of the game. So. I with love the it. Wind. Uncle Touchy is beer wench today. <laughs> he said, everybody saw Ray this. Ray Silver, beer wench. Uh, Absolutely. That's it. <laughs> you know? All right, so I want initiative. I'm going to choose to go first. Yeah, that's smart. I'm going to take I'm gonna take uh, turn order. All right, so hats. Hats those, to the back. Are we getting yeah. serious now? All right, hats to the back. You can't see. you, you got to get eye level, so this is game time. Game time. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to choose, since he's going first, <laughs> it's going to be smarter to me. Usually we choose sides, and this we... Uh, we predetermined, made everything pretty symmetrical. I'm gonna choose that you deploy first. Okay. And then I will deploy second. Um, Roger, Dodger, we gotta do our... Uh, our classified deck. Classified decks. And uh, one of the unique things about Infinity is that not only do you have objectives that are outlined in the mission briefing itself. So in this case, uh, get more weapons out of the panoplies, uh, hold the armory uh, at, for at the end of each turn. I don't know if we decided to, or talked about this already. At the end of each turn, if you have more points in the, in the inside of the armory, um, then you get one point, one uh, objective point for the end of that turn. So, uh, and then if at the end of the game, you have more points in the armory at the end of turn three, then you get an additional four objective points on top of the one that you would normally get. So last um, turn is really the most yeah, important Yeah, so last turn, turn obviously, <laughs> the, most the most important thing important. in the game. And, uh, it, okay, great. <laughs> great. Already, already Uncle Touchy is not welcome. <laughs> so, Tip, while you're down there, um, oh. I'm not that kind of guy. Oh. <laughs> we had it like this, right? Uh, yeah, I think we'll just turn it like that. I think it was this way. All right. Whatever. We're missing some doors. Some doors on the thing. Hey, let's not do that anymore. You got to learn to not watch the screen when you move the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I look? I've got to look down the grip? Yeah. 
Basically. Yeah. Exactly. Shot, shots fired. Shots fired. All right. Gratuitous crotch cam. Yeah, right. I don't know yeah. that having uncle. I don't know that having uncle touch you with the camera was a it's, safe bet for I this one. I think that, that was probably mistake stream. number one of the day, actually. All right, all right. I'm gonna turn all these around. Um, so we'll pick uh, two. Yeah. So for our secretly. for our decks, we're basically going to go through, shuffle them up, pick two because in addition to the mission briefing Mine objectives, was picked for me. Mine was picked for me. <laughs> I can't do the other one. So the um, yeah. So the the mission briefing has its objectives, and generally for every mission, there's going to be uh, one or two sometimes objective points that are done via your card deck, and so we'll shuffle them up. Draw two off the top, and then with those two, we'll take a look at what I drew here, All right? And basically, you pick whichever one you think you can do with your army, and that will give you that extra objective point. Now, in this particular mission briefing, we also have the opportunity, if you'll notice, down at the bottom of the card is a point looking. value, okay? Now that point value at the beginning of the game here, I can decide if I want to choose a card for its point value or for its objective. And if I choose it for the objective, I just have to do what's on the card. I uh, can't do that one, so I got to take this one. <laughs> I'm definitely not using the um, the support because I drew like two very very low point values. Yeah, right. <laughs> not happening. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pick mine, and uh, the other option is if I can't, like if I picked a card that I can't do, let's say I picked one that required a doctor and I don't have a doctor in my list, um, and, and I just didn't have another option, then what I would might, stop, do that over there. They can see me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not a good angle. The, oh, no. Uh, oh no, It was at a funny angle, Tyrone. It was at a funny angle. It was so, right behind you. <laughs> So if you, you can still pick a card and make it useful, like in a scenario like this, because my card has a point value on it that's high enough, at the end of the game, or at the beginning of the game, I can choose to use it to add to the amount of points I have at the end of the game in the armory, which uh, is probably what I'm going to do on this one, to be honest with you. I never, like, I literally always Go for draw the, under 10 points. Yeah, under 10 points like where it's not even which a Both of mine were under 10 points and not even worth it. It's worth Go getting the extra the cause, objective maybe it'll make you feel better. We are going to lay out all of our there all of our five bucks, Ray Silver. Thank you so much. Hype it up for Ray. Getting us kicked <laughs> off. Hey Kip, where'd you get these? Um, these are um, done through what's called Warsenal. Uh, they actually they um, got my cast started. They donated our equipment, our starting equipment. Um, so Tom had asked Jay to do a bunch of these different uh, tokens. And what we do is we usually give them to our opponents. We have uh, larger ones that you can use for command tokens. These command tokens are from Arsenal, But uh, I use these for my personal orders just because it's cool that they're made that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, I do have a bag of them. I will probably leave a full order pool of 10 for you at the end of this. Oh, far no, I won't. I'm a liar. I Damn left it. my bag at home. Mean, I just realized mean, that. Mean. Ah, I'll give them to you on Monday. He's a very mean individual. <laughs> yeah, I totally just realized I forgot my backpack. Battle oh, Hippie, what's gosh. going on? Good to see you. Yeah, right, LT? Gratuitous crotch cam. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, Blessed Horizon, uh, does anybody know how to get to the Prime sub page? Go to, I believe it's twitch.tv forward slash Prime, or is it Amazon? Just Google, Google uh, Twitch Prime subscription and it'll get you there you have to link your twitch account to your amazon prime account and then what happens after that's linked and verified through the email process is that when you go to the sub button up on any of the stream pages it will say sub for 4.99 9.99 24.99 whatever it is on the sub levels and then also your prime button will be there sub for free with prime so you just have to link your accounts first and that's done through amazon ray it's a deal Mind Morph says, cool, live Kip. Yeah, now you have to look at him. It's not just a voice in the darkness. <laughs> I, I thought you said Myover, and I was like, is that Lewis? No, it says no, Mind, Mind Morph. Mind, Mind Morph. Morph. <laughs> Thanks, Mind Morph. That's awesome. Your money's on planet-sized avatars eating human sphere like Galactus. <laughs> I have no avatars today. Serious? Let's hope that's not a thing, because I don't want to build that miniature. Not in Onyx. I'm playing strictly Onyx Force. I literally don't want to I don't want to build that miniature. I think that would be a real problem. Assassin, what's going on, man? Welcome to Saturday. All right, so I got to deploy, so let's get some deployment done. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, all right, let's do some stuff. So let's put out the minis. 
bazongs and things oh, and such. First, right? Yeah, he's deploying first. He's and going stuff. first, he's deploying first. I am not going to get out deployed. I don't understand why you didn't let me deploy out. second. <laughs> that, do we have an HVT in this? Yes, and okay. that should be the first thing that you deploy yep. is your HVT. Um, Yippers. Cool thing while he's getting the models out, the armory doors start the game locked. Yep. So you have to get a specialist, um, a specialist in game terms is anybody that is Ford Observer, a doctor, an engineer, a chain of command, a hacker, or have specialist operative in their little uh, sticker line. Uh, you have to pass a whip roll. If you do that, all of the doors open. So all four sides. So you move up to here. So say Jason moves up, opens, they go boop, boop, boop. All the doors open. Kind of can be a little bit disadvantageous. Mm -hmm. If you open the doors and then I have a guy right here that can see right in that armory. So a uh, couple cool things. This, these things have uh, what's called structure. So if you have anything that's anti-material, like a missile launcher or double action um, close combat weapon or rounds that have what's called anti-material, you can actually shoot the door open. Um, it does have three structures, so you have to cause three wounds to it and it goes and blows open. Um, so backside of that, if you have a hacker, um, most hacking devices have a program called Lock Picker. So you can cruise up. 45 bucks casino reads, are you kidding me? And uh, hacks the door open, does not open the other doors. So those are two ways that you can actually get in there without them being able to see in through all these other sides. So that is uh, one of the main tactics on a mission like this with the armory, is if you don't want to be seen while you're moving all your troops through there, then you either use your lock picker skill or you line up a, a missile launcher. That's that was going to ask like that. So do. for the hack, the lock pick hacking mm -hmm. skill does allow me to open just one door. Yep. Okay. That but it is... has to be done without a repeater. It has to be done actual be... hacker and base yes. base. Yes. You ha you cannot use any servants or repeaters to do it. Yeah. Your the mission expe expressly that. calls that mm -hmm. we can't use G servant or repeaters to be able to do mm -hmm. the things that specialists can do. So that would be pretty cool. It makes sense that. too because it's like a repeater. Mm -hmm. All it does is extend your range. So when you're doing lockpick, you're literally, you know, you're putting a card into the thing, you know, and doing like in the movies where they're trying to find the code. <laughs> so wait, you have to actually. Wait, be what, there. Are they, what are they trying to do? <laughs> you like, you like in Tron. Oh, that thing. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's. Or like in Tron, that. like he sticks the card in there I and he's like, like finds thing. the code and then goes. That's a giant door. I feel like that's a thing. It is. The door. The door is locked. <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna do? How do you feel about servants as far as, because, all right, if I'm playing Toha, mm -hmm. I'm one of the doctor, engineer, bioengineer ladies. Yeah. She can take, I think they're called peripherals? Yes. Um, Shocks uh, peripherals. How do you feel about those? So they're extremely helpful when uh, you need to cover a lot of ground with it. Is, did I just see? No. Yes, I did. No. F your crazy koalas. No. Um, so, <laughs> no, face you didn't, you didn't in an Oyori You didn't today. see anything. You didn't see anything. Um, There's nothing here to see. And the no guys told me last night they want to see me play with some JSA. So, and somebody specifically said they wanted to see me play with an Oyori <laughs> So we're gonna play with a we're gonna play so, with a tag. Back to the back I, okay. To the so service. the story behind <laughs> what I'm playing. Right. Well, you finish what you were talking. About. I'll say back back to the the servants. What what makes them really well is like you know say I have a doctor hiding somewhere over here. I can have their servant by my main team. Mm -hmm. So they can both operate at the same time. So maybe you go move up to do a, a classified with your bioengineer. Okay. Well, you can also move your servant along and go heal somebody while you're moving up the field. So they're really, really helpful that way. Some of the HVT classifieds allow you to use servants. That's when they're really cool because then you can keep your doctor safe and you use this little three point bot to run up the field and then administer an experimental drug or retro engineer some piece of technology off of what's called the HVT, high value target, um, which is right here for Jason. That's his HVT, nice little dragon lady. She's out for a stroll. It's a little, it's uh, you know, we're inside a ship, but I guess the lights are a little bit too much for her. So she has a umbrella because she's like, oh, this, it's this parasol. artificial light is It's just a parasol. Too much. It's a fashion accessory. <laughs> there you go. It's a fashion accessory. Uh, it's not an umbrella. <laughs> okay, my Oh, name. ye of little knowledge. Oh, you human you scum. Ye of little knowledge. <laughs> you don't know. I don't. Right, that I is gotta, all alien to me, sir. I think it's eight inches, right, <laughs> that we gotta come back off of this. 
Yeah, so in this mission, there's what's called an exclusion zone. So any of your infiltrators can usually deploy up to half the table for free. And then up to the deployment zone, if you want to make a physique roll minus three. In this mission, though, you can't deploy within eight inches of the center line this way. So four inches this way, four inches this way. Okay. Um, so if you have an infiltrator, they can only infiltrate in this four inch square here. Because, oh yeah, it's eight inches off each side, so 16 inches, definitely. Or I could go all the way over to the, his four inch square, make a roll, or he could do the same to me. I don't ever really like doing that, um, unless it is a faction like uh, US Ariadna that has these, in, that have to do it anyway. And they have flamethrowers, they're meant to be alpha strike or uh, defensive in your face guys already. Um, but for a standard mission like this, where most of the time they're going to be your specialists, not worth it because you're just setting them up to be because if you fail that roll you have to go all the way back to your table edge of your deployment zone which does include the sides I don't know these two hands the sides of the, your deployment zone and they have to be touching in they're revealed if they were a camo so it's usually not worth trying to make that roll unless it's a designated person that you want to land there I don't have any of those today what am I looking at no OP shit. <laughs> no, there is no OP shit here. We are we're having fun, but there's no OP shit. Are there Luduans in here? There are Luduans. Then in here. yes, there's a bunch of OP crap. What? <laughs> or Rushi. Ruishi. Do you have any Ruishi? Yes. Is that the Ruishi? Uh no, the Ruishi is right uh That's here. the MSV2 Spitfire, MSV2 right? MSV2 Spitfire. <laughs> He's I'm angry doing about it. He's angry it's, about it. It's literally like 20 points and half an SWC. There's nothing else in Infinity that's half a support weapon cost. That's what SWC or some people say SWIC. For a Spitfire. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh no, it's one. Everything else, every other faction, it's 1.5. We're going to call the Soapbox Camp. Like, exactly. We're going to have the Soapbox moment. All right. Let me tell you my opinion, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This is promising. Uh, so good. Mm. Nah, they're... I, if when you're playing Yuching, they're amazing. <laughs> I would bring them if I was playing Yuching. Um, yeah, you gotta play what the army gives you. So those are just very dangerous to some of the camo troops because you can't use your trickery against them. I'm just going all out. I don't even care. We're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna roll the dice and see what happens here, folks. And I got one in reserve. I all right. That's, I believe that's me. I think that's all I got. So, so how, how many order? How many combat groups do you have? Okay, so I got to tell my story about my narrative, my little group here. It is, uh, it is uh, Commander Jin Sing, and the whatever the word is for the snails in Chinese. I can't remember. The Ho, Ho Sin. I don't remember what the name for snails is. They told me last night, and I forgot to write it down. Um, so what we have is we have a Lu Duan here, right? So we've got the Lu Duan has Hollow Echo level two, so this counts as one model, right? It is armed with a Mark 12 and a heavy flamethrower, and uh, it's got two kind of blurry... You can imagine this thing running around, and it shows like three blurry yeah. kind of staticky images. Only one of them's real, so it causes him some problems because he has to ARO and pick which one is the real one, and if he gets it wrong, I screw him. So there you go. That's, uh, that's the you that's run the, them through a template, and one of the real one's there. Then who's that stupid? <laughs> Me. Me, actually. Uh, I've got a uh, yeah. camo marker. Uh, oh, I think I might have, what do I got? One, two, three, I got a fourth camo marker here. Ah! Oh, please. I forgot about it because I don't have an actual other um, thing for him. Uh, where do I want to put it? Though? Probably in his line of fire. Oh, you have a camo token that's going to come out on top of your, buy your no. command token? Huh? Buy your camo token? Mm, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. That no, is what's called mine layer. We're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. All right, so we got a standard camo token here. Yeah. We've got another camo token. We've got a TO camo marker. That's a ninja killer hacker. So we've got, yeah, we've got uh, uh, regular <laughs> regular camo, TO camo. So a bunch of invisible dudes. I could be wrong, but. We've got a uh, I like to play that tokusetsu game. engineer right oh, okay. here. Okay. Right? Uh, we've got a uh, kaisotsu hacker. Hi, Sotu. Hi, Sotu hacker. Uh, we have a Rushi, which uh, Kip loves so much. It's it called is a, FU. It's That's an MSV level two, so it sees through all camo types yeah. and uh, has and a Spitfire, which is one of the best weapons of the game. Um, and then up top we have a Zanshi prone, 
Just a regular Ozanshi? Regular Ozanshi with a combat rifle. Points filler. Um, and the then a... option as well. And then a... Uh, uh, Wait, is the, she prone? The big boy. Is she prone? Yeah. Okay. And then an Oyoroi tag with the two crazy koalas. And the uh, fixer bot is over here. As well as a fixer bot right here behind the stairs. Okay, so those two bots are tied to my Tokusetsu engineer. They will allow me, hopefully, to repair any bad things that happen to said tag or my two remotes. Uh, but the story is, he has breached into the ship um, while uh, attention was elsewhere. So they picked a really good time to do this. The Yujing attention is paid towards other fronts in uh, the area. So we've got kind of some of the lowly JSA that were sitting around with nothing to do. And uh, the high command has said, oh, it's probably just, you know, an airlock that's malfunctioned. Go down and check it out. So uh, we have kind of some scrubs. Uh, we have the uh, the Oyeroi, the tag that is on. It's, uh, it is the standard kind of patrol security guy for this entire level of the ship. And uh, he's the one that pressed the alert button. And we've got some other dudes that were just a ragtag bunch that could get called in short notice to go check out this airlock defect that's happening. <laughs> because nobody seems to think that anybody would be brazen enough to actually attack the ship. So bad for me. But I felt like that was a good thing. I'm only running a limited insertion list. It's only 10 orders. Um, and uh, the reason for that is because I really kind of wanted to follow the narrative, mm -hmm. put myself... Mm -hmm. It does put me a little bit on the back heel going against Onyx mm -hmm. Contact Force. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what goes on. I feel like All I've right. got good firepower. I don't know if I have good counters to what he has. And... You have some really good counters. I'm pretty okay with the mission. I'm, I'm pretty okay with the mission. Mm -hmm. But we'll see how it, how it happens. So I've got 10 orders. And I've got one in reserve that I've held in reserve. All right, so first things first, usually you want to deploy your HVT first. Um, it's got to be four inches outside outside your deployment zone. I tend to like to put mine, because they can do a thing called secure HVT. So I tend to like to put mine on the corners where it's out in the open, where to be within eight inches, you're you're going to get shot. So I have Gogo -Go Marlene. She goes, hello, <laughs> my Annette. Um, she Sorry, is likes. like one of the most famous newscasters. Tesman, um, thank you for the follow. She, I like to use her as my HBT because A, she's painted. And it's like, she's like, go, go, Marlene here, reporting live from Wotan. And Blessed Horizon, <laughs> thank you so much for joining the Bomb Snails. Sorry, as we go through the game, we'll be a little, it, the responsiveness to follows and subs might be a little off, but trust me, I'm right there with you. I love it. We just aren't going to try to interrupt too much of what we got going on here. So I'll keep deploys. Uh, we will be doing all drawings today at the end of the show. Uh, here in the game studio, we don't have the ability to really just pull it up and work it like we do in the painting studio. So bear with us. Stick around. Come back at the end if you want to enter into the raffle. We do have one drawing already. Thank you guys so much. We hit our $50 uh, giveaway status. So we got one on uh, tap. And we will do those at the end of the game. Jason's narrative is that I took OP units. Shut up, Kenny. <laughs> Shut up. You know what? The good thing about Infinity, there really isn't anything that's OP. There are Not some really. units that are very, very hard to counter. And those units usually are guided missiles. They get in, they do something abusive, and then they die. But if you use them correctly, they can put the enemy on their heels. And so there is some of that. That can be considered OP, but I think that every other unit can make up for the loss of another. So the balance is pretty good. Check out Next Level Painting if you guys are new around here and haven't seen what's going on. Next Level Painting, one of the other members of the Long War Network. Make sure to click on his name and go give him a follow. Amazing painter. And uh, paints along with us on Tuesdays and Fridays. I believe that is Line of Fire. A buck. Matchstick so. Man says he'll give a buck for every model of Kips I kill. That's it. Gauntlet thrown. I don't even care if I win. I'm just murdering all his models. <laughs> I just want to point out how you two coordinated your wardrobes. You've never I know. Right? I showed up and I was like, I, Shh, apparently I got the memo. Sh just... just. I don't know. Although you have like five models from Infinity and bought them for a system called Blasters and Bulkheads, you suppose now you already have a start of an army? That's good, Blessed. Yeah. The The thing is, is Infinity is really is really cool in that it, it can be a... Like I said, I'm only playing with 10 models today. Um, and I feel like I can field a fairly competitive list with 10 models, although generally I would run 13 to 14. Um, but even then, it's not too many compared to other game and uh, rule sets where you have to have, you know, 20, 30, 40 models in order to play a game. I feel like Infinity is a little less to get into. You'll spend so, a lot on terrain if you don't have a local gaming them. shop to play on, I will tell you that. I was going to say, why are you playing with the box? So, um, well, I can deploy inside the box. One Assassin, thing is, all right, you're working. I'm using what's called a fire team. So these have to be, they're all linked. They get some bonuses when they're in their fire team. 
The leader is inside. He's a Nexus hacker. Um, but all members must be within eight inches of this of the leader at all times. So, so the leader's in the box. The leader is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the, what's box? In the box? Tell me what's in the box. So, um, Jason, I'm going to have two combat groups. I have a combat group of 10 and a combat group of three. Okay. Um, my combat th group of three consists of a flash pulsing baggage bot. You know why I brought that. <laughs> um, it has this thing called baggage, which gives him an extra 20 points. So if I get him in the room, I've paid nine points, but he counts as 29. Right. And he's small enough to get through the door, which is fantastic. Yeah, but you, you're lucky you have baggage bots on 25 mil bases. I did not, yes. or I would have brought mine, but mine don't fit in the door. But to give him enough orders to go there, I have to do these these things called imitrons. They're basically a, I'll put it there so you can see. Honored they're, first, welcome. They're basically a four point unit that just gives me an order. And all they do is hopefully land on the table. I have to use this thing called 80 combat jump. Hopefully they don't <laughs> land on the table. They can't be touching terrain. This cannot be obstructed by terrain. So if it's on top of a building like this, that's not obstructed. Um, but if I was to go like that, it, the whole template doesn't fit in there, so I can't place him on that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's got to lay flat without any instructions. You point the one towards the center of the table, and, and hopefully, he fails his first dice roll. hopefully, I don't have to worry about that because I need a physique of twelve. Pull it together. Boom. Damn it. Stay oh. right there up in the little corner. Damn it. <laughs> You're good. Uh, so five, he lands. So we pull that away, and he goes do 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 do. Puppy. You brought power. both of those. Yeah, I have two. Back to the cam. Oh. Uh, He's gonna fail one of them, I know it. Otherwise, so this is telling is of how the game fit. is gonna go. <laughs> Actually, can you, can you mark where that model is? What's that? I, I don't know if you can mark where I'll just is. put him back out. I, it's, I'm deploying so I can pull him off the table if I want. Um, we're gonna pop this guy right here. Um, type in the coordinates. Rip off my sleeve. Presto! Dang it! We got another one. <laughs> Dang it! I see how this is gonna go. <laughs> So both of those land, which is amazing. So now basically my, what is called a so Ipidron Batroid. He's got a flash pulse, a pistol, and double flamethrowers. Really good in here because it's double damage. Cow so, dog, thank you for the follow, welcome. And for those 80 combat, there's no restrictions other than if I'm within, I totally forgot to make sure I'm within the exclusion zone, which I am. Almost cheated. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I didn't forget. I just assumed. Oh yeah, there is an exclusion zone. Yeah, I had I to just do it for assumed. mine, I had to keep them out. So let's go back. And honored first, this is Infinity. Uh, we are playing a Strike Zone Wotan. Uh, it is the global narrative event that's going on for that's Infinity group, right now. That's group two. That's all they are. He's okay. Those power him to get in there. Okay, guys. So then I have five. I have four more units in there to deploy. Um. And what are you doing? You're doing the the core group with the remotes. Yeah. So that's uh. And they're oh. So so what I have is I have a Nexus hacker. Both of the Unidrons here are Plasma Carbine Ford Observers. Um, the silver one is a Spitfire, so I figured okay. that's pretty easy to remember. Yeah. And then a Missile Launcher. Cool. Who, may, who is deployed to where you can see Hush Hush Eye to Eye over there. Okay. Or your eye. Keep it over your eye. So I can deploy up to 16. Oh. Hopefully that's mm -hmm. not a sign of mm -hmm. things to come. I'm going to play up to 16 inches with this bad boy. So he's going to be right here. That is a TO camo marker. And Even then, so, so. yes, sir. I do have Dr. Worm in that group with a servant bot. So we'll put Dr. Worm back here. This is the servant bot up here. So that he can hopefully heal him if he ends up going down. <laughs> so that's a legit strategy. You can babysit groups with actually servant yep. bots. Yep. What's the range on the bots? They have a 6-4 move. They move just like a normal oh, unit. Okay. They move in place of your engineer or doctor. His is his doctor worm is actually an engineer and doctor all in one package. So he can forfeit his, well, it's not really forfeit, but he can activate his doctor worm and move those bots. Same with my engineer has the little pal, I call them pal bots for everybody, but the little pal bots can move around in, but it spins an order on your engineer. Or so doctor. I'm going to do something else. Um, could you please turn around from the table? I, I might be able to do that, <laughs> although I, I will do so with duress. Under duress. So there's this thing called hidden deployment. This, here's a trick though. I could be telling him this and then not deploying anything. 
and then say, okay. Dirty, dirty scoundrel. So it's a way to trick people to think you have something hidden. Dirty um, scoundrel. A lot of times I'll actually uh, just take a picture of the table and where I wanted it. Um, but as a standard to keep people honest, um, you take a picture of the model. In the location. In the location. And then you remove it, and he doesn't know that it's there. Ta-da! Can anyone state this? Can I turn around now? Yeah, you can turn around. Okay. So the only people that get that um, have our TO camo. Okay. So you have to have TO camo. Um, that is that model for anybody. If there are people that are familiar with the combined army, the model you saw is what's called a proxy. So it's not the actual model, but it's close enough to what it is. So I will, when I reveal that, I will say what that is. So it's. It is a proxy, so when you see the model pop out, it's not what it is. Yeah. It will be. It will be what. Anytime you bring a model out of camo, you explain to them what it is, because mm -hmm. as soon as if it's in camo, like all of my camo markers are not common knowledge. It's not public knowledge as to what they are until I actually do something with them, like do an attack that reveals them out of camo. Then you have to tell them what that unit is, what its weapons are, so on and so forth. Are there any rules, rules on camo markers? Like how you're using the silhouettes. Do you actually have to use a silhouette that would be kind of yes. near? Yes. You have to uh, use the yes. same silhouette as the unit itself. Yeah, okay. I couldn't put, like, they may, there are tags that have camo, and I can't, you know, put the tag silhouette down. Okay. All right, I have. To try to fool them. I have one model in reserve. Okay. Uh, and oh, so I need to remove, since that model is hidden, I have to remove its order from my um, order pool because. You only get their order if it's in the, on the table in either a model or marker state. So I'll start with nine and three instead of ten and three. Okay, so if you would show me again what we got here. Oh yeah, we got so the two of the Imitrons, the Zeodron Batroid, Ikadron, Ikadron Batroid. So that's in one group, and okay. then I have my five-man fire team. Uh huh. Um, then I have Doctor Worm. Mm -hmm. I have a Mac Rep, uh, MSV2, uh, HMG. Okay. And then uh, any other weapons on the Mac token? Uh, other than like a pistol. Nothing really. Um, let me look. Pistol. That's it. Oh, okay. he has an auto med kit, which is awesome. Okay. So that's cool. he can heal himself if he goes down without the doctor. Uh, camo um, token. Camo token, and then I have one in reserve. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight. One in reserve. Three in the other group. All right. I got to figure out what I want to do here. I have some options, and I don't know what's going to be the best. And what is this guy? He's missile launcher? Yes. Okay. No other weapons? Pistol. Okay. Alright. Facing is important, so you have a 180 degree mark, so you have to make sure you guys are facing in the proper way. Since I'm in deployment, I do want to make sure they're in the proper facing manner. I did mark him last game, yeah. That guy's an HMG, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of angry at my Oyoroi. Yes, sir. <laughs> he doesn't want to have my Oyoroi uh, do no. much in this game, does he? So the reason being is that <laughs> Oyoroi can walk up to here, be in cover, and though if I try to enter that room, his little crazy koalas just jump out and blow up on me. They're shock, they're damage 15, they're nasty, they're very, very scary beasts, so I, don't, I want to keep him over there. So don't want him anywhere near this. Do 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 do. So uh, I'll see your summer sand. Oh, do yeah. these, sir? So I might I might try something here that is absolutely insane, but I think we're gonna go for it anyway. He's gonna jump into my deployment zone. <laughs> I am going to roll for a superior infiltration roll. That's called an Oniwaban. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll for a superior infiltration roll. Now I don't have to do it, but yeah. I can roll for it. Right? Physique plus three. Yep. It's what? Physique plus Physique three. Physique plus three. So what it means is I have somebody that has uh, the the keyword superior, infil superior infiltration. It allows me to deploy all the way up to his deployment zone. I can't deploy within his deployment zone, but I can deploy all the way up to that 12 inch mark. All right. And uh, if, I fa if I succeed this roll and my target number is a 16. So as long as I don't roll over a 16 18. right now. 18. All right. I'm gonna roll an 18. Here we go. Dang it. 18, baby. Here we go, boys. 18. Oh, it was so close. So Sticks passed. it. All right. So. Uh, One more roll. <laughs> so what I want to do is I am going to uh, come over here. And I am going to measure off of your deployment zone and your background here. I'll put that there. 
and I am going to place a TO camo marker right at the 12 inch mark. I'm gonna go ahead and set it on flat ground, but yeah. it's pretty much right in front of that HMG dude. Right? That's scary. You wanna take the dice camo? Oh, yeah, thank you. So that's pretty scary. So I have placed a TO camo marker Infil superior infiltration dude right there on that platform where all of his mean guns pointed at my Oyeroy are in a defensive measure to hopefully get rid of. This is a way, because I had to deploy first, I'm using a tactic that is kind of a, a, a counter deploy for him being able to go first here. So I'm using my quote unquote OP missile mm -hmm. and I hope that it actually does some things. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So do you ever deploy would somebody face him backwards just in Sometimes, case? Sometimes, yes. Okay. Sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. But since, since... A lot of times in games, I'll, I'll make sure that I've got at least guys facing if I know they've got somebody, if I'm facing an army that has somebody that can walk on in my deployment zone or airdrop or something. Since he said he had one in reserve and he had nine models on the table, I was assuming he didn't have one. Um, you can do that, hold one reserve, and when they put everybody out, and he's like, all right, my reserve model's them start off the table but usually you don't even do that yeah. because then you know yeah. and then i would just place my reserve model um where where uh i could see him so now i have i have a predicament i have my reserve model which is a total reaction plasma rifle art image drone. what's going on man welcome back and i might want to <laughs> actually start him right here <laughs> So, so I could see. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that you'll be able to remember the hollow. The I don't know if you can see over it with your because remember he's not as tall as he is on his base. Uh, I do. He's have... a size four, right, or a size three? Yeah, I, I have. He's those. very low, actually. Oh, and the JP Gray going right on top. Hey, of the JP, box. what's going on? JP. And REI, REI Silver, Ray Silver, ask uh, ask Kip when the Nexus operatives are out uh, because you need them. I'm totally gonna... can see over. Okay, that. cool. Okay, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, totally you see yeah, over yeah. that. JP, we got one on the box already. <laughs> I gotta do it, man. That thing's that's a beast right there. Yep. So, all right. Um, so now my command tokens will just come over that? here. That is a total reaction plasma uh, rifle Q drone. Plasma rifle Q drone. Yeah. Okay, perfect. He's basically gonna run up there and try to hold the doors. Okay. So that's gonna start the game. You have ten models on the table, so I will use a command token to knock you down to eight orders. Eight orders. Yep. Yes. You can, if you get second turn, you can use this strategically to either limit them to only one coordinated order for, for the first turn, or remove two orders from their order pool. Our image says thanks, uh, and uh, give Kip my best and love for Maya Cast. So there you go. Kip, Thank people you. love you. Aww. I appreciate that, man. Like it's <clears throat> typical Argonian. What's going on? Welcome. It's difficult to please everybody all the time. And I what's love going this. on? Just looked at the Vegas odds. Should you take Jason plus 36 or Kip straight up? Oh, holy hell. What? The odds are, <laughs> the odds are that he's, bad? He's actually kind of good. Like, he's the a good ad, player. The odds are that bad for me? <laughs> he's kind of good. He's good. He, I've played him before. I'm not, no joke, I'm a new player. So for me, I'm still learning the nuances of what my rules on my army that I feel like I understand pretty well do in conjunction with the enemy army. That's the problem, right? Is that you're in a situation where sometimes you have to, no matter how well you know your army, how it interacts with those special conditions from another army changes everything, mm -hmm. right? So that's it. Army Buster, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. All right, so let's get going. I got first turn. I'm down to eight orders because I am running a limited insertion style list. So uh, it was a good job on him to take those two away. So I'm limited right out of the so gates. I've got right some stuff. Here, right? I've got some stuff I've got to take care of. Uh, whatever 12 inches is, it was right at the cusp right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was right at the, at right the there, beginning cool. of the deal. Um, blah, 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 blah. Do we want to do that first, or do we want to do some other neat things first? Okay, uh, this... It's how we do it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I'm going to spend an order, mm -hmm. Patel, and, uh, this camo marker is going to idle. He's going to idle. Ah, that's probably a freaking hack towel then. <laughs> um, unless he's just goading me because he wants to go across. Um, can't see it with my bot. I will go ahead and hold with the missile launcher. Okay. And you know what? I'll hold with both. Hold with both? Yes. Okay. Uh, I am going to reveal. This yes. is a Raiden with heavy rocket All launcher. Oh, Raiden. There you go. We will surprise shot. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you cannot surprise shot because I'm a five man fire team, so I have six sense level, level two. two. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, who are you that, shooting? I forgot that guy senor. was in the uh, the team there. So who are you shooting? Uh, we are going to place yeah. there. Yes, but why I, are they I using some? That because you no, probably, you do it's, not have line of sight there. No, the way it works is it's level up. It doesn't shoot down. So okay. impact template is the circle. Okay. So then it has to blast out. So like well, with smoke, like it works the same with smoke. If you were to throw smoke here, it does not cover the bottom. Oh, it really doesn't. Yeah, okay, no, well, that makes sense. All right, well we're gonna go on the guys on top. All right, yeah, the missile smart. launcher and the bot. Uh, okay, they so. will both shoot back. Okay. Um, so both both shots are going on him. Okay. Yep. So let's measure range. Yep. I'm in. Ooh, I might not be in plus three range. Nope. You're not. I think I'm in zero. You're in range. zero range. I'm in plus three. Uh, cover. So you'll be base. Uh, missile launcher. Yep. So I will be at a 14. Um, cause it, oh no, I'll be the 11. Minus three for cover. Yeah. Minus three for the camo for the first time. No, cause a uh, surprise. What's that? But, oh, your regular camo or are you limited camo? You get it on the first time and then it goes away. No, if you're limited camo and you don't have mimetism, uh -huh. then you don't get mimetism. Oh, okay, cool. So if you have limited camo and it doesn't have mimetism also. Right. So you're just you in straight numbers. Then. What you, what it gives you a surprise shot, but I have six cents. Right. So I negate it. So, so you're at straight numbers. Yeah, I'm 14. a 14 because they are a plus three for a five man, but I'm negative three for his cover. So I need 11s here. Um, and now we need to measure and see if I'm going to be a negative three range for this guy. So he's actually going to be a 14 minus six because negative three for range, negative three for cover. So he'll need eights, but his are unopposed. Yep. So I'll be straight rolls on him. Um, and then these are going to be face to face rolls. Yep. Now, typically in your ARO, you only get one shot back, one dice roll. But since I'm in a fire team, they get uh, three or more. I get an extra burst, so I actually get two dice with each guy. Yes, in LT, it is me getting schooled in Infinity for sure. Are you, getting, so, you guys know out of this one, I'm the noob. He's been playing longer than anybody in this room by <laughs> yes. far. Like, playing, I think you started playing when the game started. No, uh, it was 2011. So uh, I've close. been coming up on. Because it started in 2010. Years. Technically, it was like six, but it didn't get really big until in the US, until about 2010 yeah. or 11. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it hasn't gotten big until like 2013. <laughs> So my heavy rocket launcher gives me two shots. You need 12s? Uh, I'm at BS 12 plus three minus three, so I just need 12s. And I need 11s. You need 11s, right. and uh, against the space face, it's two right. dice and two dice. So let's make this happen. Yeah, you can roll, right. and then I'll try to beat it. So I uh, hit on both nine and a four. And then so I need 11. So here's that 10 or 11, baby. Five. Damn. So he beats my four, but I get him on the nine. So yeah, so what every number that's higher cancels out all dice. So I cancel all dice below it, but then his nine will beat me. So my so. nine hits, and because it is a uh, fire and a template weapon, so both of them have to now make saves mm -hmm. against the string 14. Um, the, the bot could technically dodge since you were out of line of fire and then the template hits him. So I could do a physique minus three dodge on the bot. Isn't it minus six on him? Oh no, minus three on him? No, oh, minus six because it's, it's out of line of him. fire. Yeah. Yeah. Minus three and then minus three for uh, being out of line of fire. Right. So he's a 10, so I need a four on this little guy to dodge that template. And he dodges it. Woo! So bot's still there. Um, now I need to make armor rolls on this guy. He, since it's a template weapon, I don't get any extra. I don't get the bonus for cover. Um, so I'm armor one. That and is damage. Damage fifteen. Sorry. Fifteen on, 15. on a heavy. Heavy rock. I thought it was fourteen. 15. No. On the blast. So I need to roll fifteens. So fails one, which makes me go unconscious. Fails okay. another one, double unconscious. Because okay. I'm remote. Oh, presence. that's right. You're remote. Yep. And dead. Uh, and then he's dead. Yeah. So he burned up. <sighs> So there goes that missile launcher that I needed gone. And now the bot's kind of useless anyway. He's stuck up there yeah. and kind well, of without a care. So he, I didn't, he was, he was the least of my, is that also a remote? Oh no, he's a doctor too. He's a doctor and engineer, Arr, yes. That's right, Dr. Worm. Mm -hmm. Damnable hell. All right, so now you got two unopposed rolls. Oh yes, me. I need eights. You need eights. So these rolls, I don't get to do anything. So he hit uh, on one. Four and a 10, so Tommy rifle? Uh, no, Spitfire, so damage 14. Damage 14, uh, armor one. So you're plus No, four. armor three, so plus, plus three six. for, so a six, so I need uh, nine, nine yes. right? So I need to roll a nine here. Roll a one. Twelve, nine got it, good. stick it. My riding, doing work, that's what we needed. All right, so that was a good order because now it clears the way for me to do some cool stuff with mm -hmm. my missile. Um, I was gonna, I had to kind of do that because that missile launcher, even though he's sitting there, he did have a pistol. That pistol's at plus three or plus six at that range. 
Plus so three. everything that I'm about to do, every weapon that can shoot at me right now is a bad thing, but I got to do it. And I'm not as worried about his bot in the background as as I am about this dude sitting right here, mm -hmm. right? So uh, what I need to do now, get us back on the cam, right? If you will, we'll see that we've got my TO camo guy right here, right? So I'm going to spend an order. Uh, I do have to worry about whatever this is, but mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So I'm gonna spend another order that puts me down to six. And uh, I am going to uh, reveal. Oniwabam. With an Oniwabam, Shinobu Kitsune. And we're going to engage. All right. So I will ARO from him and shoot you with a pistol. Um, I will then. That's Jen, by the way. If you notice, that's painted up to be Jen. I will then do. Since I do have a guy back here, I do not want to shoot the template weapons. Right. So I'm going to do hit mode. Three shots hit mode here. Mm -hmm. He will arrow with pistols. Okay. Because his close combat sucks. Um, One dollar donation received from and I'll be plus. So yeah, we'll do that. So he's going to shoot with a pistol. Shoot there. I think that's all that can see him that I want to do anything with. These guys will wiggle because they can't do jack shit. So, and you are going to close combat? Yeah, I'm going to close combat and what, uh, plus what? three, minus three to you. Or okay, so can I do minus six to you or plus six to me? No, I can do the plus six. six to me with martial arts five. So I can do plus six to me. I thought right? martial arts five lets you attack everybody in base contact with you. And it's plus six, right? Just martial arts your, five is redundant. Hit your martial arts on your, on your board. Martial arts level five. Blah, 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 blah. Is, oh, it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's yeah. minus six to you. Yes. Is what it would be. But I'm just gonna do the, does plus. the, now does the, does the plus three? Minus three. Minus three work for yours? It works for my face face roll. So even though I'm using a pistol, it's it still, still works. minus yes. three. So I might as well do that. Yes. Yeah, because I'm, I'm at combat 25, so that puts me at 28 to hit. So mm -hmm. literally, I'm gonna murder this dude. Yeah, so I need a I need a twelve, um, and you'll be plus eight. Yeah, plus eight. So I I'm looking to roll a crit, which is a twelve. So he has to have so a twelve, and I just need to erase him. Baby. So I've erased him. No, oh, because you crit, crit well. yeah. So nobody takes damage. It's a tie. Uh, okay, so you're at minus nine, right? Oh shit, because it's plus three, I'm minus camo. three. And then your surprise attack. Is, surprise I actually attack. needed a six. Yeah, so you didn't need a twelve. Yes. So I was gonna say you couldn't have needed a twelve. What are you talking about? This well, is Shinobu, my friend. So erased. So yeah, she gone. has what's called a monofilament close combat weapon. Nobody gets it. If you if I hit you with it and I crit, you're gone. Or if you fail a save, you're gone. Doesn't matter how many wounds. If you have six wounds, you're gone. So she's an amazing wah, missile. Wah, wah. Um, so we'll go. This guy right here is gonna be plus three, minus six, uh, minus nine for cover. Yep. So he is, let's get he rid is 12, of... 12, I think. Let's get or is he BS 11? I think they're 11s. Yeah, they're 11. Yep, so I'll be plus 3, which is 14, minus 9, so... He needs a 2. Doesn't do it. Missy! And then this poor chap gets 3 shots. You are within plus 3. You are out of cover. So that makes me a 14, minus 6. I get 3 dice. 8. So I need 8. And I will do hit mode to make it damage 14, mm -hmm. and it's plasma, so any hits are armor and BTS rolls. Armor and BTS rolls. Um, so two hits. Two hits. So two arm saves, two BTS. Uh, all right, so my armor is one. Mm -hmm. They're horrible. Uh, and my, but BTS is actually very good. All right, so uh, I'm armor one against strength 14, so I need 14s, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll roll my armor rolls. Uh, I got two. Two. Two yeah. hits. All right, so two armor rolls. Uh, fail both. So she's so, dead. dead. $1 Sweet, but she did what she was supposed to. I needed, I, uh, I, it was an expensive Second missile, but that's what she's for. So Jen did her job. I was <laughs> able to, between the Raiden and Jen, clear all of the things that were of, mm -hmm. of at least notable fear right out of the gates for my Oyoroi, right? So that and the tag that's sitting over here, let me get back to our field cam here. My tag is here. He is my big point sink. He is my big walking weapons platform. He is a monstrous damage dealing beast in this game. 
I need to make sure that whatever heavy weapons he's got need to disappear as quickly as possible. So I just eliminated a heavy machine gun and a missile launcher that was part of his link team, which is now down to four. So I reduced a lot of his link team bonuses to the point where now that link just, team is, is, is just negative. I can I deal just, with them now. I'm ballistic 11. So yeah, you're bullet. He's ballistic 11. That five man, just hurts. like my, if I were to run Kaisotsu link team, getting them down below five is all you got to think about because that plus three to BTS that they get, or not BTS, the BS that they get is imperative to reduce because it makes cheap troops dangerous. My Kaisotsu in range hit on 16s and they're nine points a piece. Mm -hmm. They get to be redonkulous. I'm not running that now, but you get my drift. Okay, so good stuff. So that worked. I still have six orders to do now. I'm a little mm -hmm. bit more free to move around and do what I wanted to do originally, so I'm okay with that. Um, can I show the gen model? Yes, she is not fully painted, but this <laughs> is model de gen. You can uh, you can see Jen's hair. Right? That well, don't knock her over. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can see at least Jen's pink hair on there. Back, back up a little bit. Yeah, back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. There you go. So focus. Yeah. That's Jen. We just painted. She's the. It's the Oni Waban Shinobu Kitsune. It's normally painted in like bright greens with like black hair or whatever. But obviously, we wanted Jen to have a presence in all of our games. Jen is my missile. She comes in. She murders whatever I need murdered. She did a really good job. In a lot of cases, as Tom Shadle will uh, attest to, she murders things, and then bots bring her back to life, and she goes and murders more things. <laughs> but in this case, she got evaporated by a plasma gun, which was great for the counter deploy on his part with that total reaction. But realize, it also forced his total reaction bot into a spot on the table that it doesn't really want to be in for long term. Mm -hmm. So that was also not a bad thing to have happen. He's got to waste orders to put that thing where it's usable now. Uh, so I'm done with that. All right, let's spend some more orders and do some things. Let's do all the things now. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Now here's the problem, right? I can shoot the door. Yes. Do I have to have anti-material weapons yes. to shoot the door? Yes. Okay. So it's going to take lots of orders. What is anti-material? I can have uh, HMGs are anti-material in anti-material mode. Multi-HMG is only, multi, right? Yes. What else is uh, heavy rocket launchers anti-material? I uh, don't know. Uh, click it on there. It'll say anti-material on the actual ammunition. Heavy rocket launcher blast. No, it's just fire. Nothing yeah, I don't else. think it does. No, you need. Um, it'll say underneath. What about D charges? D charges, yes. You have to move up. You plant them, and then you have to use another order to explode them. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So my 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 thinking here is you got to start because this mission is all about the objective points, not mm -hmm. about the kill points. Mm -hmm. Kill points have no bearing here. I have to start thinking, how do I get into the armory, mm -hmm. set up a fire base so that on his turn, as he starts coming into the, towards the armory, how do I either, in this turn, do I either try to kill him to the point where it makes it very tough for him to get to the armory, and then do turns two and three taking the armory? I've got that choice. Or do I take the armory now and leave dudes on the table? And he has one that is still in hidden deployment someplace, and I know that that band is, you know, <laughs> out that way because he didn't make an infiltration role. So I have some info, but I don't know where he took his photo and where that dude lives right now. So I gotta think in terms of surprise, gotcha bitch stuff happening at some point. Um, that guy kind of worries me. Your other team has got, what is your late team leader? He's a hacker. The hacker. Nexus hacker, yeah. Nexus hacker. Anything on the field that has MSV that I know about? Not anymore. Okay, good. <laughs> just that it was guy. just the HMG guy, yeah. right? Well, that's all right. My smoke is dead. So my only smoke got killed. That was my risk with her is that I really kind of had to, with the Shinobu, I had to think because she has smoke and that in tune with my Rushi is a great combo, but I had to make a decision. Did I want to risk her and have her die to get the shit killed? And I did it and it worked. So that's good. But now I have no smoke. He has no MSV. We're okay. Um... All right, what am I going to be doing here? I feel like we need to get Buster up field here. That guy's got no vision on me, right? Are you? Is your camo marker deployed with vision or no? To um, the camo marker can see whom? To over here. Where's his line of sight to over here? Uh, yeah, he can see your. He can see right there to your. Okay, so he can see him right now. Dead, yeah. Hmm. I don't think they have anything good with a, with camo, do they? Is that just regular camo marker? Yeah. No, it's TL. Is it TL? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. But we can't spry shop me, so I don't nope. really care. Like, do I? Am I going to reveal? Probably not. I was going to say, yeah, but you think it would be pretty stupid to actually go in and 
try to do anything here. Um, what else is, is there nothing else over here other nothing than your HPT? Yep. So it's just your group back there. Mm -hmm. Where's your Nexus? Inside this. Oh, you put him in the box? Yeah. I was like, you pointed that way, and I was like, So I have the, the link leader right I saw it, I saw it, it, yeah. I was like, is he in the box? <laughs> is that a thing? Uh. It is, yeah. That was part thing. of the terrain. <laughs> step, step one, put your it, leader in the box. It yeah. is a thing. Actually, step cut a hole two, in the box. Cut a hole in the box. Yeah, whenever you're running a fire team, you want to keep your leader on your defensive side outside of line of fire. Because if he kills my leader, then my link's broken. So... Um, I want my firepower out. I want the hacker to be able to go in and hack if I need to. So, yes, he is definitely hidden. Bring another order. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll idle with my riding. Um, I'll do, I needed eights. You're going to need twelves. Both get two shots. I will fire. Okay, I'm going to fire at him. I don't need eights anymore because I need fives. Yeah, you need fives now. Yes. Shiza. Didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, because his link team is down to four. He doesn't get the plus three. He needs fives. I need twelves. Right, so uh, um, I guess I hit crit. Um, I did not crit, and so, I hit again. so crit and a hit. Crit and a hit. Uh, armor roll for him. He does get. He is fine. Okay, but he's so. burning from the crit, right? Oh yeah, that's. So you got to save for the fire off the crit. Yeah. So another. But he's good. Yeah. Okay. Good. So he's unconscious. Just first unconscious. All right. Blah, 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 I'm down to five more orders, so that's good. He's out of action as of right now. Did you only have one of the doctor bots? Yeah. Okay. All right, I, what do I want to do here? Bless America. It's going to take me two orders to blow that door open either way I look at it, right? Um, I have, well, a decharge is like explosive. Agent. Yeah, but I, it's going to take me a lot more order to get her up there. Is the uh, unless you do have a hacker up there, then it's only move, move, and then hack. But only a regular hacker gets the lockpick. Um, oh, that's right. Killer hackers don't have lockpick. Does assault? Assault should. I don't have assault. Just click your assault hacking device on the Mayanet. Mayanet, by the way, is fantastic. Yeah, that's what we're using. Um, here, we're using which, Mayanet. Here, give me this camera. This so is, yeah, it tracks we'll it all of your stuff. So pretty back awesome. To here. This is Mayanet. It is a program that allows you to build your army list in here, and then once they're built, uh, it you can go back and select each of the individual units that I've got, and it gives you all their details here as well. So you can just click on a guy and uh, and look at like his hacking programs and see. And I don't think I feel like lockpick is only available to like normal hacking uh, devices. Hack device plus has it, hack device has it, white hacking device has yeah, it. Yeah, all the defensive ones and, and then I think the regular one. Assault so. and killer do not have it. Yeah, so about that. Question about <laughs> team leaders. Mm -hmm. Can you change up the team leader like on your turn? Every time every time, yeah, uh, every time you, you activate the fire team, you select who the, like, the leader is. Okay. So you could actually conga line that guy down and then whoever, if somebody had a good weapon, you want to put them yep. to take the AR that's exactly That's gotcha. exactly what you do. All right, uh, I am going to spend an order mm -hmm. and activate my Oyoroi. Hush, hush, Oyoroi. Nothing right. we'll be able to see right now. Yeah, except for your camel marker. Yeah, except for the camel marker, of course. All right, so we are going to move him first around the corner. Mm -hmm. to there. Moving with him are his lovely, annoying yep. dudes. No arrows. No arrows. Cannot see you. All right. We are going to then move him where, 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 and where. Can I just come across here or take cover right there? I'm not really afraid of what you do, Joe. But I can't really do that, can I? You can if you get them like up to here, whereas koalas are within here, because then they'll hit any. Yeah, that's the there. thing that I'm thinking is using defensively right now. So <coughs> I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna move him across with his second move. Move. Koalas with him, keeping in coherency. So now he's out of line of fire for everybody there. Four orders. What do I want to do? The problem with this kind of thing is trying to determine if you want to spend the orders to set up in kind of a defensive mm -hmm. firing position um, with models that are going to be able to react to anything he does, or if you just want to be active and go through and do stuff, right? Like right now, if I go through, do stuff, 
Um, you know, I can I can maybe take the armory, get the point. He's got a dude, Tio Camo, right, right there so that I feel like to... can probably get in the armory. I'm thinking it's probably something specialist that'll mm -hmm. open that door. So the thing I can't really afford to do is allow him to get into the armory without me having a presence there, I think. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a thing. Dang it. So I may have to open all the doors is the key. Only specialists can do it? Yes. Or anti-material weapons. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, I'm going to spend my next order. And thank you! Welcome to the Snails. Deep Paddleland. One, two, three. Welcome. Thank you for that follow. All right, let's see. I love it. We've got Art Image says, love the show, but Kip, die. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening right now. I'm getting smoked. All right, I am I going to spend an not, order on this on this uh, T.O. Camel marker. I have not won one face-to-face -face roll, I don't think. And he is going to move with his four inches into the door. Mm -hmm. And then with the second part of that action, I will reveal as a ninja with killer, killer hacking device. All right. And uh, we will make a whip roll to open the doors. And uh, because I don't have a lockpick rule on this, and I don't want to, because he took me down two orders, I'm only working with 10 to move my hacker up there, to move an engineer up there. I have the resources, but by the end of the day, that would take me three orders as opposed to the one order I'm hoping to do it with right here. So just for efficiency of orders, I got to risk opening all the doors. All right, so we are going to make a whip roll. Uh, I am whip 13. Is there a plus or minus on this one? Okay, so straight. just straight whip. I fail. Fail, so. fail on an 18. So that's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I will spend another order. And that's going to suck, but I got to do it. We'll do it again. All right. What's the second part of your order? Uh, I guess the... If you open the door, you can declare move. I will move in yes. to the room after, yes. I open the, after I open the door. Okay. Somebody likes us. Or fail. So I get it. Nice. Stick it on a 12. So all doors are now open. All of the doors are open. They all slide inwards and just pop right out. Yeah. Put them off. The side. Thank you for the follow. Sussex Hentai, what's going on? Welcome. So is that a reason not to go right in front of the door when you're going to open it? Yes. Because they're going to see right through it? So yet? yeah, if I would add first turn, I could add a guy in suppression fire right here. Right. And as soon as he opened the door, he could. it's a short skill. Um, no, it's a short movement skill. So he could have opened and then shot back, but he would have faced it. So I will move to cover mm -hmm. right here. Do you, that's the second part of your order. Do you want to be seen by that guy? The goal was no. I think that from yeah. the door, you still only have the edge of the thing, So I can right? see till there. So you're going to have to back up a little right bit. Right there. Boop. Yep. Okay, cool. Good. Let's go through some questions real quick. Heavy rocket would be strength 14 missile launcher. No, heavy rocket launcher is strength it's, 15. It's 14, I think. And then hit mode is... Heavy rock... Oh, in hit load. Yeah, okay, but it didn't so matter you, what we were doing. I was looking at the hit blast. load strength, but it, yeah. yeah yes. For blast, I used blast. It's so, all right. I did not didn't roll, roll anyway. a 14. Um, I rolled a 12 was the highest I rolled, so it didn't matter. Thug life, shank, shanking bitches on turn one. That's all she's really for. As the only reason that Jen, as, as my Oni Waban, Jintastic does not shank bitches turn one when she fails her superior <laughs> infiltration roll, which she has done probably an equal amount of times to the amount of times she's seen but she is killed, literally against Pano, in turn one, killed nearly 200 points on a superior infiltration. She killed a Yotams. Oh my gosh. She killed a Yotams, two remotes, and uh, an engineer. Four models, nearly 200 points I cleared off the board and still lost that game. Ack, for reasons. It's no dollar for unconscious, Matchstick, man. I think that counts. <laughs> I think that counts. It's 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 you know it's not there. BBC, not sure uh, what you get, what's going on, but get infused. BBC, ask questions if you if you feel like you don't understand. Uh, we're trying to talk about the rules as we go. Um, one of the things that you do is in Infinity, it is a my whole side goes, Kip's whole side goes. But during it, what happens is that for every action I take, it generates a possible reaction, what we call an ARO, uh, on the opponent's side. So if I move a model, and he has models that can see that model as it moves, they can choose to do things. They can shoot, they can dodge out of the way if they feel like they're gonna get shot at. Um, they can throw smoke to cover areas to blind that model, things like that. So you have a limited amount of things you can do as a reaction, but they're all very potent, or can be. So it's a very engaging game because it's not like, like Kip has to sit back orders. and do nothing while I go. You've noticed that every time I've done something, 
he has been paying very close attention, and he mm-hmm. just said right, right there, when I moved my guy, did you want to be seen? Because if I'd have moved and wanted that ninja out here to be seen, he could have shot me for free right there. Yep. So it's a very engaging game. Uh, every model has two movement characteristics. Uh, like my Oyoroi, my big tag, it's movement characteristics six hyphen four. And so that means that in each order, I get two things I can do. There's two halves of your order. And for your first order, you can choose to move. And then for your second half, you can shoot. Uh, in that case, I would move the first value of movement. In the case of my tag, it's six. So I can move him six inches into cover and then shoot at dudes. Or I can move him twice like I did just then and I move six and then the second half of his movement and move four. But each of those things generates a reaction or a possible reaction by the opponent. So you have to be careful. If you move twice, you don't want your second movement to put you in the line of sight of the enemy because they get to say, oh, I can see him, I'm gonna shoot and you're out of order because you've already used both halves. You, you moved once, uh... yeah, you moved once and then you move twice. So you gotta be very careful. And, and when you're playing Infinity, you never want that second move to put you in jeopardy unless you've got super survivability. T.O. camo, you haven't been discovered yet. There's some things you can do. But for now, I'm trying to be sort of careful, but I needed to get dudes in here. So I got dudes in. Um, we're gonna spend another order. We're gonna continue to put dudes up here. We're going to activate the Oyoroi. All right, the Oyoroi is going to do a move, move. I don't believe you have line of sight no, anywhere anyway. on this guy, so I'm going yeah. to move, While move. he's moving, one, one of the things that I was gonna say is uh, line of fire is open information. That means it's supposed to be known. So I personally like to show because A, it's written in the rules. Don't be a jackass. Don't be a jerk. Yes. It's supposed to be fun. Um, this speeds up the game for both your player and yourself. And I kind of stand by the golden rule, do unto others. Yeah. Um, so I would expect you know my opponent to be like, yeah, my line of fire is here. It speeds up the game. Some people out there could be like, well, I don't know, come look, and then you be the judge, and then I'll let you know after you're done. Like, that, to me, that's not fun. It's not a good spirit of the game because it slows everything down. Yeah, it's not. Really bogs down the game. And it's op- if it was private information, then that'd be different, but anything that's called open information, every player's supposed to know at any time. So I, I, it's a personal thing. I like to do that because it really does speed stuff up, especially in tournaments. Yep. Like, when you have a short time limit, like, I don't... Like, I want to get all of our turns in, so I like to do things that help speed the game up. Yep, I'm with you. And, you know, you don't want to play against anybody in a game, no matter if it's Infinity or Warhammer or whatever, where when you do something that maybe maybe you're new. I'm still mm. not a, a veteran at this game. I might do something that the opponent knows that, oh, God, that gives me the perfect opportunity to just absolutely gotcha bitch him. Mm. You know, because there, he could have just let me move and just been like, okay, I'm going to shoot. And I'd have been like, what do you mean? I have line of sight. Oh, I didn't know that. And he literally could, by the rules, say, well, that's tough. You move there. But you'll find with Infinity, it's a very friendly environment. And people like to say that. You know, like, they may not be paying attention to a dude he had deployed over here that I can't see. And at that point, he'd go, hey, before you do that, do you realize I've got this guy over here, this camo marker? Is that really where you want to do? Is your intention to be seen by this camo marker? And I might go, oh, whoops. Can I take that back? And generally you'll find that yes, unless every move you do is like that, I find that people are fairly accommodating. Okay, so I've got him uh, with uh, obscured vision into the room. My goal here, my Oyoroi cannot enter the room here because the doorway is a small pathway. Obviously I'm a size five model, big ass monster, Uh, but I wanna be able to have him from his base be able to get vision, right? And still maintain cover to as many doors as possible. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've done right now, all right? Uh, I got one more order. I need to do something here. What do I need to do? I feel like I feel like there's things I might be able to do, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> I just noticed your tag is wearing high heels. Yes, he is. That's nice. <laughs> yes, he is. I love the Oyori. It's a great model. It, to me, is one of my favorite tags because it is kind of spindly, mm-hmm. which gives... Because it has martial arts. It's the only tag, I think, with martial arts. It might be a Pano one that has good close combat. But I feel like the, yeah. with martial arts, my tag has stealth, which is bitching. So I am going to... I got an order and I need to do something with an order. What do I want to do? What's going through your mind right now? I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to counter. So, like, Spend I'm, my looking, last order. I'm looking where he can see, what I can do. Um, now, here's uh, one thing that Jason, and I'll let him move back, just especially because, um, like you said, he's kind of new. 
Uh, you can only move over friendly models that are equal to or less than your silhouette. So if you pop that Oyori too much to where that guy can't That's why I left base. him here. I've left him here to where I can get the base through. I mean, that was my so, goal was to be able to fit, and he can. So he's he perfect. Yeah, perfect. That was so you got to remember point, that. Though. You can't, if, if, the, if the silhouette you're trying to go past is bigger there, than you, you, you can't, can't move over him unless you actually have map space to do so. So that's why I only poked the Oyori out enough to where mm -hmm. I hoped I still had that lane there. So I'm going to activate this camo marker. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to do a move, move here. Right? Or actually, are we? I kind of need to. Need you to have to be all there. the way in the room, yeah. Killer Ninja Hackers. I play you, Ching, so I believe they're right around 32-ish points, 35 max. See, I don't know what that is in exactly. that part. Exactly. I can kill it if it comes through the door, I think. Because it's got to do something. Discover first. No, you can hold in marker state. No, yep. I know, but if you want to, I mean, you could. I guess you could throw it in the roll in the room just and points. then just put its points in there yep. and not do anything with it. That is the case, huh? Yes, and I will confirm that because I left the mission up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move, move. Yeah, just keep moving. I'm going to move, move. Uh, nobody can really see me, so I'm going to go ahead and just do yep. it. Yep, you can hold it while in marker state. So, yes, you're going to want to put people in there. Move this camo marker up into cover. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's it for me. That's all I got. All right. So I do have a lieutenant order, but obviously I'm not going to reveal my lieutenant at this point in time. Yeah. So now, here's the fun. Here's a fun thing about knowing like other players' armies. So, if I can kill his lieutenant this turn, he goes into loss of lieutenant next turn, which means everybody becomes irregular. They can only use their order. Um, breaks his order pool so it's basically like a loss of a turn um, I know that there's two options on the table that can be his lieutenant it's either oh no you're not playing JSA the oh you're right cannot be lieutenant no, in no JSA units can be lieutenants so never mind I know exactly who's lieutenant is. it's <laughs> that thing right there in that building um, because that's the only two options on the table and I just realized Vanilla cannot take an Oyori. So knowing that kind of gives you an advantage. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to come over to his side of the table. <laughs> uh, Ray Silver says, been oh. wanting to ask someone an honest opinion on the Zeodrons. Are they worth the purchase? Yes. Yes. Very, very, <laughs> very, very good, man. Yes, they very, are. Very, very good. Yes. Uh, especially, Flamers, are you kidding me? Um, so Zeo, Zeodrons, if you're talking about the uh, tags... Uh, oh, that yeah, come in right. a, yeah, the big the ones. two big tags that come in a double box. You get yeah. that and the Umbra Samaritan. It's a great, it's, great. In Onyx, you can, you can run them as a Haris team, which means I can have my five man uh, Unidron unit and also the three man Haris unit, and they're extremely order efficient and extremely fast. I need to cruise over to your side. I'm sorry, uh -oh. bro. All right. So, all Party these. In the realm. What's going on, man? All these guys are facing forward. What's that? Uh, well, this guy's kind of canted off. Yeah, but uh, I can get in your back arc. I'm going to need to get to this side of the table. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, guys. We got cords. Uh, okay. So if I walk in here. Well, actually, oh, I might be able to. Uh, Mike, could you give me my laser pointer? So I have what's called an AD combat jump troop that can either jump in or walk in. I can jump in inside his deployment zone, but I have to make a roll. If I walk in, um, I can walk in for free, and I am outside of his back arc. So I can land right here, and nothing can shoot me. Because his, if you see his hash marks right there, mm -hmm. and right here. Yep. So you can only see here. Um, this guy sees him. What's up? Oh, yeah. He, he does have weapons. His electric pulse. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, nobody should be able to see me from this side because of the walls and the door. Sorry, man. So, what I'm going to do is... Fracta. Yes. Yep. All right. So... Do you want me to grab something for you? Uh, Just yeah. Just lift it up. Inside my bag, 
When we get to a point, we will be having wireless mics, but we're not there yet. <laughs> not quite there Only yet. One time I'll kneel down in front of dudes. This is a grab minis. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna leave that one alone. All right. Okay, so I have to use her own order, and she comes in in the group with these three. So I'm gonna spend that order. And Z, do you want to go ahead and just um, put her right on the edge? Yeah. So since we'll move. So that's an order to walk in. Yeah. So I mean, just establish nobody can see. I'm pretty sure I can uh, move up to that without anybody seeing me in that straight line right here. Uh, up to this ladder, with, except for him. Yeah. I guess for G servant, what can I do? Can I alert? So you not can. Until you can do anything. I can move. Uh, you can alert, which means that people can change face or stand up. Um, or yes, stand up if you want to do that. Well, no. Um, you can only dodge, change face. Only dodge, change face. Yes. So that's not a move. So you can't dodge, stand up. Okay. It's, so it's you can't break. Yeah, you can't break just, prone. No, you just twist in. So I spent uh, second order. Well, I don't need to change face because she's already I'll facing the right direction. She doesn't have a problem with seeing you once you come up the ladder. Yeah. So that's not an issue. Nobody else really. Um, I mean, I could change I face my... with him, but that doesn't do anything. So. So I spent another order. Can you... I can do all the movement for you. Yeah, I, I've you already please? Please? I want to move. Well, four inches straight to the ladder. Okay. So four inches in, straight to the ladder. Yeah. Bam. Um, are you any arrows with that little guy? Uh, because you can dodge and gauge. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and dodge. Dodge. Um, I have two orders. I can go four, four, and only get one shot. You need sevens to dodge. Um, I will go ahead and move straight towards the um, ladder and let you attempt to do the dodge. Okay. Oh. So I need to dodge on a seven because I'm minus three because mm -hmm. I'm a remote. Right? So I get it on he a three. It. And you can move two inches. And then inches move forward. me four inches towards the ladder. Ladder, get you almost there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so third order is I'm going to shoot. Okay. And then second part is going to be to move. I'll dodge. Yeah, well, I knew he was gonna dodge. I have. Normally, I have to allow him to say what he's going to do before I say my second order. This guy doesn't dodge. have anything else that he can really yeah. do. Right? He's got electric so, pulse, which means I have um, to be in like you know base to base in order before I can do anything with. I'll him, do so. AP mode since you're out in the open, and that, yep. it's not going to matter anyway. She's a ballistic skill twelve. I'm plus six within eight inches, which we are. Minus so three. I'll need mimetism. I'll need uh, 18 minus three is 15. Yeah, so he needs 15, and I need a seven again. So, so I fail, hits. and he gets two hits. So I need, uh, what is the weapon? Combi rifle? Boarding shotgun. Oh, boarding shotgun. Yeah. So it's damage 14. 14. Yeah. Uh, and I have no armor, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. No, no armor. So I need 15s. Fail both. So gone. So on the last order of that group, um, I'm, oh, my move is to up and then halfway up the ladder. So yeah, you're halfway up. So, well, and while you're on a ladder, you're you're basically like this. So I, you can't shoot from the ladder. Right, so right. on my last order, I'm going to move up. Right. To, well, her wings won't allow yeah, her to be whatever. here. You're in there. So, how far up the ladder was I, though? Well, you can't go prone on the ladder. So uh, yeah, you can't. So. so, move. Arrow there. Uh, you're going to boarding shotgun me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot you back. Shoot. So. Okay, so uh, I'm going to. Should I? Or should I, should I freaking dodge? What's the better numbers? They're both bad. The, the shoot is the better deal because yep. the dodge is at uh, straight numbers. Yeah, it's like 11. The shoot is going to be a better deal. Like, so You should be shooting me on a 14. Uh, blah, blah, Unless blah, blah, blah. It, yep, they should 14. be 11s. Yeah, yep, with a 14. pistol? Yep. Okay. Or they have a combi rifle, right? I have a combi rifle, so yeah. I can do plus three. Yes. So I need the combi rifle. 14's yeah. on the combi rifle. Uh, and I'll do boarding shotgun, and I'm also going to do AP mode again. So I need yep. 18s. This is huge. Uh, two hits. And, and oh, bam, done. So two arm rolls. Two arm rolls. And unconscious. That should be a good thing. <laughs> unconscious. We'll see. Now, if that is his lieutenant, he can reveal, now that's open lieutenant, you have killed my lieutenant. So. Let's see, what am I going to do now? Um, Dr. Worm is going to go prone. 
at the start of his movement is when he goes prone. I love that rule. Can I see my tape measure? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you, thank you. Um, now, when you're prone, your half movement, he has a move value of 6'4", which turns him into a 3'2". And he, prone makes you the size of your base. Before we do this, mm -hmm. I want to do a dodge change face here. Yeah, because I'm, with, I'm with, well, yeah. I'm I, within your, you're within my zone of control. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dodge change face on my Rushi, just mm -hmm. in case he decides to do anything tricksy with his dude to try to come over and shoot me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need a seven on that as well. Miss. Okay. And for all intents and purposes, she's like up against the wall right there. Yeah, you're inside. Yeah. So. Um, so my move over here is a three inch move in the beginning. What, Mike? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so. I always forget. Over here, yeah. Three inch move. Any arrows to that? Uh, for Dr. Worm? Yeah, he's prone. He's prone? Yes. And moved out? Yeah, you shouldn't be able to. He's see a. Him. He's not a remote. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll double make sure. I'm pretty sure he was, right? Light infantry. <laughs> Is he just light infantry? Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes him awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't know he could go prone. All right. Uh, do a movement there. Um, while he moves, this little guy gets to move. So. Um, Six inch move. He'll shoot. Right. You can arrow him, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, he's him. he activates anyway. Yeah. So. And then he'll do his movement here. Um, you can go ahead and take your shots. Yes. So I will be shooting at him from He'll my be right. In cover because when I get out of cover, I'll be clipping this. Uh, let me see your laser line because yeah. I think I'll be able to get him out of cover from right there. Oh, yeah, you'll get him yeah, right, right there. Yeah. So he's out of cover. So, so I'll get him when he's out of cover. So I am on 15s. Uh, no uh, mimetism. Oh, yeah, mimetism. So I'm a straight 12. One shot. Hit on a three. Sweet. The armor zero. So I need a 15 or better. He's good. Oh, rip. Fire. Yeah. So you know my mimetism. Oh, he already got hit by fire. Regardless of your dodge, you get hit by mimetism the fire. Mimetism always stays. <laughs> you can never burn mimetism. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can. You can't burn mimetism. Away. Camo reverts to that's mimetism. Right. Yep. You just can't recamo. That's right. You, yep, that's right. All right. So uh, second order, uh, Doctor Worm is going to remain prone and move up to this guy. Okay. And any arrow to that? I don't have any vision to him, so no. And that was two inches of movement. He is going to attempt to heal. He's a whip fourteen. Okay. So I need a 14 or better. Failed. So that would put him into double unconscious state. Right. Um, or I could burn a command token and not waste an order, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend a command token to re-roll that. Yep, he can re-roll because he's, he's a doctor. Well, it's because he's G remote presence. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so uh, needing a 14. That does, and it didn't waste an order. He is now back up. Yep. And he's not part of the fire team though. Yep. I have to actually break my fire team and use a command token to put him back in. Right. But that was my classified. All right. So engineer. he got his yes. uh, test run, yes. which is to uh, repair a structure point on a remote. So he did it. So he gets one objective point. So I'm going to spend another order on Dr. Worm, and he's going to remain prone. Yep. And he's going to move three go inches. Back. And Again. any arrow? No, I can't no? see him. Yeah. You're good. And he goes right back to there. Remaining prone. I have three orders left. What to do, what to do. Um, knowing that you are chilling over here, I most likely can't take that room this turn. So I just need to prepare myself for a second turn. Shenanigans. 12s to 5s over here, correct? What's that? It was 12s to 5s over here? Uh, 9. Oh, you, you needed 9s. No, you need 9. Oh, no, you, yeah, you fives. need 5s, and I need 12s. Nice. Yeah, yeah. One shot at a 12. I thought I told you never to interrupt me while I'm mm. working. Oh, damn it. I am the worst about camera change. Like, I literally am the worst. <laughs> so I hate it. I wish that I could just have a clicker in not, my hand. I need to, Somebody needs to find me a clicker that will switch my screens that I can keep in my hand. 
He's not in the fire team yet. Nope. Um, so I'll activate the fire team. Mm -hmm. Making him the leader. Okay. They're all in. Nobody can see yet. What's your arm? What's your your tactical bow? For the ninja? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do a move action to here. No, I don't want to do that. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out, time out. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> That's still hard to hit. Um, well, I'll be negative three, negative three for cover, negative six, I won't be able to hit you. Yeah, you can't do So I don't want to do that. That'll be a dumb move. So let's not do that. We encourage those here. I'd much rather do a move with this guy with that order. Okay. Move. Arrow. I'll hold. hold. Um, going to move right up to the door. So since he held, nobody can do anything. Right, unless you reveal. Actually, yeah, I'm going to move all in. the way in. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. Um, reason I did that is now I can actually move these guys, and he can't see me because that's a silhouette too. Mm -hmm. He can't see through models. Right. So now I will activate the fire team. Um, over here, and I will declare a move action. Um, since nobody can see over here, I'm going to remain him. Have him remain the leader. First part of the order is going to be to move. Second part is going to be to move. Any arrows? Uh, I don't have vision to you. Okay. Uh, then I will move again. Yeah, as long as you stay around there, Jump I'm good. There. Um. Measure coherency. Draw with an eight. With an eight. Um, now with my la, that's gonna Question. suck. Question. Yeah. Uh, did you just trigger my mad traps? Uh, proximity weapons on camo. Uh, I can move. I'm out of your line of fire. I have stealth. They don't care about line of fire. Zone of control. Even stealth move. Pretty sure. Check uh, proximity weapons up on there because I can't remember if they're triggered by camo or not. Mines are. As long as you're within zone of control, so you could technically, um, if they're triggered by camo, then they can work. I just don't ever really use them that much. See, it says blah blah blah. What's the uh, coherency for a fire team? Eight inches. Eight inches, yeah. Regardless of how many losses you take. Perimeter. Yes. Nice. Perimeter says in the reactive turn. Uh, blah 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 blah. Whatever. Uh, when deploying, yada yada yada. Zone of control. Reactive turn. Each time the bear declares an arrow, an initial and final coherency check, whatever. What does this even mean? Da, 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 da. This doesn't seem to say. Do you ever need to take checks on a fire team? Like if you lose two or three guys, or fire team? Yes. Zone of control. Yes. Must be an accessible location. Only when your leader goes down. Okay. When boost is declared, the perimeter auto will always move until it hits it when you're in the zone of control. Yeah, so like if only this was open, if this was zone of control, it actually would move all the way around. All the way around, yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter how far it is. As long as I have a spot around you that I yep. can base to base, then it does. But it says, let's see here. It's like a short skill discover. Anything that's not that. I'm not seeing anything. Does anybody know? We already know the points, so. It just says it's obligatory to decrol, declare boost. Oh, it says my an enemy trooper must declare or ex execute an order inside the zone of control of the perimeter item and be in an accessible lo location, is all it says for So, what does it say? Does it say uh, model? It says that an enemy trooper mm -hmm. must declare or execute an order inside the zone of control when you're a trooper because you're on the table and yes. you're activated. Yes, so then it, it would be camo. So check zone of control. Checking zone of control. You're within zone of control mm -hmm. of both. Okay, so what has happened here mm -hmm. is that we've had a activation because he moved inside mm -hmm. the door to block line of sight. So before, prior to any of those moves, both <laughs> of these crazy koalas go give him a hug. 
right? Yeah, so, well, basically, I'm going to have to bounce back then. Um, so you just won't move that far? Yeah, well, I'll have to be able to, you'd have to declare that. Um, I would declare the boost as you get yeah. in the door. So, well, are we still with an eight? It, no, the building is eight, so as long as you're outside the building, okay, okay, you're fine. Okay. It was when you um, came in the door. Well, then we'll do that, because I didn't know that rule, so you just get a free hit on him. Well... Yeah, I mean, all it says is requirements for boost. No, you're good. Enemy trooper must declare. It doesn't say anything about camo or... Yeah, go, go ahead and take the hits, man. I'll right. take... Uh, I need to make... Two strength 15s. So since I made a roll, that is a Ford Observing uh, Malignos. Okay. And they believe they're only armor one. Cross fingers, everybody. Let's see if we can blow up this dude. Armor one, so I need 15s. So, yeah, I'm not going to take that back because... Uh, I moved oh, yeah. in there, um, and not knowing the rule is not an uh, excuse to say, hey, can I take that back? I thought that we were still in when I was here, because then when I activated, you would have yeah. to blow up, then I would have got to dodge. That's why it's important to declare your activation after the first turn, because if they hit me, then I can dodge. But since it was the second part of my order, um, you can't do anything I can't do anything, hit. yeah. So, uh, I need 15s or better. Are you kidding me? Take it, baby! Oh my ooh, god. Ooh, ooh. Rocky Balboa! Oh my <laughs> god, are you kidding And that me? is why you should always be honest and not take back And he's, having, he's rolling house <laughs> dice, so I can't even bitch about loaded dice. Yeah. Oh my um, god. But now he's revealed. And... Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So he's revealed so, at least. Last order, this is going to be kind of dangerous. Damn it! switch the fire team leader over here. <laughs> just tell me. Activation. Just say, hey, oh, switch the cam. No, Better no, no, than, because no, 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 I may no, not no. look at you. So literally, just go, hey, switch the cam. I have to use a command token, because I have to break fire team, yep. re-up fire team to make yep. them a four-man, yep. um, making him the leader of one command token left. And you spent an order? And yeah, I spent my last order. Okay. Um, which I get his order back right now on my second turn. So I'm putting all my orders back up. Um, he is going to idle with that. Idle with what? My Spitfire. You still had an order? Yeah, it was my last order was this order right now. It was activate idle. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. he's, he's the watch. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, you're in minus three. I'm going to need fives to hit you, yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot. Sweet. So you need 112. The reason I'm doing this is I have five dice. Yep. Get a five. So... If you want to roll yours and move it so I can roll all mine. Hit you on a five. Hit me on a five. So I have to crit or I'm going to get hit. But if I crit, I beat his five because it's not a crit. So here's hoping for fives, baby. Fives, baby. No. Nothing. No, so I hit. take a hit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, only one hit. Um, There's nobody else around him? No. So it's damage 14, so I need a 14. Ah, nine is unconscious. My link team is broken. Uh, Thirteen oh, no, is second. double unconscious. Give me that fourteen, baby. Dead. Nope, he's dead. I cannot yes. pass fire. I'm extremely flammable. And the reason today. for that is because a heavy rocket launcher. The cool thing about it is, unlike a missile launcher, not only does it give you the ability to do a blast template, but it also causes fire. So on fire, you have to keep rolling those armor saves until you either save it and put out the fire, or die and get removed from the table, which he just did. So that's good. Now he spent all those orders. You okay? For those of you out there paying attention. He just spent a buttload of his order pool to do what he just did. Mm. All of the orders for his doctor to bring the guy back up, all of his orders to move a dude and, and break TO camo, which is valuable because now that, that eliminates my need for orders to find out who the hell that guy is, right? Um, which I'm going to be in loss of lieutenant, which he knows. Mm -hmm. um, so now all my orders are broken up now. So that's going to make it hard for me. But because of that, it makes it a lot easier. All right? make you feel better. Oh, Matchstick Man living up to it another buck because what I killed it? another model. Oh, he said nice, he'd do a buck nice. for every model. Nice. So, uh, all right. Um, and, and then he spent all the orders and command tokens to reform that link that I just broke again and removed the dude from the table. So that went in my direction, even though I had some bad rolls on some other things here. But I feel like that was good. He did get rid of my crazy koalas. That's a big yep. thing for him. Um, I don't have a real good way to re-up him because I didn't bring a baggage bot and I can't get him into the panoply. So that's a bummer. But... I get some stuff back. So now I have nine orders, because I lost a dude. Tell me. <laughs> you talk he won't so, talk. You talk so fast. I don't want to interrupt Okay, you. so now I only have uh, nine orders, uh, because I removed one, and that one was my lieutenant. So he's unconscious, 
But now everybody is irregular, all right? Mm -hmm. When you're in loss of lieutenant for this turn, until I name another lieutenant, um, I'm in loss of lieutenant, which causes me an issue because now everybody's order can only be generated and used on them unless I spend command tokens to make orders regular. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do here, right? To, uh, to see what I, because I have a Fracta in my backfield, right? And i got to figure out what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. And I get a, I get a point for in here, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so you're what? What's um, his value? Uh, that guy's value is 36 points. 36, okay, I got you beat, because I've got 29 and 31. Yeah, so. I was going to say, I know that they're not more than 32. So I've got like 60 points in the room That's why right you now. had to move in there, or else yeah. I would have took the room as well. Yeah. Um, so you will be player A, we'll just score points around this building. So one point for you, I got a point, one point for, for you. Test run. Because he got his he got his um his objective point. So he's got one, I've got one right now, and I've got a fract in my backfield that can cause a lot of problems with that boarding shotgun. So I need to figure out a way to remove him, and I don't have a lot of orders to do it with. Um But he's gonna have to take a lot of shots. Wants to do. Oh, I don't know how this A couple guys in chat are asking, are wondering if stealth actually would trigger the claws. Um, that's what I was saying. If you're I in zone of control, so yeah. stealth works differently when it's in zone of control. If it was no, in line of still, sight, it's still, it's still, you can't react to it. But proximity weapons are different mm -hmm. because they activate in your zone of control. It's 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 different than a trooper. A trooper cannot react with the, like dodge, change, face, or anything like that uh, against stealth because um, they can't, can't sense hack. you. But with proximity and mines, it's just like uh, when you activate within their zone of control, it's it's like a sensor. Because mines at. blow up. Yeah, it's like whether it's you're sensing the area, stealth or not. So even though you're moving super quietly, it's sensing you going through there. So I mean, I would have to look that up in my if I had to rule it on the spot, I would say it would. Uh, trigger them because it, you just have to all it says is you have to spend an order within zone of control to do that and stealth is um, well remember he does generate he does generate arrows in line of sight and and it, because he moved into line of sight so he generated arrows from the troopers mm -hmm. in the room right i just didn't choose to discover i choose to hold and then <laughs> i think perimeter i think kip's right i think perimeter we might look it up after the game and find out that we're wrong on that one i feel like I feel like it's not well lined out because looking at perimeter weapons and all of this and the boost, it just says that in order to activate, the trooper has to declare inside zone of control. And he, he counts as a trooper mm. whether he's camoed or not because he's generating an order and, and it's a silhouette on the table. So we may have that wrong. But let's go. Uh, Art Image says, let's have a recap of present models on the table. Good idea. Uh, mm. I'll run through this real quick. We've got over here, I have not done anything, so I still have my Lu Duan. This is getting... Much <laughs> loosened up from, uh, uh, okay. So we've still got our Lou Duan remote over here with Hollow Echo, or Hollow Echo 2. We've got our Raiden who's been doing work, right? So this guy, cheap model, yeah. absolutely wrecking face. I can't uh, make any fire rolls, man. Love it. It's ridiculous. I've got my Oyaroi, uh, no more crazy koalas. They activated, they did their job by revealing a TO camo marker. So we're going to call that a win. I've got a uh, ninja killer hacker in here with a bow. And then I have a yet defined camo marker in cover also in there uh we've got the engineer on my side is still active uh with only one of the pal bots which is under the stairs here now because the other one got killed uh it doesn't generate an order so don't lose an order for that uh along with my hacker here uh and then my rushi under the stairs and my unconscious lieutenant over here so that's it for models on my side kip hmm. what do you got left uh over here i still have my nexus hacker i have two um Unidrons with plasma, which will be really good if I can get them up into the uh, up into the room because they get plus to their no. template weapons. No, they don't. Only direct template weapons, not plasma. Plasma is an impact template. No, it's only direct template. No, in zone. no. It says so. it's template weapons. It said direct template. No, on the new it's, thing. It's, Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So we already had this. It's template weapons. Okay. Because I just read through it with Donnie. Because Donnie's like, yeah, somebody said it had to be direct. No, it just says Because last night as I'm reading, it says direct on the Wotan thing. If you go to the Wotan site, it does say direct template weapons. So it says heavy flamethrowers, mm -hmm. nanopulsers, light flamethrowers, but not 
blast, like you hit the dude at the door and then it makes a template yeah, no, inside. On the one I read, it said template weapons. Like we'll go with it. Straight, we'll go with it. But I'm pretty sure we'll check printed, after. I'm it, pretty sure it says direct I had template it weapons. Printed out. Yeah. I forgot to bring the print out, but I had yeah. it printed out. We just played it. I showed him. Cool. When it says template, there's direct and impact. Yeah. So like shotguns in there. That's why I said that it. because it, I was going for the same thing. Should I bring shotgun mm -hmm. guys? But it said only direct on the deal mm -hmm. I was doing, so I chose not to bring any. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, I have that printed out. I have no internet access, so I can't bring the uh, <laughs> the thing up. I can't download advantage. it for, for my cloud. Yeah. All right. So um, I yeah, so I have I have those three. I have a Q drone with plasma still in this order. Um, I have the maligno still. Uh, so that should be one, two, and Doctor Worm. Mm -hmm. So I have four, five, um, six models from that group. The other group is the two Imatrons, the Icadron, and my Fractal with boarding shotgun back there. Who is like up against the wall, which makes a, a big deal. And why is that? Because because uh, I have cover. Okay. That's why I wanted to say her wings just disallow her to be where. Yeah, she, she can't fit underneath. Her. <laughs> All right. But so in in game terms, if you're like, well, if your model can't fit, then how can you be there? Because in well, game terms, she's a terms, silhouette. She's, she's, only, a silhouette she's tall. Yeah, she's a silhouette two model, so that will fit under there. So technically. So she's yeah. only a silhouette one, even though the model is actually higher. The silhouette will fit underneath the roof, so that allows yes. it. Yes. You can't just put any model. If the terrain dictates height and this model were actually this tall, she wouldn't have even been able to get up there so and do what, what she did. Yeah, what we can do is if you want to just That's put, fine. We all know. Yeah, we all like, know here. Here we know. Likes they us. may not know, but here we know. <laughs> Thank you for that follow. Higgs Boston, what's going on? Did he miss the secret deployed dude doing something? No, I don't think no, so. No. no, I did not do anything with my secret hidden deployed. Dude. An art image, it is armory, but it is the special armory mission for the Strike Zone Wotan. So there is a hull breach inside the armory, which means that if you do not have multi-terrain or zero G, that mm -hmm. if you're in there, uh, anytime you do an action, you wind up, uh, uh, if you roll an 18 or above, you take a hit yourself. So it's a little dangerous, not super dangerous, but the odds are still, you know, even as small as they are, the odds are still there that you might take a hit when you're trying to shoot somebody yeah, and wind up killing yourself. Oh, so, yeah. little, little tough. <laughs> what are thoughts on the JSA Bikers Casino Reads? Uh, they're very good if you get a feel for them. I have got a couple. Um, they're they're regular impetuous, so you can you can use them to your benefit if you want to use the impetuous order. It gives it basically a free move, and they move a long distance, right? They're eight six, so they move fourteen freaking inches with bikers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The 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 difficulty there is they don't get any cover. Generally, uh, the JSA ones have uh, mimetism, so they get basically cover on their own as they're out in the world, um, but they don't get the benefit of cover. Um, because they're on a bike. So a little harsh to use. You got to watch that impetuous move because the impetuous mm -hmm. move, you have to move the full first distance, which is eight inches. You can't just Thank you, move three inches with your impetuous move to get a little bit of benefit. You have to go that eight. So you just got to be careful when you're doing that impetuous to get that extra order. But if you can use it to your advantage because of terrain, they can be pretty brutal. There's a Spitfire one. I mean, there's some good weapons on them and they actually have an armor value because of the motorcycle. So. I feel like if you if you like that speedy move shoot kind of thing, then they could be really, really good for you. For me personally, I don't like to cover that much distance at once. I don't feel, I'm a little bit more reserved in my kind of angles of fire. And I feel like those guys, even though they can move 14 inches, they're kind of like missiles. If you can get a good one and put them in the backfield and kill something and then just assume it's going to die, I think that's okay. That would be my kind of feel on it. Where did the terrain come from again? And did you paint it or was it pre-painted? This has all been painted by Ethan Pearson. Uh, and you've got a lot of Warsenal terrain, all of the, the high level stuff. I'm not sure where these boxes come from, Kip. Do you know, are these Warsenal containers? Uh, yes. So most of this is all Warsenal stuff. I think that these larger containers are not, but I, somebody might be able to correct me on that. All right, so back to play. I've got nine orders and I'm irregular on mm -hmm. all of them. So I gotta be very careful here or spend some command tokens to make regular orders and do some things. Yes. Um, but first and foremost, so, I got some dudes I gotta get rid of. So, t uh, so technically, what um, what is standard is if you have irregular guys on a situation like this, I like to take their order and set it by each model. Yeah, we can do so that. So that you know um, who is still irregular, because he can use command tokens, like you said, and switch those to regular, which any one of these guys can use. 
So typically in this situation, when you're in the loss of lieutenant, where everybody becomes irregular, it's um, it's oh, I got eight, it's, it's eight orders. Not beneficial nine. to do something like this because I lost Shinobu as well. Yes, so we're down two. So we got eight orders though. And then perfect. So he's like, I have nine orders. I didn't double check that, but when you go to put him out on your model, yeah, no, he just realized, oh wait, I have an extra. I'm like, order. where does this extra order go? Because <laughs> yeah. it was Shinobu who so got that, wiped. That helps me out. Yes. All right, so my first order that I am going to spend, I do believe that what we are going to do here, um, can you verify line of sight from your fracta? Are you? Are we having line of sight to the Oyoroi? Um, you have to get out the big temp, the big silhouette, which I have over here as well. Yeah, if you, you have your have big, one. I don't have my big silhouette. I only have silhouette uh, five. You should be a seven. Six. Yeah, you should be the big guy, the 55 mil. Yeah, it is. Seven. And then... So if we do there, it's going to be the same thing. And if you've got here... Uh, boy, I would say you do, because you've got one square of sight there. So I would say yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to make a difference, because he's going to get arrows. Only a boarding shotgun, though, right? Yep. Okay. So you're not at plus six range. No. Uh... Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to spend the Oyeroys. Am I going to do that? Or do I have other orders I can spend to try to get rid of your Fracta without worrying about it? Memetism? He has T.O. Camo, so it's negative six. No. Oh, the Fracta? Nothing, I right. don't think it has a, It's just high armor. It's low armor right now because I have... Uh, He's just armor one, so I have armor three, no mimetism or anything like that. Next, it goes into its survival mode. If it gets mm -hmm. hit, its armor goes up, but everything else goes down? Yep. Okay. Only its physique. Everything else stays the same. Oh, my BTS goes up, too. That's kind of nice. <laughs> He's not hackable, is he? No. I got to get sight lines here, guys, so give me just a second. Oh, yeah, I got good sight. All right, I am going to spend my order on my Ludwan. Mm -hmm. And we are going to move some Ludwan. Do some Ludwan actiones here. All right, we are going to move back this. I don't think you got line of sight. Um, on of when you guys. move across with that one, this guy will see, but only with that one. What guy okay. will see? This one right here. Oh, down to the base? Yeah, but I can, I'll can. i only be able to see that one. I can't see either of those two. Okay, gotcha. But at least I can ARO, and if it's the wrong one, it reveals it. Right. Okay, we'll go. Mm. That one's a six. Yeah, and he'll be able to That's see six. across the As top I move of this. that one across? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll do uh, a shot here and a shot, three shots with this one on that last one. Okay. Um... And then I will declare, I will reveal and shoot. Okay. Um, it'll be a surprise shot against your Fracta, because mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't have any special stuff, right? No. Okay. Um, and it was my number three, so both of these go away. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to replace the mm -hmm. dude with the real model here. Okay. All right. And he will not receive cover from this shot. No. Can you see over that lip from yep. that angle? Yep. I can get half of the silhouette one. I put the silhouette back up on cool. there. I can see on the camera. Yeah, so I got it. Sweet. So, um, well, when you do your first move, I have to arrow against yeah. all three. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's True. why you don't. True. You don't, I thought you uh, named it, but you were naming these guys. So, okay. it's going to be within 16 inches. It's going to be barely. So, I can take one shot at a 12 or dodge on a 12. My, What's their armor? Uh, no armor. I'll move one. Um... To make it fair, if you were moving like that, I would ha I would have done the template on the front one to hopefully get all of them. Yep. Because then you'd have to reveal yourself. So I'll take one shot at the template. Yep. And what are you armed with, combi? Uh, Mark 12. Oh, Mark 12. So that actually might be good. Uh, will you measure the range? So we are 16 inches? About no. 15 and a half. Six, well, no, because you're... In, yes. right? You said you came in right at the wall, yeah. so you are 
Yeah, like, mm. right, right at 16. At, yeah, yeah, right, right about 16. 16. So I'll be at zero range. Uh, Mark 12 at 16. Uh, it's, uh, plus three. Yeah, plus three. It's eight to 24, correct? Yeah. Awesome, cool. So I'll need one shot out of 12, baby. And I got four shots back at three you shots. at 15. Three shots. Three? No, yeah. Mark 12, four, right? Nope. Oh, no, there's a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a cheater. All right, so three shots at plus three. So I need uh, 15s. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll need a 12. And you need a 12. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll, I'll let you roll, roll first because it's a lot more dice. Get on here. Uh, so one hit one on a 10. 10. So I need an 11 or 12. 11 or 12, baby. 19 misses. So All I right. take one. So take a hit on a 10. Uh, it's damage 15. So I need a 15 because I'm only armor one right now. So she's and... good and she's courageous. <clears throat> so I can choose to dodge. Or I could, I mean, I could choose to fail and go prone, which was is probably the best thing right now. So she will, she will choose to fail guts and go prone. Okay. Because I need now, that order. That Just is throw that over there. Down. Yeah. Like so. Mm -hmm. Damn it! I needed that to take a wound. Uh, I needed it to take more than one wound actually. But prone is good because mm -hmm. now I can't shoot and I can do other things. Uh, I'm going to spend my next order. Yeah, if you're on religious, my... you have to actually pass okay. a. Whip roll to do that. I'm gonna be shooting, so well, I guess we'll go back to camera. Um, so I'm gonna spend uh, the order for mm -hmm. my Oyoroi. Roy. Uh, he's gonna idle. Um, what is he armed with? Heavy flamethrower. Which you'll have to. I don't think you can hit me with a flamethrower, man. Why not? Because you're gonna hit your own dudes. Nah, I spaced him perfectly. Man. No, that's going across your own guys. No, man. From base? Nah, I'm not even there, am I? Oh, yeah, that one's that one's going across that this, guy. This is where we get awkward. Here, we got a camera. Here. No, I did this on purpose. So you're two like and two quarter. and a half inches. No, it'll be like two and a quarter, yeah. Right there is two and a quarter. Yep, two and a quarter. How far that is? Two and a quarter? Two and a quarter. So you, you're you perfect. You're hitting their base. No! Yes. No! Like we can pick the room up if you want to do it right no, over the top. No, my goal was to have them spread enough. <laughs> I think you should ask the chat. Just put, put the template over. My goal was to have do them you spread move enough. It? Can this move without breaking? No, I mean, we don't have to. I mean, right. if you say no, then no. Uh, I'm not going to argue it. But the goal was to have them be spread enough because that was exactly my point of having Because, like, there. it's got to be from your silhouette. So back there. All right, well, then, okay, well, then, okay, completely... if that's the case after measuring, then what I would like to yeah. do is I won't activate him, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll move one of these guys. We'll activate one of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll spin the order on this camo token. Or actually, yeah, we'll spin the order on the camo token. And I will move him. I'll just move him far enough to where I'm out. All right, now I will dodge. Okay. That order. Um, and Malignos are ooh, physique 12, so I need a 12. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, 12 or less to dodge, seven so does you got it. it. Let me make sure. Oh, and by the well, way... I guess I should say what I'm going to do for my second thing then, right? If you name a dodge. Yes. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I see that's why you don't roll. Is he... Yeah, what is... Uh, he's not hackable, he's not... Nope, he's a Ford Observer. He's just a Ford Observer. Yep. Just an F-O. Mm -hmm. uh, crud. Well, and he's got multi-terrain, so and he, he doesn't worry about those rolls. Right, right, room. right. Um, I guess... Hi, Anthony. Shit balls. I don't really have a whole <laughs> hell of a lot to do here. I think you should kill stuff. Um, he's gonna. He already dodged, so yeah. I don't feel good shooting at him because he already rolled his dodge. Um, and he's Teo Camo, right? Yep. He's hard to hit. That's the best champ I'm gonna have because he's in the open. So it's mm. only the minus six. And I get my plus, so it's minus three. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I got shit BS. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, I got shit BS. I literally have to crit to do anything to him here. But I got three shots. What's the best? What's the deal? What's the deal to do? And what do I think you're gonna do? Are you gonna dodge out of the room? Good. I have two inches of movement. I know. I'm just trying. You don't have Kamatica. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? 
<laughs> yeah, right? You're good. You're on you're on target with that one. <laughs> God, do I try to kill him now? It's free shots. I'm gonna shoot. I got to. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the best deal. What's to do. your ballistics? Oh, you reveal him. Yeah, so uh, him yeah. Off. So it is a uh, Gui Lang hacker or forward hacker, right? Yeah, because you're worried about assault that. hacker. All right. So what so is our ballistic skill? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. yeah so you'll so be eight. plus three. Minus. Uh, yeah. Plus minus three six. for range. Minus six. So I'm at so minus eights. three. So I need eights. Yeah. Right on three shots. Yep. Condor rifle. Three shots. Need eights to beat sevens. And I, Not of course, a one. space them all. That's great. That all right, was so you want to awesome. click back to here. That was great. And where so you I, I end up passing because I beat his. I got two inches of movement. So yeah, he's going to dodge so out yeah, of the building. So I'm going to go course. one inch to here. And then one inch right up to there. Yes. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. You blew it. Crap, 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 crap. Mm -hmm. Well, sort of and sort of not. I did get him out of the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a benefit to having him out of the room. What that benefit really is, not sure at this point in time, but <laughs> we're going to go with it being a benefit. <laughs> All right. Um, I know what the benefit is. Uh, I'm going to spend the order on El Ninja here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's my second order. Spent. No, third order spent of this turn. What did I do with the Wheelings order? Where did I put that thing? I don't know back there somewhere. What did I do with my orders? I don't want to get them all mixed up, so I'm not. So you've used the Luduan. Oh, it's here. Here it is. Yeah, those Luduan. three. So this is my third order, right? The Luduan, the Guilang, mm -hmm. and uh, the next one we'll do here. And we will move the Ninja into base to base with the Panoply. So uh, before you do that, uh, uh -huh. he has line of sight right through here. So if you move out, I'll actually be able to shoot you. Because remember, he was up over that lip. He's about right here. You'll see right down into the mm -hmm. door. Okay. Right there. So, yeah, that whole portion. Because it's open information. And then you'll see me if I move to the other one, right? What's this thing, Armwood? Um, he's got a combi rifle. Yeah, if you move to this one, he'll be able to shoot you right there. Is where he could see into that room. And that's right on his uh, vantage point. Goodbye, an army player is mean. Well, yes or no? I mean, I can move in a way that I retain cover with the ninja, mm -hmm. but then I won't be able to hit the panoply, I don't think. Well, you could move and then dodge or move and shoot. I mean, he's plasma rifle, so you're in your negative range. Uh, be. Yeah, it's going to be close. Because you go straight to negative with that weapon, don't you? It's After close. 16? It's, it's 16 is negative three. And so, then I'm negative six. Mm -hmm. So you need, and what's his ballistic skill? 11. Yeah, so you need threes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So you could, if you move in cover. Um, then you can't hit me. Yeah. It's just if you move out of cover. And if you don't get out of cover until, because well, I can only, sorry. I can only see to there. So I have to get base to base with this Yeah, guy. so if you get out of line of fire, like if you can get past that line in four inches, then you can move again, and I won't be able to shoot you out of cover. Right. I won't be able to hit you. But I don't think I can hit the panoply that way. The 4-4 four, four move, yeah, you can. You think I can? Yeah. If I go across? Yeah, you have four inches. Oh, it's only two inches. Exactly. <laughs> right. I, I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, man, that's a lot. So, so I'm going to move across move. and cover. I'm going to I'm gonna attempt to shoot. All right, and, the, and then, of course, the first. Yeah thing here the only way I can hit you is if it's 16 inches which it's gonna be probably 18 oh it's 21 20, 20 and a half so you can't hit no so but he had to declare the shot anyway mm -hmm. just because you can't pre-measure so declare the shot once the measurement comes if you don't get to shoot whatever. well here's here's what that does is him knowing that is he can't move to the panoply and push the button he's gotta wait till next turn What's unless that? you convert uh, an order with a command token to make it regular then you can spend an order on that how do you mean because it was a move, move, right? Yeah, it was a move and a move, which was my four inches. Oh, it was four inches all yeah. the way to the panoply? To the panoply, because the panoply, oh, I thought it was the panoply move, is move. only like, it, to move there was only an inch okay. off of here. So it was three inches across, one inch cool. over. Yeah, so we're 13. good. So I get one whip roll, oh, only 13, good God. The one time that you really want those 14s. Uh, <laughs> straight whip roll, no bonuses, right? Nope. Okay, no bonuses, so straight whip of 13 to open the box and hopefully get a roll. <laughs> 
Yes. Does okay. It. So 12. So I get to open the panoply. So we need the uh, loot tables. I got it. Which one do you want? Uh, Which one doesn't have... Well, which one's a good one? Two? Well, it all depends on your... The booty table? Yeah. So booty level two, you get a lot more um, heavy weapons. And the you get a little bit more. You get more template weapons on level one, on on the first one. I see it. Where do you find it? Right here. Oh yeah. I, you can see it on my. On your iPad. Yeah. All right. So what we're talking about here, I get to roll on one of these tables, and the first one's got like lots of armor, visors, which I don't care about. Grenades, yeah. I usually and usually roll on two. Two seems like the one to do. Mm -hmm. Nano pulser would be really good on a ninja. Smoke grenades would be really good on a ninja. <laughs> Uh, shit. Motorcycle would be really bad on a ninja. And a lot of these other things, like, I, since I already have TO camo, like, I don't need any of that. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking... It doesn't, I mean, you get the point. I mean, you, you know what? I'm going to roll on booty level one. Level one? Yeah, so we'll roll on booty level one. Okay, so if you want to, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. All right, so I get one 20-sided die roll, because... Uh, does specialist roll twice? Um, I'd have to check. I think I don't think it's the same on this one. Um, it might be different. I'll I think it in. is. I think specialist roll yeah, twice really and, then, and then get to just choose it, one, right? Usually specialists do go twice. We got to check because sometimes on the panoplies you get to roll two dice and then pick whichever one you want. You can only ever take one thing out of it, but we'll see. Let's see. At the end of the game, can you show some of the minis under the close? Can see yours and Kip's painted models? Yeah, most of mine are horrible. The Oyoroi is the only one on my side, and maybe yes, the you still other one. you still do twice on. Okay, this. so we get two rolls, and we have to pick one of them. And yep. I'm gonna roll on booty level one uh, because booty level two has a lot of chances to get like ODD, mimetism, camo, and I already have TO, so those would be wasted rolls. So I'm gonna run a roll on uh, booty level one because I might get a light flamethrower. <laughs> Ninja yep. light flamethrower sounds good to me. Eight and a thirteen, Mr. Mike. Uh, so an 8 is an adhesive launcher. That's nice. Uh, and a 13 would be an EM close combat weapon. So I'm going to take the <laughs> adhesive launcher. I would. So I have, a, I have a ninja with an adhesive launcher now. ADHL, baby. ADHL is amazing. He does have an engineer, though, so he could fix stuff. Uh, yeah. But that uh, that's good for me. I don't have any more orders on him, though, so I'd have to spend command tokens to get him back into cover, mm. which might be a good thing to do. Camera. Oh, yeah. God, I'm horrible with that. I wish it would just read my mind. The glue gun. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. What do I need to do here? I feel like there's a thing to do and I don't know what it is. We killed that guy, right? So we don't have anybody over here except for your... Where's your link team now? Oh, they're right underneath here. the ladder, right? Yeah, they're all right here. One guy's still in the box? Yep. Okay. He's still in the box. I can't see anything, dude. Oh, he's in the box. What's in the box? Mm. Mm. Boy, this is a tough one. I can't do what I want to do with this guy, can I? Everything that needs a short skill. I got command tokens. What am I talking about? I should probably do command tokens and coordinated orders now and make this a little bit easier. Um, you has to, to use a coordinated order, Two command it has tokens. to be right. um, a regular. Right, it's been one to make it a regular, another one mm -hmm. to make it a coordinated order yeah. between those guys. Is what I'm thinking, just to get guys moving. It'd take me two command tokens, but I'm okay with that at this point, I think. But I need to well, kill Well, it's uh, same training too. What's that? Same training. So you could only coordinate between the guys that you use have regular orders that you convert their orders to regular orders. So you can't use a command token and a regular order to can to uh, make to a regular guy and an irregular guy. So you could only oh really you can only coordinate between your irregular troops because right now they're irregular. Same training. Right, but I would flip an order on a guy to use that order mm -hmm. as he, a oh, but I couldn't then because he has to be included. No. Uh, you just use a regular order, but if if you flip, so say you turn that one and make it regular, right, with the command token, and then I then can do all my other guys token. that are regular. You can because yes. everybody's a regular right now, so I yes. can be everybody. Yes, that's okay. what I was saying. That's just, what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. So this guy doesn't have to be involved. No. Oh my gosh, what are the choices here? This loss of lieutenant thing is a bitch. So nice play. How did you stop me? You killed all my big guns. So. I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> he needed to try to do it anyway because I was gonna do it. Is just I was, good. I was hoping that I could either kill his Oyorai with my missile launcher HMG, hmm. and when he started taking it out, I was like, please just move him over here <laughs> to cover the room. 
which he did, which is I wanted him to because then I was going to move in and okay. go snipe that guy. But I know that it's that's the only thing that can beat his lieutenant. What's that? This guy? Yeah. yeah. It was pretty evident, right? In this list, it's not like I could hide lieutenant. Yeah. I didn't have the points for it, unless I just wanted to bring a bunch of other dumb guns. The lieutenant choices in regular vanilla for low points cost are really, really recognizable. <laughs> you know what? You know what, uh, Crush R? Crush R505, I think I know who you are, <laughs> Mr. Barnaby. Glue gun, stick that alien bat. That's what we're trying to do, you... but I don't even know. Can, is that what's going on you dan? can go you can go on and keep being an awesome guy that i like to is handle. that dan that's guy. yeah it's dan crush dan. 505 has got to be dan welcome my friend i'm still mad dan that Barnaby. i didn't get to come to your house for the tournament though you should be it was an amazing time you, you i had a great time i know time. i feel low like absolutely no love <laughs> like no love i think you actually like kip more than me and that says something dan because i've heard your vision of kip actually right now he's probably going no i don't like kip that much <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably laughing that I said that right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to do it. So I am going to... Um... He's like, right? <laughs> ah, Love it. I am going to spend a command token. Mm hmm because you have all to, four still, correct? I have all four. I haven't spent any. So I'm going to spend a command token to turn my uh, hacker's order into a regular order. All right, okay. so spend a command. Bam, Which let's go one? over there. Oh, back there? Yeah. Okay. My hidden hacker over here. I'm going to remove those from the table since those are all dead dudes anyway. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, dead. And then we'll spend his to make it regular. Uh, and then I will spend another command token to take that regular order and issue a coordinated order amongst mm. four of my team. That are all irregular. Which is everybody else mm -hmm. except for the hacker. Um, so I will coordinate. Uh, and as the spearhead will be my ninja. Mm. Um, so it will be the ninja. The Raiden, mm. the hmm. I don't know if I want to move. We're gonna leave the loot one where he is, I think. Or will we? The loot mm -hmm. That's three, and. She question mark? Yeah, and the Rushi. So the two remotes, the Raiden, and the Ninja. All right? Okay. And uh, first half of that order is going to be a move. We're going to get the Ninja back up into cover here, mm -hmm. inside, with the boot gun behind the dude. Mm -hmm. uh, can't see him there yet. I don't think so. I think that was where we yep. dictated that I can't move across because I don't want to get the shit shot out of me yet. Although I guess I could technically because you got bad rolls. If I'm in cover, then you can't hit me anyway. So I should maybe spread out a little bit more. Yeah, but, I can move um, back to where I was. Who's the spearhead? The ninja. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So I can do the same thing I did before because that's my inch and then I can mm -hmm. move my three to here. Yep staying in cover the whole time mm -hmm. okay all right so that gets me back where he was that's good um mm -hmm. uh, right when you move there i will actually attempt to dodge okay with him okay because i want to do something perfect oh i guess i'll wait you're not gonna do that now until i declare everything mm -hmm. uh with the riding we're going to try to not bend my tape but measure too much here I don't think you have any other sight to this see, area, I can see him, no. All right, so I am going to move him up here. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to move with him. The one. Mm. The one's going to stay there. He will move zero. The Rushi. Go. Move. Is that what I want to do? Man, this guy's got me pissed off. <laughs> he do, he do, he do. I think we'll 
There's no way I can maintain cover in two directions with this guy, so that's going to be the bitch of it. He decides to do something here. All right. Does that even make sense? Is that game me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think all he's gonna do is just, just kind of so I can't like, turn just around pop so you up can't just yes yeah, so you can't shoot me from the back. I think I'll just rotate in place with mm -hmm. him. So that's the first of my moves. Mm -hmm. You want to roll your dodge, or I guess uh, I got to name the rest. Yeah, of my you have moves. to do the second part of your. Um, okay, uh, the second part. Um, she will idle the ninja. Okay, so then now I'll just roll my now dodge. Now you roll. Yeah, so I need a seven. He's got to dodge against the ninja. Fails, Fails. on a thirteen. Uh, but now I can't see you. What's you're that? Good. Now I can't see you, so you're good. Yeah. Um, the Raiden will move right up into cover on the building. Mm hmm Like so. Sweet. With facing back towards mm -hmm. the Fracta. <laughs> the line goes this way for him. Uh... And the Luduan still will stay there. The Rushi will stay where he is as well. So that's it for that coordinated order. All right. Make sense? A lot of convoluted yep. nonsense to really not do a lot, but I needed to be able to, because I'm in loss of lieutenant, I had to do something to move multiple dudes and still have some orders left. All right. So uh, I will now spend the... What can I do here? Okay, who still has orders left? Uh, the Raiden, the Oyeroi. The Rishi, the engineer. Okay. So for my Raiden, uh, I'm gonna spend his order. Mm -hmm. We're going to what do, do here. I can't see him because no, you can't lit. see. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move him up, hugging the wall the entire mm -hmm. time. Yeah, I can't right see there. there. Right. I will I then see there. for the second part of that one. He will. Place a camo token. Place a camo token. Mm -hmm. Don't go far enough to where it sits in the opening there. Okay. So I'll place a camo marker. Mm -hmm. um, that's his order. I will spend another command token. I will turn the engineer's order into a regular order, mm -hmm. which I will also spend on my Raiden. Move him back into cover with that same facing I had before. Mm hmm. Whatever it is, I'll be able to see your guy if he stands up. That's all I'm looking for. So, uh, and then I got the Oyeroi and the Rushi, and the Rushi can't, unfortunately. I wish I had climbing plus. Yeah, no, right. That would make that model the worst model in the yeah, game. Yeah, really I would literally be lobbying to get rid of that model if he could climb. <sighs> Although, if I was smart, I probably could have moved him around, moved him, moved him, and then shot. Can't go up inside there. That's a. Oh, I can't. It's a narrow gateway. <laughs> it is a narrow gateway, so I can't even get my remotes up in there. So I just gotta wait for the pain from the Fracta. There is one way you can get up there. How? These are ramps. Oh, the ramps on the back. So you can actually walk and then climb over the top of that. You'll be out of cover the whole, like once you come over across the top, you're out of cover and I'll have a boarding shotgun in your face. Yeah, and I got a Spitfire, which at close range is not where I yeah, want to be. <laughs> But it would be better to do that it, it, on my turn than to wait for it to be on your turn. But then that's the last of my command tokens mm -hmm. to make that happen. Because I can't do I could come out. I can't shoot you when you're prone. I can't even see that bastard. I can't see him, man. Mm. I can't see him. It's a bad day. It's a very bad day for me. Um, blah, 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 blah. Shit. I guess I'm not going to do anything because I really can't get away. I can't get to a point where I, I think you... Well, I could. I could move like underneath. And then you can't shoot me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you could spend a lot of... I don't, you're not going to spend orders to come kill the freaking roof. Just going to... Mm -hmm. That's what he wants you to think. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to kind of rotate in place again to be able to cover this mm -hmm. line. I can't do anything, so I don't want to spend that last command token. Um, and then... Do we get aggressive here? 
in this last order. I'm gonna your Roy. What is this guy up here, this remote? Him? Underneath? Right here? Yeah. Uh, plasma Carbine Port Observer. Plasma Carbine. What's the range on Plasma Carbine? It's like a It's good range is 8 to 16, just yeah. like a combi rifle? Yeah, or like a regular rifle. And what's his BS? 11? Yeah. He's a bullshit value. And does it go to zero or to minus three? Minus three. It, go, it drops off at 16 to minus three? Mm-hmm. What do I think I can do here, guys? What do you think? Chat, what do you think we can do? Think we should get aggressive here? I feel like we might want to get aggressive here. And kill some fools. Let's see, he's got this dude. Mm -hmm. oh, am I really afraid of that dude? I kind of am afraid of that dude. I feel like I'm kind of afraid of that dude. Sorry guys, I'm thinking. This has got me. Got me thinking. Minus three, minus three, maybe minus six for me to hit. Are you kidding me? That would suck, suck, suck. I don't want him being able to put a bunch of shots into my Oya Roy for free. It is fracta. That's a problemo. Oh my god, there's too many, too many dudes. You've actually got guys in pretty good places here. Um, can't shoot through the building, so I can move no. with impunity here, yep. at least. But you got a dude hidden someplace. Yep. As well, don't you? Yeah. No. That's pretty good, it, man. It didn't happen. You, you knocked mother... out two of those on opposite ends of <laughs> you the thing. You mother fracta. That's on, on, yeah, right. That That's the only thing causing me problems. And I got to think if it I was really just saying makes, that as a joke. <laughs> if it really makes a difference to me or not, because he can't do a crap ton of wounds to me, right? But he can do some damage. Or I could go on the offensive while he's prone and can't shoot me. But eventually I'm going to give him back shots either way. Mm. Oh my God. Arg. Who are you going to go prone with? I'm not gonna go prone. He's like, prone, yeah. so he can't do anything right okay. now. So I have I thought movement said the, right now. The tag, I was like, tags. No, 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 no. I'm just saying he's <laughs> he's prone right now. So it's like I gotta think in terms of like he's got to stand up, you know, on his turn to do stuff before mm -hmm. I can do anything to him. I can't get to him right now, but I can get to that guy. But does that do me any good? I don't feel like that does anything. I think it puts me in a worse position than where I'm at right now. So we'll spin the order. Order. We will just simply rotate him where so, I've yeah. got the fracta and the building. That's good. Right? So I've got from this door all the way around to the fracta, basically to my lieutenant mm -hmm. at this point. Not getting any cover, but I got to work with it. I got to at least give myself shots on the next turn. So that's it. A lot of time spent, but there you go. So off the kip. Ah. All right. As you start, though, at the beginning of... Uh, you have to name a new lieutenant. Dude, I have to pee so bad. Oh yeah, because you're out of line of fire. Yes, and I'm out of line of fire, so I'm going to go back into... Automatic. Automatic uh, hollow projector level two, if you start uh, my... I thought you were talking about your pee. Oh no, oh it is automatic. <laughs> when you said it, I was like, wait, um... Should I, t do I take a quick break right now? You should, I... yeah, you should. It'd be a good time. And you know, the bathroom's right here, right? Okay, cool. I got a 32 ounce Coke Zero in me, plus a mule and two shandies. So, this is what we call breaking the seal. Huh. <laughs> All right. I think we'll do like that, and I have to nominate a new model to be the real model here. Ooh, which one are you so, gonna nominate? I don't know. I ain't gonna tell you fools. Uh-oh. I need to have guns on the Fracta is the goal, right? So I just have to put these, do they have to go in base to base or do they have to be in coherency? I think they just have to be in coherency. I don't think they have, or do they have to go base to base? I think they have to go base to base, actually. This one. Right. I feel like when they come back up, they have to go into base to base. Somebody can tell me if I'm wrong on that one, but I believe if you're out there, uh, it, when, they, when they come back, I can deploy 
incoherency, but I think when they come back on, I got to be in base to base. So we'll go with that. What do we think? Anthony Lone, you hope I'm kicking butt? I don't know, man. You never can tell until the end. This isn't a kill the other guy mission. This is to get objective points. I'm doing okay with objective points right now, but we'll see by the end of this turn if I remain okay. I got to remain okay for another turn. Uh, Guilong has MSV1. You should have been hitting the Malignos on 11s because you only get minus three. Oh, that's right. And Broughton, you're right. That's true. That's true. I still would have missed. How's your seal? I think oh, I still would have missed. He just brought up a good thing. The the the. I have MSV one on my on my Guilang. I would I think I would have hit you once on the ten instead of needing the eight. I think I would hit you on the ten because oh, I needed eleven. Are... I would have needed eleven because I had MSV one. So, but it's no big deal. What is the top of that silhouette, sir? Top of what silhouette? This one right here. Big what boy. You, what's big, the top? Big boy. What do you mean? What's the top? I just need to see like where it is. Do you mind if I jump over here real no. quick, Jason? I apologize. Are you looking at for your fracta? Yeah. You got him. Yeah, but there's something else. Okay, so she could see all the way to the middle. You shouldn't be able to. You only got like one or two. It's this corner right there. Things. Yeah, but if I'm, I'm talking about moving up. I move up. I can see. Oh, you can get lots line. of him if you move up to like to where I mean you can't walk over my lieutenant. But. Yeah, but she has like impact template, so I could actually put it right here, which at that angle puts it through the door into your ninja. If you hit it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just doesn't have to hit him; just have to roll a success, and then you can dodge negative three out of that, and that would be a good way to try to get rid of that mine. So let's go ahead and spend that order. I mean, I don't know, because you're measuring from where you can't get, though, right? Because you can't get onto my lieutenant unless you move into... I mean, if you move all the way out here... No, as long as I move to this corner right here, nah, you can you see that this corner right here, if I stand up. Because it's the top of mine to the top of yours. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can get that top quarter, just this little section. Yeah, but um, when you go impact template down... Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I see. Through the door. Perfect. Yeah. Yep, perfect. It's, gotcha. at that, it's at the angle, top of mine to the yep. bottom of yours is the angle. Yep. The the template follows that. Yep. And it's that wide. Yep. So, I mean, I don't want to do it because that would be basically pre measuring, but I'm pretty sure that it will, from that angle, hit both of these guys. Okay. Um. So let's spend an order. Okay. Um. Will you go ahead and move, move my fracta? Four. No. Oh, well, yeah, I could stand up and move. You have to stand up. Yeah, go ahead and stand up and move along the wall. Along the wall? Right so up to a millimeter away from your... Lieutenant? Yeah. Moving shit around over the place here. Okay. Okay. Um, with my facing on her... Like, basically like this? Being like this, yeah. Okay. Looking this way. Yep, I'll just set her right on top of that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Arrows. Uh, I've got shots here. Yep. I can't see Rushi yet. I have to lean out. Huh? I have. I would have to lean out. Now nah, you have to. You have to lean out yep. in order to hit. So I'll shoot here. Yep. So back to the model. That works. And then arrow. And I got shot here. Mm -hmm. As well. And shot from the right. Oh, he's facing this way. Mm -hmm. That was the goal. Whoop. Sweet, but you can't use a template because you'll hit your own guy. But no. Well, I get the I extra like armor. 15 and I can shoot once anyway. Yeah. But it gives me extra armor. I'm armor four. Fire. Of, okay. you know, you've been failing all your fire rolls. It's true. All I want to do is hit you. True. <laughs> so, shot here, here, and here? Yeah, three shots. Okay. I think that's all I got. What's he shooting? What's he have? Uh, HMG. HMG. Yep. Oh, okay. So, just regular. I'll do both into him. Okay. Um, but we should be in your zero range, right? Yeah, I'm at zero, and you're at minus, or whatever you are, because you're 12 inches. So, yeah, I'll be at negative, so I, I mean uh, zero range, so I need 12s. Is it, it, it has a zero range on a shotgun? Yep. Okay. So you need 12s. Um, just to just to make sure. Yep. 16 I need, to, eight to, eight to 24. Is, I need 11s with the Oyo Roy, right? I mean, eight to 16 is zero. Okay. Um, so you need 11s. I need 11. And I need 12s. Yep. We're gonna do our little Yep. Oh, um, before we do that, impact template, you can pop it back up. Sorry, oh. man. 
Uh, impact template, because it's going to go from this corner to this corner. We'll hit like that. Okay, yep, so you'll get both of them? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, I can get both like of that. them. And then you'll miss the ninja if you do that. No, nah, it still gets them. Really? Yep. Right here. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. So your ninja um, can can dodge at negative three since it's a template. I'll, do, I'll declare a dodge, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but let's do the face face shooting first. Yep. Let's go, babe. Oh, yeah, dice cam. So roll and let me know what I gotta beat. 12s, baby. Uh, 11 and a 1. 11 and a 1. So I got a crit. Yep. Did not. Nope. So he'll take two hits. She. Well, roll your dodge. Roll, my, three. Uh, roll my dodge. Uh, my fizz, I think, on the ninja is 12. So I need a 9. Mm -hmm. That's cocked. Cocked. Yeah. Good on a 7. Nope. My eleven, it? my eleven beats your seven, but you only take one hit because okay, your yeah. seven beats okay, one. Gotcha. So she takes one, he takes two, the mine takes two. Okay. Um, two hits on damage fourteen. Uh, no, a, uh, yes, it's because I can't do AP because I wanted to do the right. So it's damage fourteen or thirteen. Yep. Fourteen. Boarding shotgun. Okay. It just it either changes to AP mode or non AP. So you're straight armor. What's your eight? Okay. Uh, what's that? Your armor eight. Seven. Only armor seven? Yeah. Oh, that works. So I need eight. Yeah, you need eight. I need eight. So Leo Uri, good on both. He's good. Sticks him. Uh, mm -hmm. The ninja takes one. Mm -hmm. Sticks it Holy on 19. Holy shit. The mine takes two. Mm -hmm. But and, that goes away. And it's gone. Yeah, that works. Holy shit. Good luck. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but you uh, get I got a shot, shot here, here and a shot there as well. So the riding unopposed. Um, I'm in plus three, minus three, so I'm 12. Mm -hmm. This Thank is goodness. on an 18. Uh, the Luduan again. Uh, no, he's plus three, so 15, because mm -hmm. you get no cover. Eight, hit it. Uh, armor roll, armor one. He's good. She's good. Yep. Dad, it with these armor rolls. Okay. I'm crying out loud. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> that was good, though, um, because I got rid Damn of that it. stupid ass mine. Damn it. So, what to do next? I don't have to worry about the mine now. This freaking Fracta and its armor saves are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I made a bunch of armor saves right there too, so I ain't gonna complain too much, but come on. Really? The B. One. The armed with? Combi rifle. And that's a attack bow, which is double and action. And adhesive launcher. I actually got EDHL now. One, two shoot, three shoot, four shoot. All right. Yeah, I know. And Broughton, I know. Thank you. What do you say? I keep forgetting. I, this is the first time I played the Guilong. As you can tell, it's the only silver model on my on my table. So, move. Okay. I'm trying to stay out of line of sight? No, I mean, if I have it, I'll take it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, all right, so your arrow. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can I lay a mine? You can arrow, um, place camel marker. Okay. And, yes, and how do. does, what do I roll? Do I roll that on It fizz? just goes down and then I get free shots at you. Yeah. Um, cause you're gonna have cover. Mm -hmm. You will not. Um, okay. Cause the angle of mine is coming here. So like the cover doesn't start till this side. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Shot at ridiculously bad BS. What's or he armed with? Combi? Combi. Oh, that's, well, yeah. Plus three, minus nine. Minus six for my MSP. Oh, yeah. Plus three, minus six. Shit, I probably should have camoed and then did this. <laughs> oh, well. 
still, that's not good numbers. Um, or dodge. Straight dodge is better numbers. Or put the mine down and make you eat a mine next time you want to do something. Mm -hmm. And see if I can wither your fire. What is he armed with? Copyright. So three shots mm -hmm. coming at me. At plus three. Yeah. What's your BS? 12? Yeah. 15s? You'll no, you're, you're regular camo, right? Yeah, so minus I'll need 12s. Need 12s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put a mine down. All right. I'm going to ARO place camo marker. Place camo marker, yes. <laughs> right there. All right. All right, uh, I will go ahead and shoot. Needing 12s. Hang on. Needing 12s on three combi rifle shots. Uh, two hits. Two hits. So uh, strength 13 against mm -hmm. armor one, I believe, mm -hmm. on this guy. So I need 13s. So uh, you guys, uh, pucker up, cross them if you got them. Let's make two armor saves right now. How about <laughs> it? Or Ooh, one. Should I go unconscious? Unconscious, yeah. So, in an order on this guy. Cameron? Okay. Yeah. Getting hectic. Six inches. What are you doing? <laughs> Going on what Tudgy does. Hell, there it is. All right. So, move. So right there around my base. What's that? Just I can see the camo token. Yep. So move. Nobody has line of fire, correct? Nobody Nobody has line of fire. Um I don't think we can we shouldn't be able to see here. I don't even think about the Rushi. She shouldn't. You see your laser? I don't think I come out. No, I, I can't. Yeah, I I like I'm, I'm not out behind the box. I'm not out behind the box. I was thinking if I had a line from the box that um, would I'll attempt to discover that camo token, which is outside of eight, so I'll need a whip 13. Okay. Uh, 10, because it's negative three. Needs a 10. So I need a 10 or less. 13 doesn't do that crits, but not a plus three range. So I can't do anything with him anymore. I can't attempt to discover that. Right. So. Let's do another move to go to two. Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> He's pulling at Uncle Touchy. Four. No movement terrain. Close quarters. The zone of operations is very constrained. The center template weapons apply to mod of plus one. Okay. Art template. Damage. Okay, to our damage. You're saying it's just basic template. I could have sworn yep. that what I was looking at said direct template only. I can't see your ninja yet. Okay, cool. On Broughton. Nice. That's good. Good to know. Uh, he says that looking in rules, koalas do not activate on uh, camo. camo markers. Uh, These are old messages. Been horrible about reading them. Where did Kip get that line laser? Where can you get one? Viking Teabag, you can buy them on my store. You can buy them at SoulFuseGaming.com. We've got them. Go to SoulFuseGaming.com. It's in the... Uh, the ones that we carry are the army... Uh, uh, the army painter stuff. So and it's on there called uh There are lines here. Yeah, I got this one Lost from Laser. Ours are smaller. Or the ones that I carry are like two inches long, but do the exact same thing. This one was from Broken Egg Games, but they are sold out. They don't have any. So near Yeah, but you can get them you can get them from my store. They're a lot cheaper from the Army Painter. I think it's like uh seventeen or twenty bucks or something like that. And it's the exact same thing, just in a smaller package. out and see there. I don't really want to do that. I don't even know what the, the ranges are on an adhesive launcher. I think it's 0 to 8 is pluses, right? And then it goes to 0, 8 to 16. Something stupid like that. Why, why did you look at me asking the question? Yes. My answer is yes. <laughs> Mike's, like, Mike's like, what's an adhesive launcher? Yeah. It shoots glue. You're shooting sticky stuff. And it would be right. You would be right. It is a glue launcher. Yeah. You have a sticky hose. 
It is a glue launcher. It's by all the balls. Yeah, it's in the eye, same aisle with the glass balls, says LT. Art image. Uh, Army painter is much cheaper, and you find it's just as good. Yeah, same thing. I mean, if it shoots a laser, it shoots a laser. Eh, whatever. It's a laser beam? Laser, taser, and blazer. <laughs> I feel like if it shoots out a red line and it can go 48 inches, it's just as good as any other one. I'll spend an order. I'll do a move action. Okay. Whoop. What's the mine gonna do? It's gonna go off. Explode. <sighs> so it goes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna dodge that. Um, I'm a physique of twelve. It is a negative three because it's camo state. So I need a nine or less. Oh, hang on. Do that. Yeah. Hang on. Roll that three, baby. What? Ah! I call fucking shenanigans. Ooh! I call <laughs> shenanigans. What did I call? I that's call, why. That's I why call I call dodge. shenanigans. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, man. Um, I will spend an order to re to camo since I'm out of line of fire. That's that's <laughs> not right. Is what that is. So good. That's not right. So good. Not right. Using my own house dice and then calling it not well, then not right. Declare remove order. Camera. Oh yeah, camera. I'm camera. declaring a first part of my move is mm -hmm. to here. Yeah. Any arrows to that? Uh, hold. Hold on both. Uh. I will All you can do is discover. Yeah, but if I discover with one and hold with the other, what happens? Then... Uh, and I, I pass my discover. Then he still holds. You can only do... Whoever holds can only arrow me if I shoot you or do something that requires a roll. Right. Mm -hmm. But if I discover you and I succeed... Then I'm revealed. But you can't do anything because I have to... You have to declare... I have to declare my action for you to react. So if I move again and you hold here, you can't do anything. Right. So let me let me describe the situation. Mm -hmm. If I just if I declare a discover, mm -hmm. right, then in normal situations you would go ahead and just declare a shoot or something so that you're not or face move. to face or move. But if you move and I, I pass my discover, right, then I'm revealed for my next order because everything is simultaneous. So okay, so it doesn't the reveal we roll at the end of my okay. So the reveal that's what I'm yes. asking is the reveal doesn't act like the same thing if you declared the, something. It doesn't start from the beginning of your move. The basically. only way you can get around that is on your act turn you can just declare discover if i hold you can then go well on my second order i'm going to shoot right my because it's, a, oh, it's only a, it's a short order short yeah, movement yeah. skill is discover yes yeah, okay but you have to make the discover before you can shoot mm. that's only on your active turn though on your reactive turn which he's in you can't like discover this with this model and declare shoot because you can't declare shoot against a camo token you can hold if i shoot then that model can shoot me back. If I choose to move and he passes, I'm then revealed at the end of the order, and that model cannot declare its order if I don't do anything that doesn't require a roll. Iron headed, which one? Hmm. <laughs> They're both yelling. God, I don't know. Oh, I'm peeking out the mic. Oh. <laughs> oh, is Kip being too loud? Probably. Uh, I peek out I mics on my cast. I think that's <laughs> I think my Uncle Touchy's that one, and this one's me. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, I, he, I was, have tried to kill that guy so many times, and he just won't die. He keeps rolling freaking all the all the things. Um, all right. I guess I really don't have much of a choice. I'm going to have to... Um... Right. I'll hold with both. Okay. I don't so, think I have a better choice. Yeah, I will, I will then move. So I have all the way up to the other side of you. So I'm just going to move right here. Okay. All right, so I have one more order with this group. Mm -hmm. Which is what that guy's in? No, this is the two Imitrons, okay, Icadron, gotcha. and Fractus. I have one order with the Fractus. I have two with the main group, which right. he's in the main group. Mm 
But it's like, what to do, what to do. I don't see each other until I get out here or I walk up closer along the wall. So I could open and move. Getting hectic. This Fracta, such the good move. And I knew he was going to have one, and I just mm -hmm. didn't even plan well for it. Roasted my entire game plan having this guy in my backfield. And he won't die. I need a structure three, Harry right? Potter. What's that? You structure All three, right? Wizard what is? Went here. Oh, you're right? Yeah, yeah. structure three. Practicing witchcraft. Armor seven, structure three. If it's always too bad. Because remember, the goal here is not to kill stuff. The goal here is to get more points, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's the legit. Well, I, I'm going to hold this because she's only 29. Right. We yep. already know he's 36. So yep. I'm going to have that this turn. Only one point. Um, I'm just thinking, is it worth trying to... So if I shoot him, I know I'm going to take a shot from him and a shot from him. I need 12s. You needed 11s on this? What do you mean? 11s, yep. From your Fracta? Yeah, yeah, but I could do the AP mode. Taking a shot from over there. Yeah, you have to do AP. You can't do Blast anymore. No. You your own guy. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, so let's idle with the Fracta. Okay. Well, I got three shots coming back into you. Mm-hmm. Where's the other, where's the third one at? Here, here, and here. Oh, that's right, this little son of a bitch. I'm gonna do both into the Oyori. Okay. So the Oyori uh, shooting back at the Fracta. What's happening here is his Fracta drop troop in my backfield again is shooting mm -hmm. at the Oyori. The Oyori face to face shooting back at him with the HMG. Bad numbers, but he's not got great numbers either. Uh, and then the uh, uh, the Raiden is taking a shot at him, and the Luduan is taking a shot at him too. So he's getting mm -hmm. three shots against his two. Two of those aren't face to face. Well, let's hope for the best. For me, not for Kip. <laughs> die, Kip, die! Alright, so these are 12s, baby. Two shots on 12s. Le same thing as last time, 11 and a 1. 11 and a 1, and I yeah. need a crit. Yeah. Oh, that was that 11, but I got it on a 9, so, so I negate your 1, so you I take, take one, one hit. hit. Right? It's uh, AP, so half armor. AP, yeah. So armor 4 against. Uh, you need 11. What is it, 14? Yeah. Yeah, so 11. 6, so you take a structure. <laughs> take a wound. Bam. Wound. All right, uh, I've, got, I've got a shot, <laughs> shot back with my heavy rocket launcher, uh, plus three, minus three, so I need 12s. Hit on a four. So that was with the heavy? Heavy. All right, so I take one damage, 15. Yep. Uh, and then I've got a shot back from the Lou Duan. This one is at needing 15s because of no cover. And yeah. it's on a 17. So you All take right. one from the uh, So I'll need it. I'm um, armor four. 15, so you need So I need 12. 12s. Over better, baby. No 12. Gotcha. So take a wound. I'm uh, go to survival form, but Does I not kick in now. don't kick in yet. I just have to keep making armor. Yeah, doesn't kick uh, in. Yet. Boom. So now I'm survival form. Okay. I'm extra armor. Um, but she's still alive. That's cool. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll do a climb move. Come on. I only get to do one movement. Yeah, yeah. One of, I want to maintain. So he's moving his yeah. uh, total reaction bot. Don't have line there. It was a full order, so I climbed down. Yep. Um, second. Oh, shite. Uh, I, I didn't move. think you got the move away from the terrain. You only get to the bottom and stop, don't you? When you climb? Or do you get your... It's a full order climb, but do yeah, you get your full movement? Or yeah, do you, you just get, move from the... You get just your full movement okay. order. Okay, okay. Basically, like climb and crawl. Gotcha. Um, so I'm gonna move up here, hit the wall, and move out. About right there. Okay. Arrow. Uh, ninja. Yeah, I will. Hmm. Got two arrows. 
Oops, I got an arrow from the other right as well. You can see through. Yeah, that stair is off. So I can see right through here. I think it clips off, man. Right there. It well, disappears we'll right there. Here, let me give it to me. So we go straight to the edge. Mm hmm. Right to the door. You're in. Well, it's got to hit a base, so. Hit your base. You're at base edge right there, right? Uh, right there, you yeah. can see, yeah. Yeah. So I will. Uh... Oh, I can't shoot through the building, though. So it doesn't matter. Oh, that's right. Uh, yada, 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 yada. Is my range bad? It is bad, and I freaking. I don't know what is an adhesive That's launcher. I don't even have it in like my weapon list. ADHL. You have a. I do not have anybody ADHL. Know? Anybody know what is ADHL? I don't have anything in here that has it. Has it? Bit and Kiss have it, but they're not in my list. <coughs> I I want to say that it's the same as like I think it's the, the same as, as a rifle bow or the same as a rifle. Is it like a rifle? Mm-hmm. 8 to 16 is plus 3, I believe. Really? I think. I'm not sure, Anybody though. know the rules on an adhesive launcher real quick? Anybody? Anybody? I can't pull my rules up. <laughs> you can't add a guy with an adhesive Anybody? launcher right now? No, because right. I'm, I'm in play mode. If I kick out play mode, then I have to go back and redo it all. Anybody know the freaking rules for adhesive launcher? That's the problem with the panoplies, is they don't give you... Like, I don't have anything with that mm -hmm. weapon. You don't have the uh, original Profile. rule book right here. Nah, I don't have a hard a hardback rule book, uh, unfortunately. Um, we could pull up on the web adhesive launcher, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. just pull up army. Do this. And go here. Entity. Army. army. Oh please! I got it, Grimwolf. We're just gonna go weapons. Yep, I'm gonna start ADHL. Right. Adhesive, Adhesive launcher. launcher. Yep, oh, same yeah. as a rifle. Plus three, eight to 16. Yep. Okay, cool. Plus three, eight to 16. All right, yeah. Uh, you got three shots with your plasma, right? Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot. ADHL? Yep. All right, measure range. We should be... Okay, yeah, plus three. Um, he's got mimetism, and I should have cover you being up cover. against... Nah. nah, I'm way out in the open. Nah. So I you'll have be cover, base. To camo. So you're minus nine to hit me. Mm -hmm. I'm at minus. I'm at base to hit you. I need twos, and I, I will. I will hitting from this part to this part. I don't think that I can catch your OE right now. Barely, but no, that one's enough. So I'll do that just so you don't get um, armor. So I need twos. Right. Plus three, minus three for cover. No, it's plus three. So I'm a fourteen. Minus three for cover is eleven. Minus six. So five. I need fives. Five, mm -hmm. right. And you'll be base, so you'll need 11. Uh, yeah, I need 11. Because I have mimetism. Yep. All right. So Kip needs five on three dice. Fives, baby. Um, nothing. All. Right, and I need to hit him, which I do with a crit. Bam. So unconscious. Oh, well, no, you're he's a monster. You're stuck, so you've got to. Oh, wait, I still get the order. Yay. Yeah, I forgot it was order, ADHL. You can't do anything with him anymore. Mm. I can, uh, yeah, repair. you just glued. I can repair, repair him, yeah. but. Sweet! So, that's Whoa, my turn. Mobilize too, I like it. So. Thanks, our damage. Point for me. That's the end of your turn? Yep. Yeah, point for you uh, for having more in there. So, you got two. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any of that turn. So, last turn. Camera. We got to figure all this out, guys. I'm back with a lieutenant. All right? So. That's okay. I gotta pick who my lieutenant is, don't I? Mm -hmm. I should have. Should I have already done that, or I gotta do it now? You do it now. Uh, holy hell! There aren't any good choices. Um, fan fract, I hate you. But you're standing up now on my turn. Yeah, very true. Which is very good for me. Yeah. So, uh, did I lose anything that turn? I did not. Yes. What did I lose? Oh yeah, I lost the one, the Guilang. We did. Lose an order there, so I'm down to seven orders total. Mm -hmm. Seven orders. Uh, I do not get my lieutenant order anymore, do I? Or do I? You do now. Okay, now I get a lieutenant but you, order back. But whoever you assign your lieutenant to. Right, so I got to call out my right. lieutenant and do all that stuff. But, you don't yeah. tell me. You just use your right Well, I will down. as soon as I use my lieutenant order. Yes. Right, okay, cool. 
All right, so uh, da, 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 all right, I got seven orders plus a lieutenant order and one uh, command token that I can do a coordinated order with. My goal mm -hmm. this turn, he gets last go, which on these missions is kind of rough. Mm -hmm. I picked to go first because I needed to kill stuff. I couldn't let him get the jump on me, but he gets to go last. And on these that aren't kill missions, going last plays a big part because if he can make that final push and get enough dudes up into the armory or contesting the armory, then he gets a whopping four extra points. Our whole journey this time is to put dudes into mm -hmm. the armory all right yep so we got to make this happen um and he's got a teo camel marker there yep uh, and i can't engage teo camel markers no and he just has a combi rifle right yeah yeah he that one has a combi rifle and he's not like super heavy duty close combat or anything nope That guy can't do anything. That guy has vision into the room, though, right? Which one? This guy. If I am over here. If you move over, yeah. And he's got what? Flamethrowers? Yep. That's it? Yep. Okay, so he can't do it. Uh, pistol and flash pulse. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Okay. That changed it. So he can do things. Yes. Okay, then. And what do we got over here? And we still got a hidden guy someplace. Mm -hmm. that He's going to move in at the last minute to try to uh, screw with us. So I got to figure this bitch... I out. Okay, I am stuck. Loss. Don't know what to do. Gotta put dudes in a room. Where's your doctor one? Back here. He's all in the back? Mm -hmm. And all your other dudes are still all back there? Yep, they're all right here. And how many orders do you have left? Um, at the moment, I have six. And four. Six and four, because of those damn Inatronics. Yep. And what else is in the group with them? Uh, Fracta, my baggage bot. Oh, your baggage yeah. bot, that's right. Baggage, baggage bot, right? Mm hmm. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's start killing things. That's what I say. I'm going to spend an order on mm -hmm. my Lu Duan, mm -hmm. uh, and he will idle. I'll take a shot at him. Okay, I'll shoot back. I'm going to measure the range. Uh, we've gotten you closer this time, but you are at 14. 14. Cool. So I'll need a 12. 14. You're at base, Yeah. right? Uh, and I need 15s. So you got one on a 12, and I got three coming back at him on a 15. Yep. On 15s. Big numbers, no whammies. Uh, two hits, an 11 nice. and a 5. So I need to so roll 11 crit. or 12. Yeah, I gotta roll 11. 12, baby. Yeah, so you, so miss. you take two hits. hits. Um, armor 2, your damage 15, yep. so I need 14s. Goodbye. Yeah, she's done. He can Finally, her. get out of here. You've caused <laughs> so much damage. She's Although a good. lot of what I was able to do was on my ARO, so it didn't cost me as many orders yeah. as it could have. That's still not great, right? It still cost me orders this turn where I don't really have them, but now my backfield is cool. I feel like I can start moving and doing things and not taking super huge repercussions for it, so I need to start killing fools. Um, Camera. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I need to start killing fools, and I don't know how to do it. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Can you engage a camo marker no. close no. combat? No. Nope. He literally doesn't have to do anything with that, and I have to spend time to discover it. Um, but like he said, I can do a discover shoot right now mm -hmm. and, uh, and pull some stuff out, pull some tricks out. So I'm going to have to do that. I got to get rid of that guy first and foremost. Mm -hmm. The rest of his army is irrelevant. Uh, the Teal Camel guy's got to go away. So, so, we will spend an order on, I'm at third. What is discover? What's it's, my bonuses? You'll be um, plus, three. plus three. So it's whip plus three. Mm -hmm. right. Minus six. Minus six for TO. Mm -hmm. So I need tens to discover you with that guy. Why which which one? My ninja? Yeah. yeah. And, and I won't get cover from that because nah, yeah, okay. I'll be here. Yeah. But I wanted to make sure that you couldn't hit me with the flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm spending an order on the ninja. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Who was that? I missed it. I missed it. Thank you so much. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, that might have been matchstick with a buck for the kill, right? Oh, that's true. 
So, um...
Uh, so one hit. One hit wonder. Um, armor one, I need a 15. No, he goes unconscious. Regular unconscious. Yep, regular unconscious. All right, I will... Kip, I love that logo. What's that? Your Minecast logo. I know, it's awesome. Uh, no dice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank Sorry. you. I'm so, you guys are learning. Like, when I get thought up into tactics, <laughs> I'm screwed. Like, I That legit... is compliments of Carlos from Corvus Belly. I literally oh, really? cannot yeah. remember oh, what I'm supposed really awesome. to be doing half of the time. Yeah, what, four orders left? Oh, yeah, I got four orders left. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking here what I got to be doing. One get there probably. One full order. Up there. Or I can just shoot with one and not worry about that too, maybe. I don't want to kill that guy. But I gotta get under flamethrowers, that sucks. He's got two, right? Yep. Yikes. Two light flamethrowers? Yeah. So I'd have to distance him, distance him if I want to mm -hmm. do anything. All right, so count for me. You got Dr. Worm, three dudes, two dudes yeah, now. One, two, three, yes. Four. Four. So there's there five. Be, yeah. And this dude right here. I got to do some math. Oh, but no, those guys don't count. They can't okay. do anything. They're just order generators. Yeah, I should have five. Um, yeah, because the Q drone's still. So it's one. Two, three, four, five orders. And then one guy off the table I know of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I, the question is, I don't have enough orders to do everything I really wanna do here, I don't believe. Maybe, 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 maybe. I gotta put him in a position where if he wants to use his Dr. Worm to bring anybody back to do it, he doesn't have enough orders to do it with. That's the key for me mm -hmm. right now. So I, I can actually kill him and I think still get stuff done, ish, maybe, mm -hmm. question mark. Mm -hmm. That guy is such a pain in the ass that I really want to discover kill on that guy. So that's gonna kind of dictate my next one. So I'm gonna spend an order on the uh, Rushi. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to move him. Up here. My first. Oh, should have vision. You have vision right there. Yeah. Okay. Arrows. Um, I do not have arrows, but from his angle, I might get cover. I'm up against this thing. Well, you were your base was right there, so I don't think so. Well, right. Because you didn't well, stay behind there, you were out. I was touching it, so oh, you'd have to look okay. on your side. How much do you have to have? It's just one has, of the thirds. Yeah, it just has to cover like that little section right there. Uh, all right. Yeah, I guess we'll give it to you. I mean, you got to be sticking out. The problem is, you got to be sticking out far enough that I could get the vision to you, right? So yeah. yeah no, okay. I was. I guess so. I was in line, covering okay. like that, but it's a millimeter away. I just didn't want to get flamethrowered. Uh, and. The inline up against this because it's covering half of my base here, but it's still enough because you have such a large base. So I'd be at minus three. And what does Discover do? How far is it? Um, you, it's zero range, so you're going to just be negative three. So I'd be at minus three. Mm -hmm. So I get any tens again. That's mm -hmm. not what I want. So uh, so you, you declare no arrows? Well, no, yeah. no, right. no arrow. I guess I'd have to move again then. Um, move up over here. Mm hmm. Right. Spend another order. Good God, getting down and dirty. Um, the uh, Rushi mm -hmm. will uh, discover shoot. Okay, I will do nothing. Do nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I should be in. If I do something, then plus range. So I'm at plus yep. three, minus three for your cover, I guess. If yeah, we're saying so you have cover, thirteen. So thirteens. Roll a 70. Guys, I really, really need you, everybody out there, to put forth all the positive energy and let's succeed in this discover roll. Let's make the Rushi the hero we need right now, all right? Let's do this. 17, baby. 
Oh, discovered. Couldn't stick it better than that. So discovered, and then I'm going to blow him up. So. Yep. so you get three shots at... Four um, shots with a Spitfire. Oh, yeah, Spitfire. But you're at zero range. Yeah. So, so negative three. Yeah, so I'm at nines. On nines. Germans. German dice. So, so three, three hits. hits. Armor one, armor four. So I need tens. Two and a fail, so just unconscious. But that's enough to take. That's him enough. Out. The hero we needed. <laughs> the hero we needed. <laughs> it might not have been the hero we deserve. Uh, we might not have that? played two? well enough. I got two? I got two more orders plus my lieutenant order left. He might not have been the hero we deserved with the way <laughs> we've been playing, but it was the hero we needed. Let's just call it that. All right. That's funny. Um. I ain't mad at that, and he's got line of fire in there too, so I like that. Ugh. Anybody in chat want to cheat and tell me where his hidden dude is? No, no <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Come kidding. On. I'm not gonna look. Don't tell me. I don't. I'm just saying that would be good info to have right at this point in time. I think. Um, I right, got those guys unconscious. Mm. So he was in your main order pool, right? Yep. The only guy in the second order pool is this dude, correct? Yep. So I'm down to four and he's got orders. pistol and double flamethrowers. Yes, double flamethrower, and you mm -hmm. said flash balls. Yes. Someone's calling shenanigans. Who is? The hidden dude is somewhere in Arizona. Damn it! <laughs> his Spitfire, yeah, Spitfire Strength 14, his 10 was also a fail unless he was Armor 2. No, I was in cover. You have so Armor 1 in cover? Armor 1, 14. You need 11, so your 10 fails, so he's gone. Oh, sh I was thinking combi rifle. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're gone. Sorry. You're right. All right, so he's gone. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. Mucho appreciado. I thought he said he had armor too, so I was going with it. Um, mm. No, I saw his armor four. It Thanks. doesn't matter really, because I mean, he'd never get Doctor Worm up in there. I don't think. Maybe mm. that's a thing. Possibly. No, that's huge. He has auto med kit. Oh, he does have auto med <laughs> kit. That is freaking big time. So Thank you huge. so much, it's huge. Casino Reads, coming in with a clutch. <laughs> with the clutch. Yeah, that's huge. All right, that is that is big. All right, I like it. Oh, that would have been so great. If you were excited over killing him, he stands back up. Yep. I was that would have been hysterical. <laughs> Auto med kit would work right then. I was thinking combi That rifle. legit would work um, right there for him as well, I think. So, I just kind of need to take that dude out. Although I don't know what his Why hidden guy is, as far as like what order group like his hidden guy is in. Right? So that's a problem. Thank you so much! Matchstick man again, with the kill. <laughs> Living up to his name, coming in. Oh my god, I just don't have enough orders, do I? <laughs> well, the frack is gone, so actually, I'm kind of okay. Kind of sort of okay. Donation received from Matchstick Man Got a good line of sight into the building from the Oyoroi and around the side here. Um, but he can't get in. I'm gonna get one. Oh no, because I can't go over that. Urg! I gotta go around. I've boxed myself in. <laughs> yeah, I can't get in the building with that guy. Oh boy, this is gonna be tight, Kip. All right. I have a feeling this is gonna be tight. I like. Right. I have no idea what I can do here except try you to kill. You have two more. orders, right? I got. I got two orders in my All lieutenant right. order. So I got. Oh my god, man. <laughs> got a hidden dude. Hidden dudes are bad. It is not a good thing. And I need to go here. One. 
All right, I've spent a order on my Raiden. Mm -hmm. He will move. And he will get just inside. First mm -hmm. order. Arrows? Uh, no, I can't see him. Well, you yes. got a hidden dude, so I always have oh, to I assume see. that you sure. can see from somewhere to somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I always got to assume that you can do something. All right, I'm going to then move. I want to stay out of line of sight of your baggage bot with my second. Uh, so he can see. Not really gonna matter, but I'm gonna move like just basically right to there. It doesn't, it doesn't he can matter. see there. Yeah, there. Oh, he can see there? Yep. Okay, he has so to move. Right there. Where That's where he can see. Okay. Okay. Next order. <laughs> On the riding. Mm -hmm. Riding's going to move just to the doorway to maintain mm -hmm. cover on the doorway and being able to see your dude. I will flash pulse. Okay, I'm shooting. That's your last order, right? Uh, well, I got my lieutenant order. Oh yeah, lieutenant order. So I'll be in plus three range for okay. the flash pulse. So I'll need a 16. I need a uh, 12. Yes, your base. My base. What are you firing with? And you need a what? What are you firing with? Combi uh, rifle? Rocket launcher. Oh, that's right, rocket launcher. Rut row. What's the plus eight, three eight range to on? 24. Eight to 24. Yeah, you're plus three, minus three, so 12. And are you doing the blast? Uh, does it catch anybody else? Yep. It cuts the Echadron? Yep. Then, uh, yeah, because it'll ignore cover and get the Echadron too. Get a rid of an order for you, if nothing else. Does you're that guy? you're literally this far out from hitting this guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I had to double check. All right. So I'm going to take right. two shots, needing 12. 12 I need so my base. And I'm the 16. All right. Fuck. Um, Take it, baby! Armor roll here. He's nope. on fire. Gone. He is gone. Uh, Ikadron. He gone. is on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. They don't He's... have any. They, just, they yeah. take a wound, they die. They leave. So, two out of that group. Two more dead! Cha-ching! Not the heroes we deserve, <laughs> but sort of the heroes we needed. Although I don't know that this is going to matter much. Um... I think I gotta do. I, I think I gotta do it just so that we can um, spend my lieutenant order. Mm -hmm. The lieutenant is a big boy. Can't get in the room, right? But we can sure get lanes of fire for anybody trying to get into mm -hmm. the room from all of those other three doors. Why don't you donate five dollars to the cause and maybe it'll make you feel better. Matchstick man, coming through in the clutch. Um, right. And then for the second part of my order, I will use a shoot, and I'll just clear the board. I'll do two and two into your dudes, your uh, down dudes. Right? Well, he's not down, but he's glued. Yep. Right? So I will uh, I think all I'll I put... can do is dodge. Dodge and reset is all I can do. You can't dodge with anybody. You dodge when you're glued. You're, glued. you're mobilized, too, so you reset. Reset and discover is all I can yeah, do. Yeah, you can reset yes. and discover, so... Uh, basically, what I've done here, guys, is I just moved my Oyeroy up to the door into here. So I've got all three doors covered with the big guy. It's all I can do. I put two dudes in there. I can't waste any more orders on them. I just got to risk it. But I want to clear the field of some of his guys. So I've got a short move to cover the doors. And then I'm going to just put shots downfield into his immobilized dude and the unconscious guy. So he can't bring guys back. Okay? It's risky, but whatever. That's all I got. Uh, so I got... Uh, Yeah, we'll do two and two. Okay. So I'm at, uh, is it, what is my range on this guy? Nine, am I at zeros? Yeah. Okay, you're zero range. So I'm at zero range on that guy. So I need 14s uh, on his bot there. The one, one hit. hit. And then uh, I'm at plus three on the other guy probably? Yeah. Okay, so plus threes on that guy needs 17s. So two, two hits, hits on that guy. So one save on the bot. Uh, guy back here is now okay. completely Vaporized. wiped out. Vaporized. Vaporized. They poo rise. And then um, one my bot right here. Bam. Sticks it. Holy I hell. That. He's I like, that. he's glued I and doesn't order. even care. All right. Okay, so let me check my picture really quick. That's all I got. Cameron. That's all I got, guys. That's all I got. You got to cross your fingers and hold your breath and. Root for the good guys, which I don't know who the good guys really are. I kind of feel like Combined Army is probably the better guys than Eugene, but I'm just saying. <laughs> we won't say that out loud so Kip can hear. That glue is new armor. Yeah, right? It's like that self-expanding glue. 
and the bullets, it just stops bullets too. So we're screwed. Yeah, right at 16. So I will use his own order. Why don't you donate $5 to the Man with another box. Use his own order. He will declare a move action. Whoop. Arrows. Uh, all three will... I will... Received from Matchstickman740. Press the loop for that hidden figure. Well, here's the problem, right? Mm -hmm. If I hold, I should try to discover with one of them. Yeah. And hold with the other two. Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to. Discover with the ninja. Okay. And hold with all the other three. All right, I'm just gonna move again. Yep. Okay. So here. And to here. Okay. All right. So I need a discover roll. Mm -hmm. I need you guys to pull it together negative, for me because I need a ten three, again. You need a ten, yeah. I need a ten again. Let's do it. Gotcha. Nice. Soinks. Um. By the way, I was stealth. <laughs> stealth. It's a it's a malignos hacker. Okay. <laughs> So oh, he will okay. not be activating again because you have a killer hacker. Oh yeah, because right I got a killer hacker. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Got you. Um, but you were stealth in line of fire and zone of control, so you that declared, doesn't count anymore. As I moved, you declared. I should have asked if you were hackable. Sorry. You can't when they're Sorry. camo tokens. It's hidden information. Oh okay. So I can't. You're. You don't know that I'm hackable until really? I reveal yes. Okay. All right. Got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. So. Um, we will use, it's important, his own order, the lieutenant special order, mm -hmm. to move, which will get him to the door okay. and open. Okay. Nobody should be able to see me now. Nope, I don't have a line of sight there. So you should have, how many orders do you have total for that group? You've got one. I have four in the main group and one in the other group. Okay. So the predicament I'm in, because I just used the lieutenant order, the predicament I'm in is do I recreate my fire team and run up there with two guys very efficiently or try to use coordinated orders to get them close and then I'm going to use my last command token to reform the fire team okay. as a duo. Okay. Because nothing can see me until I get up into the room. Okay. So I'll spin an order. Four inches. Yep. He's taller than Dr. Worm, so two there. Two there gets me here. Making him the fire team leader. RO is nothing, correct? Uh, I do not have line of sight to you. That's the second part of the move. Okay. You can only see me when I get through the door, correct? Mm -hmm. Move. This unless is a you, hacker. Unless you do something stupid and come yeah. out here. This is a hacker. Okay. Yep. That's your whatever your big dude, right? Yep. Yep. So arrow. Uh, no, because you're. I'm not. I'm not in your hacking zone. So. All right. Two I don't have left. line of sight to you. I mean, I've got, no, I don't have mine. Second part is going to be a move, but the hacker's going to stay there because you just have a killer hack. All right, so next move, he's going to remain the fire team leader. Through the door. Okay. Four inches. Okay. Arrow. Uh, I will hack. 
Um, with what? What program? What's his stat line? Um, what is? I mean, I'm asking what's uh, what's his BTS? I guess is what I'm really asking. Uh, Malignos hacker BTS is three. Three. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't really do as much as I want it to. So maybe Trinity. Oh, I do get the plus three, the breaker. Oh, I have the wrong. I was like, what are you talking about? I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> I was like, I know that he he's a regular hacker. Um, Your guy's a regular hacker? Yeah. Well, he's an EI hacker. Yeah, so he only has brain blast then. Right? No. EI is an upgraded sucker punch. What does sucker punch do? <laughs> Uh, it's damage 16, double trouble, negative 3 to your modifier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yada yada yada, so I will do... And it's only burst 1? Yep. So I'll do Skullbuster. Right, well, you're only burst 1 because you're ARL. Mm -hmm. It's only burst 2 in your active turn. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but it still gives me the plus 3. Alright, so you'll be base. The uh, base whip, because yep. I'm going to be plus three, minus three, and then I'm going to do Sucker Punch. You're plus so, three? For 14. What? I need a 14. Yeah. Then You're you just base, right? Yep. Okay. And I need a 13. Uh, I want to do the dice. 14, baby. Here we go. Oh, hang on. I can press the right button. All right. So uh, we are hacking each other is what we're doing right now, mm -hmm. and uh, I have got to basically roll a 13, and he needs a 14. So yep. keep the good faith going, guys. Go, baby. 14. Crits! Woo! Crits me. Woo! Yeah, so there so you go. you're you hit one, and then you take uh, damage. I take a wound and a damage roll. Yep. Right? BTS. I think I'm good on the BTS. Are you a BTS over three? Um. If you're BTS no, three. That's I'm a not. failure. So, so it's I'm dead. Dead. Well, that hurts really fucking bad. Last order. Damn it! That crit. How do you get those crits? Uh, they're gonna move here. Camera. Oh yeah, camera. So he's gonna move here. He's gonna move two and two to here. Okay. I got uh, shot. Mm hmm. Shot. And shot. Hit. Um, I will dodge then. You're gonna dodge with everybody? Yep. Okay. Um, you got all three of those guys are gonna get hit? Yep. Yep. Uh, so he'll dodge as well. Well, he doesn't... How does he get a dodge? Oh, shit, that's right. It's my active turn. Yeah, you don't get a dodge. He just takes a hit. Um, we could kill them all right here, guys. We could kill them all. We need to kill them all. <laughs> 13. And a 7. So, um... Hang on. Him. hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just wait. I'm trying to find the... Uh, there it is. All right. All right. So uh, dodging with the Unidron, needing a seven, he fails. Dodging with the Nexus, he think that's a failure. Yeah. Unless you got so, some nope. Only physiques. So all hit. Okay. So we did it. We hit uh, all got, three of his dudes. You got shots here. Yeah. Um. So the I gotta shoot this guy because mm -hmm. he's the only one that I can see. So I got one shot with the Spitfire. Mm -hmm. I'm at plus three. Yep. Yeah, we're at plus three, uh, no cover, so I need 15s. Mm -hmm. Hit it's on a five, so, two so you on gotta roll the, a wound on that. Two on this guy. And then here. Uh, Both we'll, damage 14. And we're gonna go blast, just because I think I can hit all three of them again. With the blast. Oh, so you're doing the Nexus? Template, right here. Yeah. So I'll hit two. Well, the Nexus is right here. So the both those guys? Both those all right. guys. Where's so, the Nexus? You have a guy outside? No, he, he moved through here, so you'd have to hit him right here. Yeah, whatever. I'll get both those guys. But I was yep. thinking if I got this guy, yeah. but I don't get that guy. So range, are you negative? So, no, I have uh, X-Visor, so it doesn't ever matter. I'm uh, sure. That's not in your close range. That's only for your far range. It's for all ranges. X-Visor reduces anything minus three to zero. Minus six to minus three. Yep. Sure. Yep. Okay. I thought it was for your long range. Nope. It's all range, range. bands. It, that's why it works so great for close combat. I'm pretty sure. Somebody might check that, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that X-Visor reduces all of your ranges 
minus threes to zeros. And then negative sixes. Minus to sixes to minus three. Well, I don't know if it even affects minus sixes. I don't it, know if it yes, does it. Does, does it yep. reduce it? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, obviously focused as they come through the door there, right? So uh, I just need 12s. Mm -hmm. Yay. Right. You got a lot of saves to make anyway. So, so I'm here's the uni. Um, we'll have to roll, roll them separate because one's fire. So needing These are the fire ones? Neater. Which guy? No, this is a 14 for the Spitfire. Okay, 14 for the Spitfire. Uh, he's unconscious. unconscious, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So he's out. Um, so we got one guy unconscious. He can't do anything anyway. This is the end of his order, so unconscious yeah. doesn't... Unconscious yes. or dead is not a matter here. So I need a 14 on the... It's a heavy flamethrower, right? Heavy flamethrower. All right, so I need a 14 on the Nexus. He's good. Sticks it. And then I also need a 14 for my hacker. No, so he's um, unconscious. I don't have any orders. He has a my kit, so. And that. Uh, Shit, um, he might have just took the room. How many points is this guy? Uh, 31. Oh. No, 21, sorry, 21. And how many points were you putting in there? A 40. Oh, you're putting, I figured you had like a 40. My card's a 40. Yeah, so I had to make that move. So you'll go ahead and get five points for that. So you'll end up winning five, six to two. Because I also got more panoplies. So I get five points for my oh, no. two five, for panoplies and yeah. one for my thing. So I've got yeah, I just uh, got smoked. five, six, seven, eight. I got eight objective points that last turn. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Yep. Five. Yeah, it's absolutely eight, eight to two. Good game, freaking man. amazing. That Good last game. turn could have gone either way. And that's the way we've seen had, that with Uncle Touchy's to game it. go the same way. He had to do it. And I had to do what I did. That, that heavy flamethrower sticking it. Get down with the clown. Yes, and yep. uh, like we said originally, what I did at the beginning of the game is I said I was going to hold my objective card mm -hmm. for the end to use it as objective points. And what it allowed me to do is that if I had a point scoring model in the armory, I get to add the points on the card to the amount of points in the armory. And my card was one of the big ones. 40 points that I got to add in. I had one. Yeah, he had to take it. <laughs> but he got his objective, so which like... made it tough. It actually, you having your objective had to make me think about what I was doing through the game because you had that extra point. I had to go for it. Yeah, the other one I had was 12. I had so to, yeah. that's When I, I drew like, the 40, my mind was instantly like, all I gotta do is have one guy up and it's gonna be tough yep. unless he has a whole squad in there. But when you brought all those guys, when you did that link mm -hmm. team, I'm like, this could really be bad. Did you remember I had a heavy flamethrower? Yeah, I couldn't do anything. Okay. Right. So really like, upset about this. so here's here's what I could have done was um, the only other thing I could have done. I mean, I couldn't get around the heavy flamethrower. You couldn't because you didn't have orders to come around the other room well, or the other doors. Well, technically, I could have moved here and tried to shoot him and knock him down. I guess so. Yeah. To remove from the room, that's mm -hmm. probably your better play because you were out of line of sight from anybody else except for him. He would have arrowed yep. with the blast, and then you were just but face to face. At that point, I was like, well, I have two dodges so I, all i have to do crucial, though i thought it was gone there holy hell guys we pulled it out eugene defended against the airlock <laughs> the airlock problem that was reported by high command turned out to be something a little bit more and we had to blow up some combined army and actually we did it um he still got one guy alive that we will gladly take into custody no because he's self-destruct i burned off oh he did he kills himself <laughs> damn it i burned off his to no he's dead He's down, he's down. I only have the Nexus hacker. Oh, the hacker's the only yeah. one alive, and he's going to blow himself up. Oh, yeah. He's just Vasti. He's going to blow himself up. He's just Vasti. He's like... He's going to blow himself up, and then you're going to think he's gone, and then he'll hatch later. They're like bugs. They're like, cleaty, 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 and poop. So literally, as the flamethrower goes, he'll do this. And then you're like, oh, they're gone. And then... And then there'll be an egg on the wall, like aliens yes. or something. <laughs> yes. The egg will open up and that we'll have to do this again. Happen. That's a great way to put it. That's how we have to end the battle report right there, is that your size <laughs> Vosti, well, as they're cleaning up, one lone, like, Eugene uh, janitor comes up on a slimy open egg in the corner of the armory that has empty. So yes. now we got a Shaz Vosti running around. Great freaking yes. story. This narrative fun is really, really cool. <laughs> we will definitely be writing this one up and putting it over on the Wotan stuff. I'm, I had a lot of fun. Obviously, smiling a little bit more because I pulled out the win. But that was a tough one. <laughs> that was a tough one. That was one, good, though. man. Um, that was a tough one. Great game. Only thing I could have done there. So the, the move you did that was good was moving him here. Because if you would have kept him here... I would have just went in two sides of the door. I had to get all sides covered. Mm -hmm. With him, I had to be able to do something where I not only had you if you were outside the building, but if you were also inside on three doors. So mm -hmm. I had to do it. It was just the only thing. Plus, making him my lieutenant for the lieutenant order, I figured it would help me if I cleansed these dudes, which it did. 
I feel. How I don't much know if that really rating? made you take a different rating? choice. What's that? How much is the rating? 21. 21 and you had 40, so you only had 61. 61. Oh! Here's the crucial thing. Um, me failing that and not being able to do his role, because I had, with just with just those two units in there... Um, that was more, because he was 77 30 yeah, points, dude, with those two. With those That's two. why that guy had to go. I knew he did after we figured out his points during round mm -hmm. one or two. I was like, that guy's got to go, because that's got to be one of your more expensive dudes. Yep, I had 76, 77 points with just the TO camo, so that was... So Chat won this game, because yeah. Chat Whoever reminded that. us that his 10 armor roll failed and took him out of his auto med kit and yeah. took him off the board. So chat, high five. High five to chat. <laughs> chat won the game. I had nothing to do with it. I'm just moving models and you guys are telling me what to do. Absolutely awesome. The always ask about arrows on a recent episode of Maya. Yep, exactly. Crusher, you need to play me now? <laughs> oh God, I'm not good at this game, man, please. <laughs> Alien invaders are never the good guys. I kind of, I kind of, I guess I agree with you. Although I'm starting combined army, Morats, oh, angry monkey good. dudes. So uh, I do like the combined army just because, if nothing else, the models are fantastic. But that's true of all these armies. You really don't like the new Twitch app assassin? It's not good. It, it's not good. Look. Our image is saying Kit gets crits by pure bullshit luck that no one can replicate. He said, give me a three and roll the three on my die. Hey, these are the house dice. We have these huge freaking, you know, house dice. That no, we that use. was my dodge. And that, yeah, but that it's still, you called it. It's unbelievable. He missed the mine. That damn dude was so hard to kill. Yeah. So hard to kill. Yeah, that was clutch, man. Um, being Art able to image, discover. you volunteer to edit this down for YouTube digestibility. If you're honestly serious about that, I will send you a file or we'll figure it out somehow. He says, congratulations, Kip. Great effort. I'm glad to see you play since you've not been <laughs> able to make it down to the Southwest for any tournaments. So you got to nope. be able to come to Arizona Armageddon sometime before the sun burns out, my friend. Yeah, I'll be in This Armageddon. October is going to be awesome. Are you, you playing in it, yeah? Donate you're not gone this time around. Nope. I'll be in it. Snake man, do what again? Do what again? Art image, send me a message and do this, because that's the one thing that I'm pissed poor at is video editing on these long things. I just can't find the time. I have the rig to do it. <laughs> I just literally never find the time to do it. Yeah, I was like, it'd be better, because we didn't take any pictures, so we can't really do, uh, it'd be hard to do a bat rep right up, because we have to download images. <laughs> well, we can take stills from the video. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah, so we can, um, I, this is all cop captured on VOD on Twitch. So okay. we can take some of what we did here and capture it back and uh, and get some stills out of it. And we could probably Photoshop, like take the center of the screen and like Photoshop those images of, you know, arrows and things like that. So we can make it happen. <laughs> Art image is laid off, so he has lots of time. Holy hell, man. Hoodsgate, what's going on? You missed two Fridays in a row due to busy scheduling. Damn it. We just finished Hoods. Why are you so late? We just finished. We won. Wicked Wombat, I usually run, and, and I think Kit probably knows that. I usually yeah. run the Oyeroy as my lieutenant in my JSA yeah, force. Yeah, can't be in this one. Um, and then I also run a Kimpai in the Kaisotsu link. So the Kimpai tie, if the Oyeroy goes down, the Kimpai has chain of command and immediately takes your never lost a lieutenant as long as you have one of them up. I also do that because sometimes I make Shinobu my lieutenant. Same thing, but because I use her as a missile, it's really the Kimpai that's the lieutenant. But the Shinobu lieutenant costs me less and gets me more in the long run sometimes because it's only a half an SWC, whereas the Oyeroi is a full SWC to get as a lieutenant. Mm -hmm. So I play around with that a little bit. Um, it, it, believe it or not, the JSA is fairly cheap uh, as far as SWC to get a good list going. And so when I went to Rumble, I played JSA and the Oyeroi and most of my list was my lieutenant. And it works very well because he's got the structure points you can be a little aggressive with him because you have the Kempai in the background and you get to use that lieutenant order with him, you know, just as you want to. I just spend my lieutenant order and move my, my HMG and my flamethrower and I wreck face. And I take a couple of wounds, I heal him back with the engineer. Normally, in a JSA us. list, instead of a regular engineer, I take uh, the uh, Kai, Kai Sotsu Guifeng, um, whatever her name is. She's got uh, uh, the freaking rocket launcher and she's a better engineer. So I take her with bots and there wind up fixing this. stuff, but very good. <laughs> the actual painted ones. Yeah, Kip actually had fully painted models. So. <laughs> Not all of Raziel, them. Raziel, son of Cain. Great name, man. Great series of games, by the way. I love that. Welcome. JSA, Wicked Wombat, JSA are fun to play. I've enjoyed them. I don't know that long term it's what I really like going with. I think that the, the lots of camo spam is really cool, but I don't find that I enjoy ninjas much. 
That's and the only good. Oniwaban that I really like is the Shinobu with smoke. Um, the, mm. the other Oniwabans, because they don't have the smoke and they're down one level of martial arts, I don't feel like the six points is too big of a tax to pay for martial arts level five and smoke grenades. Even though here I had to use her as a missile because of his deployment, um, he counter deployed my Oyeroy over on the right flank uh, with his HMG and his missile launcher and his plasma duty wound up having to put over there. So mm -hmm. I had to run her up the gut, which was really good. My first turn, I feel like, was what really set up the rest of the game. There could have swung a lot of ways, but having her up there destroying those big weapons, because that was literally, other than your Spitfire, that was all your heavy weapons, I think, right? Yeah, so. that was. But great um, game. Yeah, uh, yeah. the majority of them were all plasma. Well, that's, um, a, that's the strength of that army, though, is mm -hmm. if you can get those plasma guns working, those templates are ridiculously mm -hmm. hardcore. Yeah, I mean, with you having... The whole only problem is my lieutenant is in there, and since you had the um, since you had the killer hacker in there, I didn't want to take my fire team up there till the last turn. Right. And I knew that 77 points with just two TO models. Kind of wondering if I should have just um, put them both in hidden deployment, and then Maybe bum rushed you on the bum rushed rush you on that on the last turn. Although having that one in there early is what made all my plans go awry, right? Mm -hmm. Like I had to focus all my orders. Yeah. Had he not been in there, my order pool would have been a lot different. I'd have had a lot mm -hmm. more dudes in the room with a lot more guns because I could have spent orders back here, like on my um, you know, my Rushi. Literally, only it was the hero we we yeah, got no, at the right? end. He only spent two orders on my Rushi, but it won mm -hmm. the game. Legit yeah. got getting rid of that, bringing that MSV2, getting rid of that, being able to discover and get rid of that dude in one order with the Rushi is what really did it. Because if he would have stayed, number one, your points were there, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do anything. I can't dislodge that, you know? Yeah. Or I'm wasting orders I didn't have because I was bringing a limited insertion list in the first place. So I only had 10 orders. I'm losing orders as I go. So at the end, I had, what, six? Mm -hmm. Not bad, but still hard to deal with if you've got to make a lot of dudes cover distance. And mm -hmm. I only had one command token, you know? Yeah, so, the only other thing I could think of of changing, I don't know if I could have got Doctor Worm up there with five, because I could have moved the orders in here and had six. I mean, Doctor Worm, one order, two orders. Or, I mean, that would be first order. See, I was in the same spot. Order. I was three to four orders. But I don't even think that I could have made a, yeah, I couldn't have made a cautious move. So I would have had to move and shoot, and then cautious move, and then come in through here to where you don't get that guy. Yeah. And, but facing too many, that's just too order intensive. So like, I didn't want to do that. That's why I moved the well, fire team up. That's why at the end, why I decided to go ahead and try to clear out models that were like the glue guy because mm -hmm. he was still putting an order on the table. You know, yeah. the rocket launcher to get rid of the flamethrower dude because flamethrower dude is abusive in the room, right? Mm -hmm. So that would have been a real well, problem. Well, yeah, this right here I probably should have moved him up in my turn one instead of being kind of having scared. those flamethrowers up there would have been a big deal. Yeah, yeah definitely that would was, have been a big deal. I think that's the only mistake I made. Because I wouldn't have had anybody in here until I moved like into the room, but at that time it was like I would have been facing the double action, so I was a little bit worried that I'd miss. Well, that. and at the end of the game, when we take a look back and we say what we could have done, the thing mm -hmm. is, is Infinity is such an amorphous game during play because of the reactions and the actions that every every order spent and every mm -hmm. step dictates a different set of available answers to it. It makes sense at the time, mm -hmm. but at the end of the game, it's easy to go back and say, oh, I should have done this. But at the time when you would have done that, like I can see a lot of things I might have mm -hmm. done, but you know, like you did great. That Fracta ruined mm -hmm. everything back here because I had to now finish. My Lu Duan never moved more than four inches off no. my starting deployment line. He did his job eventually, but that was three orders that I had to spend during the course of the game. Three mm -hmm. orders would have moved another person into the building. So, yeah, you know, true. it's like you think about those things and even those. Small, oh, no. Like on my second turn, I was going to move him in there. Yeah, but I, I saw scared. you. I saw you. <laughs> I was like, like, F it. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and shoot with that. I saw instead. you. I think you gave a lot more credit to the ninja with the, the adhesive launcher than it needed. Mm -hmm. I think you could have taken it out a lot earlier. I don't like ninjas, man. I love T.O. Camo, but I'd rather have a hack towel, of course. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's three times as expensive, you know. So. Yeah, if you did a hack towel and your oh, you're right, you'd have been... I couldn't have done that. I, no. I, that list wouldn't have worked because it was only no. like eight orders. Yeah. I, I replaced in one list that I had, I had the Oyeroi in place of the Oyeroi, I had a hack towel and was able to upgrade some other units and still have a good setup, which would have been cool because the hack towel could get in the room. At the end of the day, Chad asked me yesterday to see the Oyeroi play. We got to see the Oyeroi play. He did some work. He killed mm -hmm. some dudes. He took a wound. Crazy koalas went off against the rules, you know, whatever, yeah. you know. That yeah. was a big thing, too, because technically then I would have had crazy koalas at the end of the, or at some other point to blow somebody mm -hmm. else up that didn't have that same issue. But, it would have been but the same guy. But you would have already guy. had that guy in there. It would have been the same guy. Yeah, it would have been the same guy. Because I moved so, him around to kill this. 
Uh, didn't my one dude in the army have adhesive? Yeah, he did. He did. He adhesived uh, his dude here, which was mm -hmm. huge. He got he adhesived the plasma gun guy, his uh, total reaction bot, which was huge. Because mm -hmm. that total reaction bot, I knew he was going to try to put him up because he told us early on in the game, he was like, yeah, this guy had to deploy back here, but his goal was to go and mm -hmm. guard the door of the room. So when he started moving him, I was like, I got to glue that guy. So having the ninja get the <laughs> adhesive launcher out of the huge. panoplies was huge. Yeah. Huge. And I've played with adhesive launchers before. Believe it or not, the only time was with Bit and Kiss, and I was able to with uh, with uh, is it Kiss, the little robot? Yeah, sure. Literally, DHL. Kiss shut down the combined army huge tag. Oh. <laughs> because he kept critting adhesive launchers twice in the game. Adhesive launchered that dude, and he had kept having to run his doctor worm out to get his big tag. Mm. Whatever is that thing called? The, the avatar. The avatar. Adhesive adhesived his avatar twice because he wasn't paying attention. So I was getting unopposed rolls and ARO with Kiss and an adhesive launcher and sticking him to the ground each time. I just, uh, him each time and he was, that dude was ready to throw me out of the building. Like legit, I think he was super pissed at me. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I think what I did to it was uh, isolate it. So he was in Lost Lieutenant uh, last time I played against Cause you just can't, Avatar. you just can't take it over, but you can isolate it. He's yep. immune to possession, but not yep. immune to isolate. Okay, that's cool. Nope, that's all I <laughs> used. Used the pitcher and isolated Lost Lieutenant. And then it was a non-factor at that point. Uh, and Ironhead said, favorite. how did you like finishing the game with a dead lieutenant? I didn't. Uh, once your lieutenant dies, yeah. you spend a turn, a full turn in loss of lieutenant, unless you have somebody with chain of command. Um, you spend a full turn in loss of lieutenant where all of your orders become irregular. Irregular orders meaning that uh, one dude has an order attached to him, and that one dude can only use that order. It can't be used mm -hmm. to move anybody else. So it isolates everybody. You're, ba you're basically in the isolated state for everybody. Yeah. And um, the problem there is... Well, you're it, not... In, it's you're just it's irregular. It's not technically isolated. You're irregular. irregular. Yes. Um, but There's then, a big difference. Then the next turn, you name a new lieutenant. You give mm -hmm. a, a new personal leader. So it's not like other games where you lose your lieutenant and you go into, like, retreat or something. Yeah. The only way retreat happens in this game is if you lose 75% or more of your force during play. And the bad thing about retreat, it has a funny rule. If you send the other army into retreat, it could cost you losing the game even though you're the mm -hmm. one that killed them all because the game ends at the end of that retreat order turn. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't gotten enough objective points and you cause your opponent to retreat off the board and they got one objective point and you got none, you will lose that game. And mm -hmm. I've seen it happen. Killed, like I've seen boards clean to like a man and you lose. You know, at Rumble, there was a game where I killed all but one of his dudes and lost the game. Because I, and that was my own fault. I didn't understand how the mission parameters for highly classified worked. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand how certain classifieds counted for more than yeah. the fact that I got all the real ones, you know? <laughs> so it was, it was, ah, angered me to no end. Yeah, I think um, neither of us, because you had a new, new lieutenant. My lieutenant is the one that survived, my Nexus hacker. Yeah, because he had and his lieutenant in the back in the, in the link the whole time. Which was more the, points, but then you drew the 40 point telemetry card, yeah, four which point telemetry. you got to put in there, which was BS. No, that was just smart BS. play. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is really nonstop I action. never get that on these missions, man. Like, I always draw the, like, 12. I usually, you know what's funny is I've always so gotten, like, 20s dumb. and 30s, and I feel comfortable using them to do that, and it's won me the game on multiple occasions because I've been able to drop the card and either remove the opponent's points off the objective or off of a quarter, table quarter. So I feel like that's a good way to use them. There's times where it's like, you know, I run so yeah. many engineers and so many healing bots that I use the test run that he used. I use that one. If I get it, I use it and do it all the time because I can, I usually have remotes taking wounds, tags taking wounds, and I can repair them, and that's an easy objective point. But when you got 40 points on a card that you can slap at the bottom, all I had to do was make sure I had one guy you know alive. What? I felt like that was pretty good. That's where my mistake was. That was my mistake. I forgot that you have to have somebody alive to use it. I thought you just got it. No. I should have just moved up and shot you. I have you. to have a counting model. Yeah, I should have just moved up and shot you. Yeah, when, that you, left, was when dumb. you left him alive, yep. I was like, that was oh, my mistake. Geez. That was my mistake. I got it. I shouldn't have dodged. I should have just shot him because then that erases all your points. Yep. So, note yourself, you're playing this mission. Did not read. Read the damn mission. That's what we always say at the time. Yeah, read it's the easy damn to forget because there is a lot. There's a lot going on that is in context of this A, mm -hmm. then B, then C, F, A, not B. D, you yeah. know, there's a lot of things that you have to remember. And yeah, I had to have a scoring unit in here mm -hmm. that was a, a legit legal scoring unit before I can play the card. I can't play the card and give myself 40 points at the end of the game if I have nobody in there. And the, and the tag can't count because he can't come in. Yep. So he killed all the other dudes. That's why I got really, really scared when you did this. And then when you said you were dodging, I was like... <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot about that. That was that would have been the smart move. Was winner, actually winner, just chicken dinner. He had to kill the right. Leave, leave this guy in here. Move over. Kill and right. then 
shoot him with uh, either four shots from a combi rifle. Yeah, after rifle. you killed the ninja, that was the next yeah. deal. Because then you only, you only had to have that one guy. Because then you wouldn't have ever generated the ARO oh, sh for yeah. the flamethrower. Because I could have just moved right here Yep. and shot you outside of cover. Yeah, and all you had to deal with then is the ARO, the one shot back with the, yep. the heavy rocket launcher. And then I would have never generated that heavy flamethrower yep. shot here. So that, yeah, that, that would have been the win. That was way smarter. That would have been the win. That's why you live and learn. <laughs> Kip's a great painter, man. If you haven't watched, check out the MayaCast forums on Facebook. You should go ahead and join. Follow MayaCast on Facebook, uh, and I will put up the dice deal again. It's MayaCast, just like mm -hmm. you see there on the dice roller. Um, check out MayaCast on Facebook. Follow their podcast page, which you don't get to post to. But then also make sure that you go and follow the MayaCast forum page. They do want to make sure that your profile has got something miniature oriented on it just so they don't get commercials for, what, Ray-Ban sunglasses yeah, and stuff exactly. to get trolls. But all of us do. If you're out there and you have a Facebook page or just send them a message behind the scenes saying, hey, I watched you know Jason and Kip play Infinity, and they'll get you in there. Great information, great updates on tournaments all over the world that they post up there. You'll get the show uh, whenever the new shows come out every Friday along with all the show notes so that you can see all of the what they're talking about things like that. Make sure to follow uh, Kip and Tom for sure. They're here, they're local, they're great guys. Uh, these guys, I think, pretty much single-handedly, you know, brought this entire Infinity community in Southern Arizona uh, to where it is. So and it's did. absolutely one of the best groups of guys I've ever played miniature games with. We drink beers, we eat good food, we throw dice, we go to stores, we go to each other's houses, we have fun. It's an absolutely amazing crew of people. They even like totally. Mike. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how they like Mike, and that tells you something. So, Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Uncle Touchy right. has been quiet. You gotta make him talk. <laughs> you guys have to force him to talk. Tell him it's okay to talk. He's my indoor room. And Art Image, you say, do you think you'll do this again? Get Tom or Crush R or even Kip back for more? Yes, this is the first time that Kip's yeah. been here. Tom was here for our 5,000 follower appreciation stream. It was also on a Saturday where we cut my hair all crazy. Every 50 bucks we got donated, people <laughs> chopped my hair up. And Tom That's got awesome. to cut my hair. Mike got to cut my hair. Jen, uh, uh, freaking JP and Liz were here. Everybody, we had like six people got to shave my head for me. And this is the aftermath still. Um, and yeah, and Tom was here and we actually taught uh, uh, JP and Mike played the Ice Storm beginner stuff. We walked through the basic rules. So we'll have lots of focus streams where we focus on like, you know, small army stuff. This was obviously a Wotan narrative event. So it was full ITS rules plus the special Wotan rules. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully you got a lot, even if you're new to Infinity, hopefully you got to see kind of how the game teeter totters back and forth because of that involvement during the reaction mm -hmm. phase. Um, other games where it's like, I go, I shoot a bunch of stuff, it's like getting initiative means win or loss yeah, in some exactly. games. Because if I set up properly and gain initiative, I can kill half of your army with no response in my shooting phase, and then your turn becomes very lackluster and your heart falls. Here, <laughs> no, right? Kip literally, by what he just said to us, could have won that game, even though I killed a lot more of his models, put him on his heels as far as death, but that had mm -hmm. nothing to do with it. There was no objective points at all in this game for models killed or victory points at the end. So, you know. Yeah, that was the, that was the, because then I also give you the chance of you rolling the 18 or up on your to hit roll and taking more damage. Well, no, he was multi trained. So. Oh, he's multi trained? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, so. the Raiden's not. Yeah. Yeah, so the Raiden's not. That would have been, that was a smart move. That would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been better. You actually had your head shaved for your extra life two years ago, Art Image? Nice. <laughs> you only found out about me because of Kip's Facebook announcement. Fantastic, man. Thank you. Glad you're here. And thank you, everybody else. If you joined in tonight, you thought Jen was playing tonight? No, Jen is like, Jen's like, don't get me in that room. Because <laughs> I joked with her. I was like, hey, how about we have you play Kip, and I'll run the camera. And she was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this morning, I was like, why don't you set up the train? She goes, I have no idea what this is supposed to look like. That's I was like, funny. you're making a colorful rug. You can make it work. Pretty much. That's funny. I we do have that. a giveaway, so don't go anywhere. As soon as we get cleaned up here, uh, we're going to see Kip out. He's got a thing to do, mm -hmm. so he's got family obligations, so he's got to split. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for being rude and packing up right now, but yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've had two text messages and two missed calls from the wife. Yeah, Kip's, um, Kip's on the gas right now, yeah. so he's got to do this. Is <laughs> Kip going to Nova? I don't think Kip's going to Nova, but no. we are going to um, I'll be Gen at Con. Gen Con, yes. Yeah, so he's nice. going to Gen Con, but not Nova. Yeah, no Nova. Small amounts. We have a budget for um, travel. 
So the dice boxes. Just... Matchstick Man, Wicked Wombat, were you asking about the which dice boxes? The Maya Cast ones? This was a special one that uh, Corvus Belly made up for him. No, Tom made, Tom made that. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, so, I thought you said that Carlos did it. No, Carlos did the logo. Like, okay. So he designed our logo when we became Maya Cast. Oh, gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha. So, but then that particular one, Tom took the picture, Put had a mouse, a mouse pad custom made. Yep. And then just cut it around a um, really nice picture frame. Yeah, so it's works just, like, glued in. Yeah, <laughs> works great. It <laughs> makes awesome. our slow fuse gaming ones look in, like ame anemic. But <laughs> I thought it would be cool. But they don't. It's a one-off. It's uh, Tom's. Yeah. He brought it here on the last show. We do, however, sell these. <laughs> you can get slow fuse gaming dice boxes, and you can paint them up nice and put mouse. But damn it, yeah. there's better. <laughs> you That's all Tom, man. That's you not can mine. cover the slow fuse up. What? I, if they were gonna, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a blast, man. This was this was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy um, doing this interactively. Uh, the setup is top notch, pro status. Um, I Thank would, you for coming. Because I would I'm glad, love and I'm glad to you got more. to see how this works. Yeah. We've been Kip and I have been talking at dinners for the yes. past like couple of months about how it would be great to do more of this. So if you yes. guys find that this is is fun helpful good time hanging out then we love doing it uh the games take a lot longer right a normal realize that a normal game uh length is like an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes yeah <laughs> in, in its like you're under the gun you got to be playing here mm -hmm. we literally just went like four hours of start to finish gameplay but we like it because it allows us to interact with you guys see mm -hmm. the rules ask the questions keep the chatter going it doesn't hurt us to take longer because god knows my brain needs as much to think about as possible um, but I feel like every, every time we do this, we get messages behind the scenes about how great it was and people asking questions about their army. It gets ideas going and what they were trying to do. And that's what we're really trying to do is spur you guys on whether you've been playing a little bit, playing a long time, maybe see things you haven't seen, help us learn things we haven't learned. You know, we're all getting it. There's no time in Infinity, I feel like you've always got it right. Just no. not. You're, there's so much to there's, learn. Yeah. But you can see that this, I feel like every game that I've played, whether it be an ITS tournament, local, friendly, they've all been like this, where we could discuss as a unit, both mm -hmm. of us playing a game and having fun. What does this mean? Okay, I get, oh, I get what you're saying. No, 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 that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, as opposed to, no, screw you and flip a table. <laughs> you know, it's like, I really feel like Infinity is great for that because it is so interactive. You have to be talking with your opponent the whole time or you'll fall behind and not even know what's going on. You'll get steamrolled mm -hmm. because you're not paying attention. Very so true. I love it. Mm -hmm. We've made great friends in the area, and yeah, I believe if as long as Kip wants to come back, we'd love to have him back. Oh, so. yeah, totally. Unless you guys tell him to pound sand. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Kip pound sand. No, no, no. <laughs> but do it. No. El Grimwolf, thank you so much, man. And thank you for the new subs that we got, all the new follows. Don't forget, we are going to be doing a giveaway. We'll switch back over to the other studio real quick. I'll go sit down at the desk, and we've got a prize to give away, so don't go anywhere. Hang tight. If you haven't entered into the raffle yet, exclamation point booty, and we'll be spinning a wheel here in just a couple of seconds. So with that, I'm going to change to the switching studio screen, and we'll be right back. All right? See you in a minute. Say bye, Kip. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Is that even, those aren't even words, dude. <laughs>
Hold, please. I've got to get uh, Uncle Touchy's mic hooked back up. Yeah, just give me. Oh, you didn't pull the other part of the plug out? The whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing, man. If it's a plug, you got to take the plug out. I'm not great at pulling things. <laughs> We gotta teach. We gotta teach Uncle Touchy more about what we do around here. Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for hanging out. We are going to uh, do a giveaway, and then we're gonna call it a day. Ship you off to Keyline Prime. I think he's still up doing his three thousand follower gig. So uh, yeah, yeah, about that. This shrink all this stuff down. Get our prize wheel where we can make it happen. Do this thing. Say use. Use. Use guys. The Utes. Two Utes. Oh my god. Please don't stand on the cord, Fuse. The two Utes. What's a what? What's a who's a who's a what's a? What's a with the what? Alright. Your mic on? I don't know. Is it on? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't uh, I'm talking, but am I ever really saying anything? No. I think that's the thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing. I don't think you're actually doing the thing. Oh. The thing. Made Hang on a second, guys. Give me just a second. We'll get out of here. Uh, get rid of that one. What's that? Nope. No, it can't. You can't mess me up. I am impervious to messing with in this studio, unless you're Jen, at which point in time <laughs> she finds unique ways to mess with me all the time. So, that's just kind of the way that works, I think. Why is everybody laughing? In the box. Why is everybody laughing at me? In the box. Freaking guy. Freaking guy. Let's pause the music. Let's do this thing. Hang on. Let me go. Uh, let me make sure that we've got this running right. All right. Let's, uh, what say you? Let's, uh, let's go in and do some, uh, some giveaway action. What say, what say you peoples? What say you peoples? Kabam, you're going to rig it? Sublime? That's not possible. Well, I say that. It might be possible. If you're, if you're hacker level JP Gray, it might be possible. I feel like he's able to do this. So we have a total of uh, blah, blah, blah. How many people are in this raffle anyway? Only 42 people? Are you kidding me? Only 42 people even want free stuff? I'll give you a couple extra seconds to jump in on this. Exclamation point booty in the chat to To get set up for a chance to win some cool stuff. And thank you guys for hanging out with us. I know Saturdays are our off day, but we've had a lot of fun playing some Infinity. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you, Mike, for running the camera and knocking things off the table. He's like, wait a second. It's the hands. I have these, be these yeah. big, like, meat cleavers attached to me. I mean, I had a great cross cam shot, though. It's like mine, yours. That was so horrible. So, so, all of them in there. so awkward. So awkward. All right, we're going to pull it out of here. Uh, you over there have got that little red box. Yeah, it is. There's one on there that has the drum symbol. Put it right up next to your microphone and press it. Oh. That one. Oh. Snake Man, are you <laughs> kidding me? Snake. Snake Man coming in the gold VIP win, snatching it away from the hands of everyone else. Congratulations, Snake. <laughs> and the collapse, too. Dude, Mike is on his game. Mike is on his game. Snake, you still out there? Snake, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Gold, gold VIPs get the win if they're not here, that lucky bastard. Congratulations to Snake. Mucho appreciado to everybody for supporting us like this. Now, Snake, you know what the drill is. So for anybody else that's new here, you might not know what the drill is. And the drill is this. For winning, you get this thing, this awful little thing, called the awkward man stare. So Snake, I need you to get close to your monitor. And everybody else out there that wants to participate. And after a long, hard day of defeating the combined army, we need to take a step back and realize that the real focus of our lives should be spreading glory and happiness across the internet with awkward stare. Oh. Oh, 
you doing it, Snake? Or are you really doing it? And a wink. He gets a wink. Oh, Uncle Touchy's over there giving it too. What's he win? Let's give him a spin on his wheel. Cross him if you got him, Snake. Something good. Something good. Oh, it looks like it's going to be some infinity. The, oh, are you kidding me? Snake Man? No more Yu Ching for you. You're now playing Toha. Welcome to the Toha. Three the Toha, Snake Man. Congratulations. I got to write that down or I'm going to absolutely forget. Hold, please. Snake. Welcome, Snake. Welcome to the winning team. Yeah, Mike plays Toha. You guys are, you guys, that's horrible, yeah, actually. They play best unpainted. Don't paint them. <laughs> No, you know what? You know what Snake Man's gonna do? He's gonna paint them and then wash them clean completely with simple green and then paint them again. Because that's what he does. Okay. He paints his stuff like 80 million times. They are pure. That's, that's what, what he likes. In the game. That's what he likes. That's what he does. All right. Congratulations. Let's close that one. Close the raffle. Reset the raffle. Oh. There you go. Raffle's done. No. We're out of here. Where are we going? I don't know. What do you want to do? Ooh. We got a whole Saturday in front of us. We can do whatever we want to do. We're going to have to get a fast car. We can do anything we want to do. <laughs> going to need a lawyer. Ravenous, you always enjoy watching the games. Makes you want to play the game more. That's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. I'm always wishing I could play more. And I just, with all the stuff we do, it's hard to get games sometimes. The Escalation League was a great thing. Uh, Uncle Touchy got here too late to really partake in it. But I know that next time you will. Absolutely. 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 And, uh, and obviously, Mike will be around here playing a lot more games. It's, uh, we've been talking about it. Mike has not been on stream when I've been talking about it, but he's here, so we can talk about it. So Mike and I have got a thing coming out called the Slow Burn. You might know the Slow Burn from what's on my fingers that, that's written backwards because the camera's backwards. So, But anyway, on my knuckle says Slow Burn. We're going to have a show coming up where Mike and I are going to be your uh, two uncanny hosts for said show where we discuss all things miniature, cool new games coming out. Uh, old games you might not know about. And we'll be placing those old games and new games on the table and playing them much like you just saw here with us playing Infinity with Kip. Uh, and so that will be what our Sundays are devoted to. So uh, be looking for a lot of that coming up in the month of August. Anything you want to say about being on that side of the camera all the time? Oh, boy. Work with me, people. Work with people. <laughs> this is, is going to be painful for both of us. No. I feel like but, he's pretty good in front of the camera. We'll hold each other tight. Except when he wears the bikini. I feel like that's going to get really awkward. But it fits, so, you know, whatever. I don't know if the bikini fits, but the awkwardness fits the in the stream. The bikini does not that's fit. That's why I'm wearing it, though. It does not fit. No. Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, God, Viking. Ooh. See, now you've gone and done it. Because I bet even Jen would say, hmm, that sounds good. Yeah. That sounds yeah, good. Saturday's starting with Philly cheesesteaks. That sounds good. So good. So good? Touchy dye the beard. Why would he dye the beard? We can dye the beard. Why? Yours is good. We can dye the beard on screen. I got the old man beard, and he's got the young guy beard. It works. Yeah. It works, I think. I think, you know, if we do another celebration stream, we can dye the beard. Art Image, did you miss anything fun? We gave away some Toha. Mm -hmm. Snake Man won some Toha. So congratulations to Snake. Thank you guys so much for all the support, all the new follows. If you're out there, you've been browsing in the background, punch that follow button. Make sure you join into our community here. It's a great group of people. Uh, remember that Tuesdays through Fridays, we paint live on stream. Um, I don't have the uh, the cam on right now. I could turn the cam on and you could see what we've been working on somewhere here, maybe. Will it work? Can we can we turn it on? I don't, the camera's no, not on. No. This oh. is not on. Now the camera's on. Can we activate it? Look, there's a cam. Ooh. And uh, yeah, so normally we paint things. So here's a, uh, that's paint cam. Last couple of days we've been working on a uh, custom display base for, for some kingdom death miniatures that we've been painting up. So uh, remember, uh, lots of hobby goodness to be taught. Uh, we got great tutorials going on throughout the week. Uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays of every week, we go from 2 p.m. Pacific to 5 p.m. Pacific. And then on Fridays, we start at 5 p.m. Pacific and go into the night, sometimes 8, sometimes 9, sometimes 11.30, who knows? Uh, whatever I can bear with. So make sure to tune in and drop us a follow and make sure if you're on Twitch uh, notifications, turn those on so that you get updates on whenever we go live. Uh, so awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for the support. Welcome, welcome, and goodbye, goodbye. We will catch you guys on Tuesday. See you later. Say goodnight, Dolly. Good night, Dolly. Good night, Dolly.